Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Zanpakuto is too competitive. He opened Bankai by himself. Chapter 81. Sui Feng left in a daze. As for Shihuin Yoruichi's whereabouts, he did not continue to pursue it. Moyu's words made him fall into thinking about himself. Once upon a time, she thought that with continuous practice, she would one day surpass Shihuin Yoruichi and reach the heights he had ever reached. However, the speed at which it becomes stronger cannot match the speed at which reality changes. Shihuin Yoruichi's leaving without saying goodbye, and Moyu's revealing the reality, are like two sharp knives, directly into her heart. However, what Moyu said was just the truth. Lian Nailu can't resist a single blow, so what qualifications does she have to talk about following Shihuin Yoruichi? The edge of the ruins of the Shinigami stronghold. Moyu wiped off the cold sweat that didn't exist, and let out a long breath. Finally fooled this guy away. If she keeps pestering her like this, it's really a big problem. Also, that stupid cat watching a play, shouldn't you come out? As his voice fell, a black cat walked briskly out of the shadow of the water tank on the roof. Saw, I didn't expect that Moyu, your eloquence is far better than I imagined. The black cat made a noise with a middle-aged man, and did not hesitate to raise his own doctor. If it was the guy Bukuya, he would have killed Sui Feng directly. Moyu sighed and said helplessly, Sui Feng really admires you. Isn't it a little too cruel for you to treat her like this? Before Sui Feng came to the world, he did not communicate with Shihuin Yoruichi in advance. But right now, it seems that Shihuin Yoruichi is not dissatisfied with the way he handled it. Hearing Moyu's words, Shihuin Yoruichi gave him an annoyed look. Although the incident happened suddenly, I didn't have time to inform Sui Feng. But the truth is just as you say. The things we are involved in are not suitable for participating in other ministers. As he said that, the black cat slowly walked up to Moyu, and the golden cat eyes looked at Moyu seriously. Although Sui Feng walks into the dark side all the year round, it doesn't mean she's good at hiding herself. If you tell her the secret, if you are not careful, you may be noticed by Aizen. And what this means, you must be very clear. In fact, after all, it is nothing more than worrying about Aizen. All right, now that Sui Feng has left, Shihuin Yoruichi waved his cat's paw, pointed at the little head protruding from Moyu's arms, and said, then let's talk about this little guy. Apparently, she also came because of the Reiatsu that Nailu had exploded before. The Reiatsu of the Vasto Lord Arankar was even more terrifying than when Neutra came into the world. This kind exists in the present world, and if you don't pay attention to it, it may cause a catastrophe at the level of extermination. If it weren't for the fact that Nailu seemed safe now, Shihuin Yoruichi might have already considered to solve it. Hearing this, Moyu froze for a moment, then reached out and gently rubbed Nailu's head. For Nailu, there is actually nothing to talk about. He looked calm and said indifferently, just as you believe in me, I also believe in Nailu. Feeling the temperature above her head, Niwan turned her head to look at Moyu. When she saw the sincerity in her eyes, Nailu grinned and smiled from the bottom of her heart. Nailu's world is very simple. Others reciprocated their trust, and she returned the other party's sincerity. However, Nailu, who used to be a Rankar Espada, rarely feels the emotion of trust from others. Seeing this, Shihuin Yoruichi sighed deeply. She is very clear about Moyu's character, since she has already said so, there is no need to continue to entangle in this matter. Although you have already made a decision. But I still have to warn you. Shihuin Yoruichi's expression was slightly dignified, and the cat's whiskers trembled, Nailu's existence is very dangerous. If she loses control one day. Moyu waved his hand and interrupted her. With me here, this day will never come. Fair assumptions don't exist, as Kyoka Suigetsu does. When talking about this word, Shihuin Yoruichi's tone froze, and he immediately understood what Moyu was thinking. The matter of Nailu is over for the time being. With the arrival of the second team Shinigami, the restoration of Karakura Town is also proceeding at an extremely fast speed. The memories of a large number of human beings in this world have been modified, and buildings are being rapidly restored under the black technology of the Technology Development Bureau. And Moyu also found a Shinigami stronghold that is more suitable for him. A new warehouse, not far from the Urahara store, is bigger and more spacious than before. As for Sui Feng, 
since the conversation that day, she rarely appeared in front of you. As if his self-esteem was stabbed by his words, Sui Feng insisted on completing the aftermath tasks in this world as soon as possible, and then returned to the Soul Society to continue to practice hard. However, she didn't know. In this world, hard work doesn't matter at all. The most important thing is to hang up, ah bah, talent. Whether it's Aizen Sosuke, Yamamoto Yuanlianagi, or other strong people. Fundamentally, they have already laid the cornerstone of their own strength. Coupled with simple and unpretentious efforts, it has created today's terrifying existence. As for other people with less talent, even with all their efforts, they still can't even see the backs of these existences. The gap between each other is like an abyss. There is absolutely no possibility of crossing over. Therefore, the only thing that can defeat the hanging wall is the hanging wall. Moyu's idea is very simple, since you are the first to open the hang, then I will open a stronger hang than you. Spell operation, non-existent. Sui Feng is obsessed with completing the task as soon as possible and ending this trip to the world. She can't wait to continue to practice and become stronger, so that she can help Shihu and Yoruichi one day. It's a certain orange-haired royal sister who runs to Muyu's side when she has nothing to do. In addition to using intimidating means, he even used seductive means. Matsumoto Rangaku sacrificed a lot in order to extract some useful information from Muyu. However, what made her gnash her teeth was that Taiyu, this brat, doesn't like oil and salt at all. Not to mention the information about the soul burial practice, he is not even willing to reveal anything about what happened in the spiritual art academy. However, in the words of this hateful guy, it was to protect her. What a nasty little devil. Matsumoto Rangaku gritted his teeth and walked out of the new Shinigami stronghold, full of unwillingness. Not only did she not get any useful information this time, but Moyu tricked her out of a lot of secrets about the Ganbon team. It seems that it is impossible to get some information from the mouth of Moyu. Right now, we can only go to the Spiritual Arts Academy to continue looking for clues. Matsumoto Rangaku wasn't reconciled to the end of it. Whether it's the dead students, or the exiled Shinigami soldiers. She is a little hard to let go. After finishing the mission in this world, go to the Spiritual Academy to continue looking for clues. Matsumoto Rangaku cheered himself up, and then hurriedly left from here. Shortly after his departure, Moyu walked out from the Shinigami stronghold and looked in the direction of his departure. According to the original development track, Rangaku was unable to find an answer to this matter until the Karakura town battle broke out. So, she's safe now. Moyu did not interfere with Matsumoto Rangaku's thoughts. Since there is no danger, let her go. Right now, more importantly, there is still the invention of that fellow Urahara. Moyu turned around and left the Shinigami stronghold. Urahara Store, the underground secret base, in the research institute. Urahara Kazuki was wearing a white research uniform, goggles on his face, holding several test tubes between his ten fingers, staring at the changes in the test tubes with a stern expression. Kama, he poured the unknown liquid in the test tube into the cup noodles in front of him. Looking at the unchanging cup noodles, Urahara Kazuki let out a long breath. Ha, huh, big win big win. He took off his protective gloves, picked up the cup of noodles, and flaunted to Heiyu, who was slightly twitching at the corner of his mouth. Sa, would you like to try Mr. Moyu? Superior and delicious cup noodles from my careful research and development. Facing Urahara Kazuki's kind invitation, Moyu looked at the colorful Madara cup noodles and subconsciously took a breath. There was an awkward yet polite smile on his face, and he declined. This is a delicacy you carefully crafted. It's up to you to taste the first bite. Multiple tubes of reagents were directly poured into the narrow cup. The original normal cup noodles directly turned into colorful Madara unidentified objects. But any normal person would not choose to try this stuff. Hearing Moyu's explanation, Urahara Kazuki thought about it seriously, and then said seriously. You're right, then I won't be polite. I'm gonna start now. Urahara Kazuki made a sucking sound while holding the cup noodles, and Madara's colorful noodles fell directly into his mouth. He put on an expression of enjoyment, just as he was about to express his taste. Urahara, don't die. Moyu watched this dead guy, his body stiffened and fell down. Immediately afterwards, the originally pale face changed from white to red, 
from red to green, from green to purple. In just a few breaths, the color of Urahara Kazuki's face has already approached the color of the cup noodles he swallowed before. Seeing this, Moyu can only use Kaido to treat it. Emerald green light blooms in its hands, completely enveloping Urahara Kazuki. This also made his appearance even more weird. Half an hour later, Urahara Kazuki was rescued by Moyu and came back to life. Moyu, on the other hand, looked at the system prompt and remained silent. Your Kaido has cured the dying person, eliminated the powerful poison, doubled his comprehension, comprehended the mystery of poison, and increased his Kaido use skills. As expected of Urahara Kazuki. Urahara Kazuki, who had just come back to his senses after a long break, put on the look of a dead fish. Thank you Mr. Moyu. If it wasn't for you, I might. Moyu waved his hand and said. I asked you too. How's it going? Hearing this, Urahara Kazuki immediately returned to his original demeanor, and was even more excited. The research has been completed. As he spoke, he ran to the end of the research institute and took out a watch-like thing from it. No, this thing is the second generation product, and it can meet your previous requirements for the time being. Moyu took the watch and tried to put it on his wrist. Pour in some Reiatsu and it's ready to drive. As Reiatsu poured in, Moyu noticed a strange wave of spiritual energy emanating from the watch. Completely different from Reiatsu's composition, or even its exact opposite. Such a degree of spiritual fluctuations covered Moyu's surroundings, completely changing his aura. It looks good, Moyu commented. Of course. Urahara Kazuki explained with some pride, it took me a lot of effort to research this thing. Although it is only the second generation, it has been perfected too much. With its camouflage ability, it is enough to hide from the captain level Shinigami. Moyu nodded, agreeing with his statement. However, further improvements are needed. He frowned slightly, and said, I need to give it a stronger camouflage ability. You should know what I mean. Hearing this, Urahara Kazuki's smile also subsided and gradually became serious. With my current ability, I'm afraid it's a bit difficult to study the third generation spiritual sub-disguise watch. I need new research materials. Moyu asked, what? Your Reiatsu. Urahara Kazuki's answer made Moyu slightly startled, but he immediately gave his own answer. No problem. The decisive answer made Urahara Kazuki stunned. Mr. Moyu finally understands. After being slightly startled, Urahara Kazuki smiled and said, we are always on the same front. However, what responded to him was Moyu's suspicious gaze. Ahem. Urahara Kazuki coughed twice, dismissed the matter temporarily, and asked seriously. Although you have already made a decision, I still want to ask one more question. You really want to take her? Bringing back to Soul Society. What Urahara Kazuki said about her naturally refers to Nilu. Facing such a question, Moyu answered without any hesitation. It's natural, could it be possible to let her stay in this world? Perhaps because of new changes in Hueco Mundo, the number of ghosts in this world is gradually decreasing. According to Moyu's speculation, it is very likely that after a period of time, the present world will be able to return to its original appearance. At that time, those Shinigami who came because of this can also return to the Soul Society. So is Moyu, but he didn't trust Nilu to stay in this world. Instead, he might as well take her back to the Soul Society directly. However, because of his identity, Urahara Kazuki's invention became the first preparation. Afterwards, he had other arrangements, but he would not be able to perform them until the Soul Society. Strictly speaking, what he has to guard against is nothing more than Yamamoto Genyunagi and Aizen Sosuke. As for the consequences of being discovered, Moyu had also imagined. According to Yamamoto Genryanagi's character, things may become extremely troublesome at that time. However, people always have to do something. Otherwise, wouldn't it be completely useless to change his body? Seeing Moyu's determined expression, Urahara Kazuki stopped asking. This matter can be big or small, in the end it still depends on Moyu's personal means. Since this is the case, let me take advantage of this time to develop the third generation camouflage watch as soon as possible. Urahara Kazuki pulled out a square transparent box out of nowhere. This is the Reiatsu storage device, which can store Reiatsu for a long time. 1. You only need to pour Reiatsu into it, and leave the rest to me. Quote. 
Moyu didn't refuse. He is also very clear about the particularity of his own Reiatsu. Kuritsuchi Mayuri coveted his Reiatsu many times, tried all kinds of coercion and temptation, but all failed. In fact, this is mainly due to the fact that the chips that Kuritsuchi Mayuri put out were not enough to impress the black pressure. What's more, with his dangerous degree, Moyu is not willing to cooperate with him. In contrast, Yurahara Kazuki is not a safe guy, but he is much more reliable than Kuritsuchi Mayuri. The most important thing is actually Moyu himself. Looking at Reiatsu jumping like an elf in the Reiatsu reserve device, Reiatsu, Moyu looked puzzled. This is the Reiatsu of the evolutionary limit of the current realm. He said to himself in his heart, it's almost time, it's just an opportunity. Handing Reiatsu to Urahara Kazuki, Moyu left the Urahara store with the second generation fake watch. He wanted to return directly to the Shinigami stronghold, but he discovered another thing worthy of his attention on the way. Holy lost. A soft drink sounded in the remote alleyway. Immediately, a scorching blue light emerged, dispelling the darkness. A strong Reiatsu wave appeared not far in front of it. Moyu approached, and saw a girl holding a spiritual bow in the air, with a solemn expression. And not far from her, the broken void has already begun to turn into spirit particles, gradually dissipating. Seeing this scene, even Moyu had to admit that Kurosaki Masaki's strength, even among the captains, could be considered a strong one. According to her current performance, even Ameno's Grande of the Ajuka's level can't withstand a shot of holy annihilation. The attack is extremely strong, and in terms of speed speed, it has the unique flying scythe of the Quincy. As for defense, it even has static blood equipment. It has to be said that, from a certain level, Quincy is stronger than Shinigami. Unfortunately, the current world is dominated by Shinigami. In the war of that year, after all, the Mieke division was defeated. Um, when Kurosaki Masaki put away the Reishi bow, she felt the Reiatsu wave coming from above her head. Moyu, I don't know if it's Moyu's delusion, or Lei Shi. When hearing her calling his name, Moyu always felt that the other party was very happy. For the meeting between the two, Kurosaki Masaki was particularly happy. After the first battle with Noitra, she was inexplicably attracted to that Shinigami named Moyu. Different from the Shinigami she knew before, the appearance of Moyu made Kurosaki realize that there are special cases among Shinigami. They are not all shouting at the Quincy, and they are merciless when they attack Shu. At the same time, Kurosaki Masaki also became more curious about Moyu. She would like to learn more about this particular Shinigami if she could. Masaki. Moyu looked at the girl in front of him. It has to be said that Kurosaki Masaki is not inferior to any woman he knows in appearance. Innocent and lovely appearance, pure and kind smile, just like the brightest sunshine in spring. No matter who it is, seeing such a smile, the simplest sense of happiness can emerge in the heart. Probably, this is where the so-called personal charm lies. As the Shinigami who appeared in this world recently also your companion. Kurosaki Masaki obviously also noticed the Shinigami soldiers who came to deal with the follow-up. However, due to their ninja-like costumes, she was somewhat uncertain of each other's identities. Moyu nodded and explained, the same Seraite, but not in the same team. If you meet them, try to avoid them. Shinigami is not very friendly to Quincy. Hearing this, Kurosaki Masaki smiled and nodded, saying, Ha, don't worry, I'm very smart. Except for Moyu, I won't approach any Shinigami. Simple conversation, did not stay too long. But it also allowed Moyu to have a deeper understanding of Kurosaki Masaki. For such a thing, it is not the first time that she has done so. Whenever she sees Shuzai attacking human beings, she will stop them. Kurosaki Masaki, who has a kind personality, will never do anything that is desperate. Shortly after their conversation ended, they parted in different directions. In the distance, above tall buildings. With light blue eyes, short side parted hair and fair skin, a young man in a white suit looked at the direction Moyu was leaving, and said softly. The Shinigami who fought that day. Awesome power. When the breeze blows, the figure on the tall building seems to have disappeared. Soul Society. In a hidden place in Rukongai, in a dense building underground. A large number of complex equipment are placed in the room in an orderly manner. 
In the middle of it, inside the tall petri dish, a tall figure was lifelessly suspended above his subjects. Saw, Captain Eisen, do you really want to throw this dangerous guy into the present world? The soft Kyoto accent resounded in the quiet room. A figure wearing a white howry, lined with a black death suit, walked slowly to the front of the petri dish. Ichimaru Jin narrowed his eyes slightly, and looked at the tall and slender figure among them, with an extremely exaggerated expression on his fox-like face. Yeah, it's indeed one of Captain Aizen's best works. Even through multiple layers of Kido barriers, I can still feel the powerful Reiatsu emanating from it. When his voice fell, another figure walked out from behind. Silver, make no mistake. A gentle voice echoed in the room. Aizen looked at the petri dish calmly, and said, Shubai is not my favorite work. What he's shown thus far is utter irrational insanity. Empty has strength, can't play. After all, it's just a failure. Hearing this, the corners of Ichimaru Jin's mouth raised high, and he said in relief. Captain Aizen has too high demands on himself. Orankar of the Vasto Lord class is already above most captains. But, he changed his voice, looked at Aizen, and asked, is Captain Aizen really going to release him into the present world? You know, that guy Yu is in this world. The fact that Noitra came to this world and was beheaded by Moyu has already spread to the Seraite. The meaning of Ichimaru Jin is simple. Although Noitra is only an Ajuka's level Orankar, it has already reached the limit level of Ajuka's, and it is not much weaker than Vasto Lord level Orankar. It's all right, Silver. Aizen pushed his glasses, his smile was still gentle, as if nothing in the world could change his mood. Imperfect works also need to show their role. No matter what, this white one will not affect our plan. The Hueco Mundo War is coming to an end, and the Soul Society's attention will turn back again, and what Zubai can do is to continue to expand its influence. In this way, we can have more sufficient time. His tone was very flat, as if he was talking about something that had nothing to do with him. I see, as expected of Captain Aizen. Ichimaru Jin praised. Actually, I want to understand more through my white eyes. Aizen's smile remained unchanged, and he said softly, how much strength can Yujun show? In this world, Karakura town. Shinigami stronghold. Nailu lay on top of Moyu's head, helping him count the number of hairs. The renovation and follow-up of Karakura town is coming to an end. In two days at most, this team of Shinigami will return to Seoul society. And Moyu is completely free. With Sui Feng and Matsumoto Rengaku around, there's no need for him to go out and kill Meino's Grande or Shu. Although they are not particularly strong, but for ordinary Shu, they are enough to form a dimensionality reduction blow. It is not easy to have a vacation time, so it is natural to enjoy it comfortably. Moyu got a prosthetic skeleton from Urahara Kazuki, which can help him enjoy the delicacies of this world again. In various senses, the development of entertainment in this world is enough to crush several soul societies. The highly hierarchical soul society is like a decadent society. It is impossible to develop any entertainment facilities at all. In recent years, the development of the soul society in this area was facilitated by you. Sometimes, there's nothing wrong with being a four-year-old or something. Moyu leaned on the soft sofa, opened a can of drink, and was about to enter the state. Scary to Ultimates Reiatsu, explodes south of Karakura town. The soda can in Moyu's hand was subconsciously crushed to pieces. He escaped from Yaiku at the fastest speed, and after telling Nailu to stay here safely, he disappeared into the room. Karakura, town south, Sui Feng and Matsumoto Rengaku stared in horror at the lavender Reiatsu beam of light rising into the sky in the distance. Sweat has already slipped quietly from their foreheads and spread down. Are you kidding me? Sui Feng gritted his teeth. Such a degree of Reiatsu. As if the sky is falling, it is coming towards Karakura town. On the street, inside the building, pedestrians are like stone statues, their eyes are empty and frozen, and they have completely lost their self-awareness. Under the impact of this huge reiatsu, Sui Feng was extremely embarrassed. Matsumoto Rengaku, who is weaker than her on reiatsu, is even more unbearable. Sweat seeps into his underwear, as if in a vacuum, Matsumoto Rengaku can hardly breathe normally. However, another outbreak of bluish-white Reiatsu covered Karakura town again. Completely isolate Reiatsu, 
which exudes a breath of death, south of Karakura town. Reiatsu waves came from the air. Moyu came to sway Fang and Matsumoto Rangaku. Stabilizing Matsumoto Rangaku for now, Moyu used Kaido to relieve her physical discomfort. How about it? Matsumoto Rangaku glanced at him gratefully, nodded and said, it's nothing serious. Reiatsu, who was terrifying to ultimate, stared into her eyes as if death had come. With Reiatsu at the level of Matsumoto Rangaku, there is no way to compete with him, which also caused her to almost get injured. That's good. Moyu handed it into Sui Feng's hands, and said seriously, protect yourself and Rangaku. Reiatsu over there, leave it to me. Sui Feng showed a look of hesitation, he hesitated to speak. Moyu launched Shunpo, and soon disappeared at the end of their eyes. Looking at the direction in which he was leaving, Sui Feng bit his lower lip lightly, the expression is extremely complicated. This time, she felt her own weakness again. Facing the terrifying death of Ultimate Reiatsu, Sui Feng couldn't even conceive the thought of fighting against it. Is this the real world? Moyu suppressed the opponent with his own Reiatsu, and kept approaching him. Judging from the breath performance on Reiatsu, it is full of tyranny and despair, as if the end is coming. The intensity of Reiatsu is also the strongest Reiatsu Moyu has experienced so far. None of them. In Soul Society, neither Yamamoto nor Aizen showed their full Reiatsu. Therefore, compared with the Reiatsu in front of me, it is a bit inferior. Calculated according to the point of time. This thing can't be empty. Moyu muttered to himself, speeding up a little bit. Blank, one of the works of Aizen Hollow's experiment, transformed from the dead soul of Shinigami, belongs to Vasto Lord Class Arankar in terms of rank. The strength it has shown can even completely suppress Shiba Ishin under normal conditions. Even Shiba Ishin after Shikai, still can't beat it. The closer you get, the more you can feel the sense of terror and oppression coming from above Reiatsu. The feeling of suffocation as if the sky was pouring over Moyu's heart. Should I say that I am very lucky, or that I am not lucky? Moyu said to himself, meeting an existence like Jobai at such a critical moment. Perhaps, we should thank someone for their support. The sky of Karakura town, at unknown time, was shrouded in heavy clouds. Large grains of rainwater gradually soaked the ground and turned into a continuous rain curtain, covering the sky. Kurosaki Masaki stood by the window, feeling like the sudden gloomy weather, varied by dark clouds. Two strands of unusually large reiatsu. She suddenly widened her eyes and looked towards the south direction of Karakura town. Zuhei Moyu. Kurosaki Masaki didn't even have time to think about it, she directly reached out and forcibly broke the window in front of her, and stepped out through the window. The next moment, his agile figure disappeared at the end of the street. Heading towards the south direction of Karakura town quickly. Kurosaki Masaki put his hand on heart, temporarily suppressing the restlessness in his heart. There was a hint of worry on her delicate face. Moyu, you must be safe. Where Reiatsu exploded, Moyu falls in the air, and the light scans around it. Since he came here, the Reiatsu that erupted before has completely disappeared. However, the Link C fluctuations left in the air have already exposed his whereabouts to Moyu's eyes. A special way of hunting. Moyu's expression was slightly chilled, and he already had a bad premonition in his heart for the enemy that appeared this time. If it is irrational and vain, it will not hide its own actions at all. He will only be like a crazy beast, completely destroying all creatures that appear in front of him. Unfortunately, some are too clumsy. Boom, without hesitation, Moyu pulled out the Zanpakudo from his waist with his backhand, and slashed straight behind him. The terrifying slashes collided, and there was an earth-shattering crack. The aftermath of the turbulent impact, like a tsunami, swallowed up everything within a radius of several kilometers in an instant. If it wasn't for the location of Moyu, it would be the most remote suburb of Karakura town, sparsely populated. I am afraid that if this knife continues, Rukongai will add countless wandering soul residents. At the same time, on a mountain that is closer to the place where the battle broke out. Three figures in black cloaks hide behind the Kido Barrier King. Yeah, yay, Zubai has actually learned to sneak attack. Ichimaru Jin's fox-like face was revealed from the shadow of the cloak. There was a hint of surprise in his tone. 
According to their experimental data many times, the rationality shown by Zubai is almost zero. But now it seems that Zubai's performance in this world is so. However, Muyu's Reiatsu perception is really sharp enough. Although far from the battle site, Ichimaru Jin seems to know the details of the battle well. Silver, don't underestimate anyone. A gentle voice came from under the cloak beside him. Aizen's face emerges here, with a peaceful smile as if nothing can make his mood fluctuate. Mr. Moyu's Reiatsu is the most special one I have ever seen. Special people have their own special features. The appearance of Zubai can help us test the limits of Mr. Moyu. Another steady voice also sounded from under the cloak. After many trials, I have gradually grasped that Hiroko Shinji's group is there. This operation, in addition to testing the limits of Kuchiki Moyu, may also be able to lure that group of people out. In addition, part of the data of the hollow experiment can also be obtained, killing three birds with one stone. His dark complexion almost blended with the black cloak. Among them, Tusan Konami's face can be vaguely discerned, calm and composed, without any change in emotion. What he said seemed to be just a formulaic report. Be patient, Silver, please. Aizen's eyes are deep, like an endless abyss, looking towards the end. Everything is under our control. One black and one white, the two sharp blades are intertwined in one body, forming a sharp contrast. The black Reiatsu and the blue-white Reiatsu collided together, bursting out a beam of light that soared into the sky, tearing apart the dark clouds. However, the sun did not shine. The sky is still gray, as if it is adding to the fun of this battle. The slanting rainwater continuously formed an impenetrable rain curtain, obscuring the line of sight. Is this the so-called whiteness? Wherever Moyu looked, he could see the shape of the enemy in front of him. The black armor is attached to the slender body, and the hole in the chest is filled with blue and purple unknown substances, just like Hogyoku in an incomplete form. On the neck, exudes a ferocious mask, and the dense and sharp teeth are neatly scattered in the bloody mouth. In the blood-red eyes, no change of emotion can be seen. Yes, just endless madness. Just looking at him is to give people a sense of despair of falling into the abyss. Its slender arms both had blades gleaming with cold light, and they slashed down chaotically. The sound of gold and iron interlacing resounded through the gradually collapsing area. Gale wind soared Dao Da Lan. Moyu's eyes were slightly trembling, and Zanpakuto in his hand swept the bluish-white wind at the end, turning into an invisible wind and lingering on the knife. However, just as it was about to fall down again, something unexpected happened to Moyu, Zubai, who had been fighting against him all this time, chose to dodge this attack. The Zanpakuto lingering with the invisible wind crashed down, directly tearing a huge gully from the ground of thousands of meters, spreading to the end of the site. The new soil opened up was blown by the wind and turned into nothingness. Avoiding advantages and avoiding disadvantages. Moyu's gaze was serious again, and he had a clearer understanding of the changes in the guy in front of him. From being an irrational beast at the beginning, he learned to sneak attack, and now he is even more aware of seeking advantages and avoiding disadvantages. If it continues to develop like this, I'm afraid it will become the strongest existence in Maino's Grande. Zubai sees that the blade in Moyu's hand sinks, and when the moves are getting old, it rings and moves. Immediately afterwards, he appeared in front of Moyu, his pale face almost touching him. Under the black armor, the black sharp blade exudes a compelling cold light. Roar, Shu Beifa made a deafening roar, and the black sharp blade cut sideways, and the space even made a sound of being overwhelmed. Moyu's eyes were slightly cold, and the restless Reiatsu surged in his body. The bluish-white breath of wind circled up under the soles of his feet. In Satsuna where the two were about to meet, a yelling sound came from a distance, which brought the confrontation to an abrupt end. Holy lost. The condensed blue Reiatsu formed a dazzling light arrow, which instantly crossed the distance of space and went straight to the empty chest. Faced with this blow, Shubai seemed to sense the danger, forcibly stopped his side cut, and started to move with a ringing sound. The slender body disappeared in the air. Masaki be careful. Moyu's pupils narrowed slightly, and he realized that the guy in front of him was definitely different from the Zubai he knew. He intended to test this guy's limit strength. But I didn't expect Kurosaki Masaki to intervene suddenly. Kurosaki Masaki, who is holding a spiritual bow, 
has a network of veins on her fair neck and arms. When Satsuna launched the Holy Destroyer, she had already entered the state of the static blood outfit. However, the instant whiteness that came over her still made her reaction miss a beat. Sen Ran's face like a ghost perfectly interprets the word horror. But any normal person will lose his mind a little when he sees such an existence. And this loss of consciousness is exactly a big taboo in battle. Shu Bai doesn't care what his, prey, looks like, in his eyes, everything is something that needs to be destroyed. The arms were raised high, and the blade attached to the arms was already approaching the face of Kurosaki Masaki. Kurosaki Masaki didn't know whether the so-called static blood outfit could withstand this slash. But at this moment, she deeply felt the breath from death. Boom, the next moment, a blue-white hurricane rose from the ground. Endless berserk wind blades appeared from nowhere, devouring the void in the air in an instant. Moyu's figure walked out slowly in the hurricane, his eyes were cold. I admit, I underestimated you a little at first. But from now on, I won't make such a stupid mistake like this again. After the voice fell, Zanpakuto in Moyu's hand was lifted directly. The hurricane condenses and compresses, gathers on the blade, turns into patterns of wind breath, and engraves on it. The wind blade dissipated, and a pale body full of scars emerged from it. Countless tiny wounds are distributed on its black armor. But as his Reiatsu surged, those cracks recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye. High speed regeneration. As a Vasto Lord level Manos Grande, he is also extremely outstanding in this respect. Masaki, thank you for your help. Moyu turned his back to Kurosaki Masaki, and said softly, but the rest of the battle is left to me. Kurosaki Masaki looked at his spacious back, his mouth was slightly opened, and his expression was a little inexplicable. After a brief hesitation, she responded softly. Oh, I understand now. Immediately, Kurosaki Masaki launched the flying scythe kick, away from the battlefield here. However, uneasy, she was still on the edge, staring at all of them very seriously. With the changes, the spirit bow in his hand is becoming more and more cohesive, and it seems that there may be another shot of divine annihilation at any time. Zubai looked at the existence in front of him with some vigilance. With his barren brain that had just been completed, he couldn't figure out why the creatures in front of him had undergone such earth-shaking changes in a very short period of time. It was not at the same level as when he first fought against him. However, this will not affect the desire for destruction in his heart. With his arms hanging down, Bai's ferocious face looked at the thick clouds in the sky. Roar, a deafening roar resounded under the clouds. Immediately, the black-purple Reiatsu was frantically mobilized by him, and condensed on the armor. All the Reiatsu burst out, making Zubai look like a Shira returning from hell, tragic and desperate. Even Kurosaki Masaki, who was far away, felt a sense of suffocation here. She couldn't imagine how much pressure Moyu, who was in the center of the battlefield and opposite Zubai, was under such pressure at this moment. Black despair spread rapidly under the cloud. However, Moyu's Reiatsu quietly changed while being so strongly oppressed. On the edge of the bluish-white Reiatsu, one after another black lines appeared, swallowing up the bluish-white bit by bit. With the rapid spread of black Reiatsu, Zubai also sensed something was wrong again. The blood-red eyes stared fixedly at Moyu's body that had been soaked in black. Finally realized, Moyu looked at him indifferently, and said calmly. Unfortunately, it's too late. The voice fell, black like ink, madness surged up, completely submerged the testicles in it. Your Reiatsu is impacted by the Vasto Lord level Orankar Manos Grande, your competitive spirit is multiplied, your understanding is enhanced, and your Reiatsu breaks through to a new level ultimate Reiatsu. Inky Black Reiatsu, after covering Moyu completely. Kurosaki Masaki covered her mouth in disbelief, subconsciously preparing to run towards the battlefield. Because, in her perception, Moyu's Reiatsu has completely disappeared. However, it has just taken the first step. In the center of the battlefield, a series of cobweb-like cracks suddenly appeared on the black Reiatsu. Click, the cracks spread at a speed visible to the naked eye, until one of them slowly fell. Countless black materialized Reiatsu turned into fragments and fell from the air. Moyu's intact figure also reappeared in the center of the battlefield. When feeling its breath, on Zubai's ferocious face, other emotions rarely appeared.
Under Moyu's gaze, he took a step back. Seeing this, the corners of Moyu's mouth raised, and he smiled disdainfully. Has it evolved to this extent? Although its footsteps step out, the situation changes. The black Reiatsu swept up from the soles of its feet, turned into a tornado that devoured everything, roaring and tearing apart the clouds above the sky. The dark cloud covering Karakura town is completely torn apart, and the black Reiatsu takes its place, becoming the new despair that hangs over the heart. Moyu's Reiatsu seems to have no limit, and it keeps climbing until it reaches another dimension. And other benefits of Reiatsu's ascension, also began to emerge from his body. Your body is enhanced by Reiatsu, the efficiency of practice is doubled, the strength is increased, the comprehension is doubled, and the steel skin is comprehended. When hearing this prompt tone, Moyu's original steps stopped suddenly. Steel skin, isn't this stuff owned by Sukai? By analogy under the strong promotion. For this, this is the most appropriate explanation do you can think of. However, it's not a bad thing after all. The improvement of defense is enough to give him more opportunities in the battle. If the promotion goes on like this, the slightly weaker captain can't even break Moyu's defense. It is not impossible to go beyond the limits of Shinigami. With such a change, he couldn't help but think of Aizen who was recognized by Hogyoku, that completely desperate gesture. Your role has been fulfilled. Moyu opened his palm and held it in the air, and the slender blade appeared in his hand instantly. On the bluish-white imprint, there is a very small amount of black dyeing, forming a very peculiar pattern, just looking at it gives people a sense of mystery. This farce, let's stop here. Lan Yin held high, facing the vigilant Shu Bai, she came crashing down. Crazy Lan. The indifferent voice is like a strong winter wind, blowing on the heart. Boom. A sword of black light pressed down, and the bluish-white gust of wind slammed down with an irresistible momentum. Faced with such pressure from the sword, Zubai seemed to be aroused again with the tyranny in his heart, and the red eyes shone brightly. Its bloody mouth was wide open, its fine and sharp teeth gleamed coldly, and a large number of purple-black reiatsu gathered in the center of the mouth, forming a black-red ball. At the moment when the sword fell, the black-red ball exploded, forming a dazzling beam of light, piercing the sky. Next moment, the two collided, and the deafening explosion rang through the edge of Karakura town, forming a terrible storm and sweeping in all directions. A terrifying explosion was set off, and the surrounding ground was annihilated at an extremely fast speed. The trees were shattered, and even spread to the distant mountain peaks. In the strong aftermath, they collapsed and fell into the ground. Kurosaki Masaki urged the flying sickle leg again and again, away from the impact of the aftermath. She looked at her original position with lingering fear, still filled with endless light. In the aftermath of this explosion, nothing can survive intact. After the shock, Kurosaki Masaki looked excitedly at the direction of Moyu, and murmured. Moyu, he is so strong. The Shinigami who were far away in the Shinigami stronghold of Karakura town discovered this scene. They looked at the collapsed mountain peak in the distance, as well as the endless flames and rays of light, unable to imagine what a terrible thing had happened. The feeling of suffocation, as if the doomsday was coming, deeply suppressed their hearts, making them unable to catch their breath. This, Matsumoto Rengaku recovered, his eyes were full of shock, his mouth was slightly opened, unable to understand the scene of the battle. Sui Feng bit his lower lip lightly, his expression became more and more complicated. At this moment, she really realized the gap in strength that Moyu said. It turns out that the same Shinigami, the gap between each other can reach this like a natural moat. Is this the power displayed by ultimate Reiatsu? Moyu looked at the scene in front of him with some surprise, apparently also a little surprised. The wild haze just now was not his full strength, not even half of it. But its performance turned out to be so terrifying. The aftermath dissipated, and the pale body stood on the ground with countless cracks. The originally hard black armor was already on the verge of its limit under Moyu's sword-crushing Kuanglin. The cobweb-like cracks have completely covered it, and it may shatter at any time. The bullhead mask on its head has already broken. On the pale face, there was an appearance that Moyu didn't recognize. But he quietly kept this appearance in his heart, and waited to go back to Seraite to investigate again. If there is no accident, the blankness in front of my eyes should be made by a Shinigami with great potential in soul. Zubai raised his head stiffly, 
his blood-red eyes fixed on Moyu, as if he wanted to engrave his face in his memory. But Moyu noticed that Zubai's originally bright eyes had become weak at this moment, like a candle in the wind. A sword crushed Kuang Lan, already bringing him to the brink of death. Zubai grinned, his expression becoming more and more crazy. Respond to action. On the verge of his limit, he didn't choose to escape, but launched an upward attack like a moth to a flame at the leader. However, he just got close to Moyu's side, and his movements froze in place. A white finger rested on his forehead. Let's end it. Moyu's indifferent voice sounded, Rihado four ways day and day thunder. The voice fell. Above the fingertips, the scorching white light instantly dispelled the darkness above the sky, and turned into the sun to illuminate one side. Countless tyrannical lightning bolts turned into a cage, completely engulfing Shu Bai in it. Here, the white Reiatsu completely dissipated. Moyu flipped his wrist lightly, and slowly sheathed Zanpakudo in his hand. The thunder surged, and the round pressure receded. When everything was back to normal, there was no trace of emptiness in it. Under the tyrannical lightning erosion, he didn't even leave any fragments behind. If it weren't for this area turned into ruins, no one would be able to believe that such a powerful existence has not left even the slightest trace. Kurosaki Masaki rushed over quickly, looking around Moyu with eyes like looking at a monster. You actually killed that powerful existence. She said in surprise, I thought that guy was enough of a monster. But I didn't expect you, Moyu, to be more monster than him. Boom. Ah, Kurosaki Masaki covered her head and exclaimed in pain, Moyu, it's so embarrassing. Moyu glared at the outspoken guy. What is monster than Void White? I'm such a pure Shinigami, can't I compare to a hollow monster? Don't put on such a pathetic look. Moyu poked Kurosaki Masaki's head and said, I have controlled my strength. Hey hey, Kurosaki Masaki didn't feel the slightest sense of shame at being seen through, and was still foolishly happy. Although she didn't know why, there was a voice in her heart telling her. This, kind of feeling, very happy. Although the situation is serious, it seems to have been resolved by someone. The voice of a dull middle-aged man appeared around the two of them. Kurosaki Masaki followed the voice, her eyes widened. Hey, hey, cat, the cat is talking. Shihuin Yoruichi jumped on Moyu's shoulder, looked at Kurosaki Masaki with some displeasure, and said. Give me some courtesy, Quincy Brat. Please call me Yoruichi San. Kurosaki Masaki wandered around Moyu curiously, his gaze stayed on Shihuin Yoruichi all the time. For her kind of curious girl. A talking black cat is simply too cool. Shihuin Yoruichi was going to talk to Moyu about the blankness, but he was really forced to be unable to speak by the curious gaze of a certain girl. She tried several times to strike up a conversation, but she stopped talking. Until, when a curious girl lifted the black cat's tail. Idiot, you give me enough time. In an instant, the sharp cat claws pressed on Kurosaki Masaki's head. The next moment, Kurosaki Masaki was shot flying out. Saw, what a terrifying strength. This strength has surpassed many captains, right? What a dangerous guy. On a mountain peak far away from the battlefield, Ichimaru Jin crouched on the ground, stroking the scorched ground in front of him with his fingers. Even though they had chosen an excellent location to watch the battle, they were still almost affected. The existence of Kuchiki Moyu has affected our plans. The dull voice, without the slightest emotion, is like a machine. A long time ago, Tusun Konami apparently rejected some things he considered unnecessary for the sake of justice in his own heart. And this also made him more rational and objective. Be safe and don't be impatient, Yin, yes. A figure appeared under the cloak with a gentle smile, just like the warm sunshine in spring. We are the chess players who control the board. And Mr. Moyu didn't jump out of the chessboard. After finally dismissing Kurosaki Masaki, that curious girl, Shihuin Yoruichi was free to look at Moyu. The impact of this battle is not serious. But I'm still curious about one thing. The battle between Moyu and Zubai has caused more serious damage to Karakura town. However, because the two fought in the outskirts of Karakura town, it did not affect the humans in it too much. What caused heavy casualties, on the contrary? Zubai started the burst of Reiatsu. The moment when Zubai Reiatsu overturned, many human beings who were close to here were directly shaken away by it. Fortunately, 
there are not many residents here, good, and the casualties are not as alarming as imagined. Moyu glanced at the black cat on his shoulder lightly, and said, what's the matter? Shihuan Yoruichi looked serious and said seriously. Moyu, your current strength. Before he could finish his question, Moyu interrupted directly. Generally poor level, barely self-protected. As soon as the words came out, the black cat tilted its head, and how many question marks appeared on its head. She stared at Moyu with incomprehensible eyes. Are you a human being? The battle that almost destroyed the entire city, is classified as barely self-preserving. Call, Shihuan Yoruichi let out a long sigh and suppressed his temper. If Moyu doesn't want to continue talking about this matter, she won't continue to delve into it. However, she already had a general understanding of Moyu's strength in her heart. At least the current her is definitely not Moyu's opponent. Shihuan Yoruichi's gaze was a little dazed. Once upon a time, the kid Moyu asked her to teach Shunpo. But now, it has far surpassed his childhood. Thinking of this, Shihuan Yoruichi's gaze towards Moyu became more and more complicated. What he said to Sui Feng at the beginning also emerged in Shihuan Yoruichi's mind. Weakness is the real original sin. Seeing that he stopped talking, Moyu lowered his eyelids slightly and said softly. Instead of discussing these irrelevant matters, it is better to delve into. There are secrets about the reason for the appearance of the void and the related secrets. He looked to the other side, looked up, and said. Mr. Urahara, when are you going to see? Yada yada. A soft voice came from an open space not far away. The transparent air, like the lake water being hit by a stone, produced layers of ripples. In a few moments, Urahara Kazuki, wearing a white and green bucket hat, and the tall Tessai Tsukubishi appeared in front of the two. Spirit mask clothes, one of Urahara Kazuki's inventions. It was agreed to give Moyu one, but he hasn't got it yet. According to Urahara Kazuki, it will take a little while to manufacture. I didn't expect Mr. Moyu to be so sensitive. Urahara Kazuki held a fan that he took out out of nowhere, and fanned it lightly, directly raising his posture a lot. It looks like, in this regard, Moyu will not spoil him and let him continue to pretend. No, the concealment effect of the spirit mask clothing is very strong. Moyu said blankly, I just lied to you. I didn't expect you to jump out come by yourself. Urahara Kazuki's body stiffened suddenly, and the hand that fanned the fan also stopped. The whole person seems to have been petrified, with an expression of lovelessness. Can't there be more sincere trust between people? Okay, let's get to the point. Moyu returned the topic, and said seriously, you should have some idea about the appearance of that Vasto Lord class Arankar, right? Hearing this, Urahara Kazuki lowered the brim of his hat, looked a little dignified, and said seriously. At first, I just thought it was the guy who appeared in Hueco Mundo, but when I saw the virtual body, I realized that things are not that simple. This is not a place for conversation, come back to the store with me. Moyu nodded. Immediately, a group of four launched Shunpo and disappeared in place. Urahara Store, Underground Secret Base For the Urahara Store, which is blocked by multiple layers of Keto enchantment, it is definitely the safest place in the world. I don't know what Mr. Urahara thinks about the appearance of that dangerous guy. Moyu looked at the clog hat in front of him calmly, waiting for his answer. It has been a while since he came into this world. Although compared to Shinigami's long and long life, it is just a fleeting moment. But this period of time is enough for the two people who have known each other before to build up enough trust. Today, he still wants to know some deeper secrets from Urahara Kazuki's mouth. Ira, there are still opinions, and it involves deeper secrets. Urahara Kazuki said seriously, the existence of the Arankar Menos Grande itself reminds me of the incident of Captain Hollow a hundred years ago. A deeper hollow experiment, a more powerful hollow product, and even a forcible fusion of Shinigami's soul and Joe's soul. If nothing else happens, the mastermind behind this incident in this world should be. Moyu took the remark and said calmly, Aizen Sosuke. So far, the person you care about most. Hearing this, Urahara Kazuki was slightly taken aback, and then smiled and said. It seems that Mr. Moyu has guessed something. From the first meeting in this world, the conversation between the two has reached a certain consensus. 
But considering that he doesn't know Moyu well, Yurahara Kazuki didn't tell all his secret trays. Well, for example, you weren't just a victim in that hollow incident. Moyu continued. It's not impossible for the 46 room to do such a thing without a target. But if multiple captains are involved, no matter how stupid and corrupt they are, they won't put all the blame on an irrelevant person. So Mr. Urahara, do I need to add anything else? From the beginning to the end, Urahara Kazuki is not a good person. He who was able to complete Hogyoku's research and had a fairly deep understanding of Hollow had already studied to a certain extent even before Aizen. Shinigami souls, Y souls as well as human souls. The appearance of Hogyoku is full of cruelty. The process of its birth is simply difficult to get to the bottom of. From beginning to end, CDBI, Urahara Kazuki is not a good person. In other words, there are no good people in the entire Shinigami group. This kind of character is not suitable to be a Shinigami. Hearing Moyu's explanation, the smile on Urahara Kazuki's face became more and more helpless. It turns out that Mr. Moyu had already thought of this to such an extent, it seems that I underestimated you. You're right, although I wasn't involved in Captain Hollow's incident, I still have some external connections. As he said that, he told a part of his research on Shinigami and Shu and human souls. As it turns out, this guy Urahara is definitely the most dangerous existence among the Shinigami. Shihu and Yoruichi let out a helpless sigh. I stayed in this world more to monitor this dangerous guy. In my opinion, he's not much safer than Aizen. Moyu nodded in understanding. There is no exaggeration in these words. Okay, now that we've come to this here. Urahara Kazuki took out an object sealed with several layers of Kido enchantment from his bosom and placed it on the table in front of him. Then, let's take a look at my research results. He has already decided to pour his heart out to Moyu. Getting along in this world during this time obviously made him trust you. Reiatsu fluctuates, rippling in the underground space like the wind. Urahara Kazuki disarms the Kido enchantment on the object. A black box appeared in front of Moyu. Seeing this, he already had some guesses in his heart. This, Urahara Kazuki opened it, and among them, a blue-purple gemstone lay quietly on it. That's why Aizen has been looking for me. Moyu's expression was slightly trembling, and he could clearly perceive the powerful power contained in the gemstone from his angle. As you can see, the power in this gem is enough to change the world. Urahara Kazuki said slowly, its name, Hogyoku. He paused, then continued. Hogyoku is able to help Shinigami and Hollow to transcend the limitations of the ontological existence and bring them to a higher level. Aizen wants to obtain this kind of power, so he has been looking for us all the time. Well, Mr. Moyu, you can try to understand it. Perhaps it is to make his statement more convincing. Urahara Kazuki suggested. Here, Moyu carefully released some of Reiatsu, trying to understand Hogyoku on a deeper level. Next moment, something happened that made Urahara Kazuki unable to control himself. Hogyoku in the black box actually trembled, trembling like a frightened little animal. Facing Moyu's Reiatsu, Hogyoku made an ultimate contraction of all his power, constructing an absolute defense on the soul level. This, this is, Urahara Kazuki could hardly believe his eyes. As for the existence of consciousness in Hogyoku, he, the creator, knows. Only with Hogyoku's approval can one harness all of its powers. However, so far, he, the creator, has not been recognized by Hogyoku's will. For the existence of Moyu itself, Urahara Kazuki has been researching for some time. The existence of the peculiar Reiatsu already shows the particularity of Moyu itself. Therefore, before taking out Hogyoku, even if Hogyoku will approve Moyu, he will not be surprised at all. J. Hogyoku in fear, Urahara Kazuki could hardly believe his eyes, how is that possible? What happened in front of him even exceeded his cognition. Curiosity also appeared in Moyu's eyes. He even knows more about Hogyoku than Urahara Kazuki. Urahara Kazuki believes that he created Hogyoku, a substance capable of breaking the boundary between Shinigami and Hollow. Not really, it's just that he hopes that Hogyoku is the substance that can break down the boundary between Shinigami and Hollow. The real power of Hogyoku is to concretize the wishes of people's hearts. But at the same time, you must have the ability to realize your wishes. 
After Aizen obtained the complete Hogyoku, in order to satisfy his desire for power, he hoped that he would continue to evolve. However, the so-called evolution is actually just guiding potential. No matter how strong the talent is, the potential is limited, and there is no infinite evolution. And Moyu, who has a good understanding of Hogyoku, has no interest in this stuff at all. No one knows his own talent better than himself. For Moyu, Hogyoku is not even as happy as two cans of fat house water. All it can bring Moyu is trouble. Now though, it seems that Hogyoku has a special reaction to his Reiatsu. It's terrible. Urahara Kazuki gradually recovered from the shock, and his eyes became calm again. Mr. Moyu, I am really more and more interested in you. The deep eyes met Moyu's, which made him shudder. Moyu, what is your look? I warn you, our orientation is perfectly normal. You better stay away from me. It seemed that he noticed the ambiguity in his words from Moyu's reaction, but Urahara Kazuki didn't take it to heart. Ahem, Mr. Moyu. Urahara Kazuki showed a subtle smile on his face, I think we should communicate in depth. Boom. Before waiting for Moyu to give his answer, Shihuin Yoruichi on the side slapped him on the head. Get back to business, idiot. Urahara Kazuki pulled his head out from the table in front of him. Yeah, yeah, when it comes to Mr. Moyu, you always seem so grumpy. Moyu also calmed down and said calmly, Don't even think about it. Impossible, does not exist. For Urahara Kazuki's proposal, he directly chose to refuse with righteous words. Urahara Kazuki closed the box on the table and sealed Hogyoku with a new layer of keto barriers. While resealed, I don't know if it was Moyu's own delusion, but he actually felt lucky in Hogyoku. By the way, is my own Reiatsu really that scary? Moyu subconsciously looked at himself, the real spirit emerging from him. After breaking through to ultimate Reiatsu, the originally bluish-white Reiatsu light has turned into jet black. Ink-like Reiatsu, impregnated with itself. Sarah, what a pity. Urahara Kazuki said regretfully. Otherwise, we might be able to develop something. Hearing this, you felt a sudden chill in her heart. Is this the researcher? This kind of bad taste is really embarrassing. Okay, back to the topic. Urahara Kazuki smiled and continued. Regarding the existence of the Vasto Lord class Arankar, I found signs of Shinigami Hollow on it. If nothing else, he should be made from the soul of a Shinigami. Moyu nodded, agreeing with Urahara Kazuki's statement. In this way, this kind of existence can be created. Urahara Kazuki's tone was low, there's only that guy. Aizen Sosuke. Things went round and round, but it was still inevitable to escape the arrangement of Aizen's plan. As for his thoughts, Moyu is also somewhat difficult to guess. Neutra's death, Aizen must have been clear. But even so, Zubai was still sent to the present world. Perhaps to test the location of Urahara Kazuki. Maybe want to lay out new plans in this world. Possibly both. Moyu is unwilling to delve into this. If he relies on his brain to solve all the problems, he may be left with nothing left by Aizen, Urahara and the like. I understand, Moyu said in a low voice, thank you Urahara for your trust. Perhaps, in future cooperation, we can trust each other more. For such an insidious guy as Urahara Kazuki, Moyu can only maintain a basic trust. After all, no one knows what terrible things he will do in order to achieve his own means. Like stuffing Hogyoku into someone's soul. L. Soul Society. Moyu walked out in front of the tall mountain gate style crossing gate and returned to his most familiar place. Phew, I'm finally back. After the words fell, a small head emerged from his arms. Is this Moyu's hometown? Nailu likes this place very much. Compare that to Hueco Mundo, where nothing but sand is sand. Soul Society is far better than Hueco Mundo in terms of spirit particle concentration and scenery. Not to mention Nailu, even Moyu, who just came back from the present world, feels a sense of comfort from the heart and soul society. Let's take you home first. Moyu rubbed Nailu's little head and launched Shunpo in the direction of Noble Street. Shinigami, who was in charge of guarding the crossing gate, felt a blur in front of him before he had time to make a routine inquiry. The figure standing in front of the world transmitting gate had already disappeared. Um, the guard Shinigami scratched the back of his head blankly, did a Shinigami come back from this world just now? 
If it hadn't been for the fact that the world transmitting gate had been activated, he might really think that his eyes were dazzled. Just as he was about to check again. In the distance, a calm voice floated back. The returnee, the third officer of the 4th Division, Kuchiki Moyu. Hearing the name, guard Shinigami's eyes widened. Cut, Kuchiki, even if Shinigami, who is the guard of the world transmitting gate, doesn't know much about the outside information, he still knows the name Kuchiki Moyu. During this time, the name of Kuchiki Moyu spread almost throughout Saraite. The most powerful officer in history, the powerful existence that killed several Mainos Grande. Moyu didn't know that his name had spread throughout Jinglingting. After temporarily placing Nilu at Kuchiki's house, he went to the team building alone. It's been a while since Suifeng and Matsumoto Rengaku ended Karakura Town's aftermath. As the virtual chaos of reality gradually stabilized, Moyu received an order to call back to the Soul Society. In this regard, he has chosen to ignore it many times. It wasn't until Bukuya came to urge him that he reluctantly returned to Soul Society. The first thing to do when you come back is to go to the first team to describe the mission. During his time in this world, the storm he caused was enough to shock the entire Saraite. Even Yamamoto Genryonagi couldn't ignore it. A team house. In the captain's chamber. The above is a summary of my tasks in this world. Moyu looked calm and looked towards the front of the chamber. Dressed in white feathers, the old man with a purple girdle on his white beard hanging down his waist, holding a cane in both hands, is slightly closing his eyes at this moment, waiting for Moyu's narration. Team Captain, Yamamoto Genryusai. Even at this moment, Moyu's strength has undergone earth-shaking changes from the last time we met. But facing the strongest Shinigami in the Soul Society for thousands of years, I still feel the pressure from the heart. Perhaps, this is Jaiwei. On both sides of the meeting hall, there were also a few people standing scatteredly. Except for Captain Yamamoto, all the captains are present this time. Even Jishiro Yukitaki, the captain of the 13th squad who often takes sick leave, participated in this captain meeting. Right now, the highest combat power of the entire Saraite has gathered in the small captain's meeting room. Is this the whole story? A ray of light flashed in Yamamoto Motoyanagi's slightly closed eyes, and he slowly opened his eyes, looking in the direction of Moyu. Third seat Moyu, your performance in this world has far exceeded my expectations. In this regard, Moyu smiled slightly, but did not strike up a conversation. For this, you can offer some rewards that are not excessive. Hearing this, the captains present were all a little surprised. In their memories, Yamamoto Motoyanagi rarely rewarded the team members. Because it has always had extremely strict requirements for both the captain and the team members. And those captains are often difficult to satisfy because of their escaping personalities. In the captain's meeting on weekdays, it is rare for Yamamoto Motoyanagi to not lose his temper, let alone reward a certain team member. Well, can I still ask for rewards? Moyu was a little surprised. He didn't expect Yamamoto Yuanlyasai to be so easy to talk to. Sure, Yamamoto Yuanlyanagi's stern eyes glanced over the captains on both sides of the meeting hall. Reward those who have made meritorious deeds, and punish those who have done wrong. This is a matter of course. These words are not only addressed to Moyu, but also a reprimand to this group of unreliable captains. Moyu thought about it seriously for a moment. Looks like I don't need anything. Captain, why don't you postpone this award for now? With strength as a base, Moyu is not as cautious as other team members in speaking. If I have any needs in the future, I will ask you again. Hearing this, Yamamoto Yuanlianagi was slightly taken aback. This was the first time someone had bargained with him on rewards. In the past, rewards and the like were all given. This time, because of Moyu's achievements, Yamamoto Genryonagi gave him the right to choose. But I didn't expect this guy to want to postpone the reward. The old man agrees. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi's dull voice sounded in the TN Council Hall. Yeah, yeah, let the old man Sean make a concession. Hiraku Shunsui, wearing pink Howry, smiled and said, Moyu is the first person I know. This is a compliment to a man of merit. You know Hana Retsu glanced at him indifferently, far from the leader of the band. Quote. Ahem. Seeing you know Hana Retsu's short guard, Kiraku Shunsui coughed twice, turned his head to the side, and stopped talking. 
As one of the most qualified captains, he has a deep understanding of Yunohana Retsu's personality. There have been conflicts before, including him, Jashiro Yukitaki, Shiba Ishin and others, who were directly overwhelmed by him and thrown in the comprehensive ambulance center of the 4th Division for nearly a day. Since then, he has never thought of conflicting with Yunohana Retsu. This woman is too outrageous. Thank you, Captain. Moyu nodded in thanks. In fact, it's not just Kiraku Shunsui, the other captains are somewhat complicated when they look at Moyu. They also knew a little about the battles that took place in this world. The damage caused by the aftermath of the battle alone is enough to make them vigilant. Then contacting Sui Feng's report on the content of this mission, it made these proud captains recognize the existence of Moyu. Strictly speaking, Moyu's strength is not weaker than their captains. After dealing with the three seats of Moyu, the next question is about the emergence of Arankar Menos Grande in this world. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi's eyes became more and more strict, and he patrolled the meeting hall. Haweko Mundo has become more and more active in recent years. What happened next has nothing to do with Moyu. As the third seat, he was able to attend the captain's meeting room, which was considered an exception. Moreover, he doesn't care about Haweko Mundo. In the chamber, apart from Yamamoto Motoyanagi, Moyu is most concerned about Aizen Sosuke. As usual, his gentle expression perfectly established the image of a good man. Moyu didn't bother to observe him. Just a casual glance, you can still feel the depth of Aizen like the sea. Everything is just the surface. It never occurred to him to reveal the true face of Aizen at the captain's meeting. That's not something normal people can get out of. In the case of Kyoka Suigetsu, all members, Aizen's plan is revealed. I'm afraid he will become the target of all the captain's attacks. At that time, no matter how strong Moyu is, he will be unable to escape the fate of the end. The captain's meeting is over. The entire Saraite became busy again because of the discussions at the captain's meeting. The investigation of Haweko Mundo's strength was also directly put on the agenda. Whether it is the emptiness of reality or the unknown Menos Grande, Saraite feels a sense of oppression. These are busy times. Almost all the team members, like a fully wound machine, started to rotate at a high speed. Only a certain salted fish who has just returned is resting at home at this moment, enjoying the life of a decadent aristocrat. Noble Street, Kuchiki House. Bukuya Kuchiki looked at the guy in front of him seriously, feeling a pain in his head. You mean you brought an Ajuka's Arankar back to the Soul Society? Moyu nodded, looked at Bukuya Kuchiki leisurely, and kicked the fruit. Yes, as he spoke, he scratched behind his back with his backhand, and brought a Nilu that was crawling around like a cat to Bukuya Kuchiki. No, her name is Nilu. Bukuya Kuchiki stared at the little guy in front of him with wide eyes. Nilu grinned and said with a smile, Hello, my name is Nilu. The two stared at each other, staring at each other, and remained silent for a long time. Call, Bukuya Kuchiki had blue veins throbbing on his forehead, forcibly suppressing his temper. He found that as long as he stayed with Moyu for a long time, it was easy to lose control of himself. Before, Moyu was extremely poor in talent, but after getting Zanpakuto, he became a rare genius in the Academy of Spiritual Art. Bukuya Kuchiki was also happy with it for a long time. But unexpectedly, it wasn't too long before Moyu made a huge mess for him. It's all right, Moyu glanced at him and said with relief, I have taken certain protective measures. Don't say it's you, even Captain Yamamoto can't find Nelu's identity. Nilu raised her arm, swayed it lightly, and smirked. Moyu gave Nilu, the Reiatsu that can hide Nilu. Bukuya Kuchiki looked closely, frowning slightly. The emerald green watch matched Nilu's hair color very well, and when worn on her fair arm, it accentuated her complexion even more. Third generation camouflage watch, an invention by a certain researcher, Moyu explained. For these remarks, Yukuya Kuchiki frowned, as if thinking of something. After a long time, he sighed again. I understand. I'll help you keep the matter of Nilu a secret, but... Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Moyu. The responsibility of the Kuchiki family is to maintain and enforce the rules of the Soul Society. From childhood to adulthood, you have to say it almost every day. You, my mouth didn't have calluses, and my ears did too. Hearing this, 
Yakuya Kuchiki hesitated to speak, but in the end he could only sigh. Once upon a time, my stupid Odudu became so shrewd. Yakuya Kuchiki laughed without saying anything more. Moyu knows it all too well. If Nailu was brought back home without telling her identity. Instead, it will put a thorn in Yakuya Kuchiki's heart. He has always had unconditional trust in his family. In this regard, Moyu is also willing to believe in Yakuya Kuchiki. Did Nello cause trouble for Moyu? Looking at Yakuya Kuchiki leaving, Nailu looked at Moyu with some calculations. Although in this world, her memory has been restored. But when maintaining the lowly form, her personality is still more innocent and simple. Moyu gently rubbed Nailu's short emerald green hair, comforting. No, that guy Yakuya is a typical knife mouth bean curd heart. He also looked in the direction of his departure with deep eyes. Time in soul society seems to pass faster than in this world. Carry out the daily tasks of the fourth squad, study the development of Kendo with Yunohana Retsu, deepen the brother-sister relationship with Rukia, and deal with Sui Feng coming to ask for the fourth. Feng Yuan Yoruichi's unreasonable demand for information. However, what Moyu couldn't figure out was that the number of times Sui Feng came to Kuchiki's house seemed to be too frequent. In this way, the boring and fulfilling life is advancing rapidly. Two years later, as usual, Moyu is going to the fourth team to carry out his daily tasks. However, he has not yet stepped out of his home. The fluttering hell butterfly flew to and landed beside him. Moyu stretched out his finger and let it fall on it, accepting the message attached by the small celestial congluo. However, when he heard the news, his eyes suddenly widened, and an expression of disbelief appeared on his face. Emergency information. Shiba Ishin, Reiatsu, captain of the 10th squad, disappeared into the present world. How come? Moyu's two sword eyebrows frowned deeply, puzzled. Shubai, isn't he dead? After hearing the news, he immediately thought about Shiba Ishin's fate. But Shubai's death has changed his original destiny. But why now? Moyu didn't hesitate and returned home directly. As one of the four great nobles, the Kuchiki family has its own world transmitting gate. In terms of use, it is even more convenient and quicker than the public transgressive door. After confirming the location of Karakura town, Moyu stepped straight into the crossing gate. There are some things that he must go to confirm. Otherwise, it will bring endless regrets to Moyu. Karakura town, fixed point in the suburbs. The quaint sliding partition door opens above the open space. Moyu stepped out of it. The first time he looked at the present world, his brows were tightly wrinkled together. Residual Reiatsu fluctuations, Shiba Ishin, Maino's Grande, and a completely unfamiliar being. In the end what happened? With no clues at all, Ya decided to find the person he cared about first. I hope that silly girl didn't do something stupid. As soon as the voice fell, Moyu's figure disappeared in place like a bubble. On a manor north of Karakura town, a black figure appeared high in the sky, looking down at the scenery below. And its Reiatsu fluctuations emanating out of Setsuna, several Reiatsu powerful people, 8-5, among them come out fast. That is, Shinigami. Shinigami managed to find this here. Moyu lowered his eyes slightly, looking down at the scene below, unmoved in the slightest. I'm not here for war. Where is Kurosaki Masaki? He didn't perceive Kurosaki Masaki's Reiatsu from the real world, which means that she most likely had an accident. And right now, only the Ishida family, who are also Quincy masters, are in control of Kurosaki Masaki's whereabouts. You are, Ishida Longxian looked at the figure in the air in shock, and recognized the identity of Black Jade. It seems that you should know my purpose. Moyu looked calm, I just want to know Masaki's whereabouts. Please let me know, please. As for Kurosaki Masaki's friend, he is not willing to have a bad relationship with him. If possible, it is best to resolve all this peacefully. It is a pity that the other party does not seem to be willing to settle peacefully. A mere Shinigami, dare to speak out like this. Holy lost. Before Ishida Longxian could react, the other Quincy attacked Moyu. The gathered high compression blue spiritual beam beams instantly passed through the limitation of space and went straight to the pressure's vital point. Seeing that everyone's attacks were about to hit Moyu, Ishida Longxian opened his mouth and closed his mouth, but stopped talking. 
He knew Moyu, and when Kurosaki Masaki talked to Moyu that day, he saw everything in his eyes. Kurosaki Masaki has a marriage contract with him. In Ishida Ryaxian's view, the fate of the two has already been tied together. But this sudden appearance of Shinigami completely broke this fate. Ishida Ryasaki could see the change of Kurosaki Masaki's attitude towards him, and even other thoughts. 2. 2. If this Shinigami dies here, Ishida Longxian's pupils shrank suddenly, and he looked into the sky with unbelievable eyes. Moyu's expression remained unchanged, his arms flexed and stretched, and he grasped these sacred extinctions with his backhand. The powerful attack attack that could kill Maino's Grande, it is difficult to even break the defense in front of it. How can that be? Shinigami, who isn't even the captain, can be so powerful. Moyu's power is beyond what Quincy knew about Shinigami. With a blow full of confidence, I wanted to see the hateful Shinigami killed on the spot. However, with a little force on the palm of Moyu's hand, he directly touched the sacred extinctions into countless fragments of spirit particles, which dissipated in the air. I'll ask again one last time. Masaki, where are you? After the words fell, the monstrous Reiatsu descended on this manner in an instant like a wave that would destroy the world. The black materialized Reiatsu surged behind Moyu making him look like a demon god who destroyed the world, terrifying and powerful. Ishida Longxian took a deep breath and walked out of Quincy slowly. He is the head of the Ishida family, and also the strongest among them. After Moyu showed his Reiatsu, he was very clear in his heart that the Shinigami in front of him was definitely not an existence that the Ishida family could compete with. Masaki Shi Before Ishida Longxian could finish speaking, a figure flew by in the distance. The familiar Reiatsu also returned to the manor. Moyu, Kurosaki Masaki flew over and jumped directly in front of Moyu. After two years, seeing Moyu again, she found that her mood was extremely joyful. At this moment, Kurosaki Masaki understood. The person in front of her is the person she wants to see. Call, Moyu breathed a sigh of relief and sighed. It's good that you're fine. For this kind and innocent girl in front of her, UK couldn't bear the original fate to happen to her. Sending death sacrifices or something, let others go. Hey, hey, Kurosaki Masaki's eyes widened, and she suddenly realized that there was something wrong with the place where the two met. After she noticed Moyu's Reiatsu, she rushed over at the fastest speed without even thinking about it. But when they arrived here, they discovered that this place seemed to be the manor of the Ishida family. The surrounding atmosphere is also a bit strange. You, you won't be. Before Kurosaki Masaki could finish speaking, Moyu interrupted her guess. Nothing. The corner of Moyu's mouth slightly raised, and he said with a smile, We are just having a friendly exchange. You say yes, Mr. Ishida. The last address was almost uttered in a threatening tone. Ishida Longxian only felt as if he was thrown into the Arctic Circle unsuspectingly, and the chill completely enveloped him. After thinking about it for a moment, he decided to continue speaking according to Moyu's meaning. No, that's right, Mr. Moyu is not the same as those Shinigami. Hearing this, the smile on Kurosaki Masaki's face became brighter and brighter. That's right, Moyu is very special. After leaving Ishida's house, Heiyu's mind also settled down. Kurosaki Masaki is fine, so there is no need to worry too much about things in this world. As for the Shiba Ishin thing, it is not so easy for a captain at that level to die. For now, I'd better go to the Urahara store and ask. In this world, only Urahara and Yoruichi can be trusted by Moyu. Urahara store, underground secret base. Moyu looked at Shiba Ishin in White Howry with a big grin in front of him in astonishment. Unexpectedly, things went round and round and returned to the starting point. Ha, I never expected to meet you here. Shiba Ishin scratched the back of his head and laughed out loud, we are really destined. Do you want to change jobs and come to our 10th squad? Snapped, Moyu covered his face with his hands, it was almost incomprehensible for this kind of guy with a big heart. Now is not the time to talk about that. By the way, why are you here? The disappearance of your Reiatsu has been captured by the Technology Development Bureau. He looked at Shiba Ishin helplessly, and said, Let's not talk about the Jubin team now, even the entire Seraite is a mess. Shiba Ishin is not only the captain of the Jubin team, but also the head of the branch house of the Shiba family of the Four Nobles. 
Its importance to Seraite is self-evident. Ha, huh, I can't help it either. Shiba Ishin let out a hearty laugh. I came to this world to drink not long ago, and then met a strange Mano's Grande. There was a fight between us, but I still can't beat him after Shikai. If you hadn't been rescued by some passing guy, I'm afraid you wouldn't have seen me. Although the Shiba Ishin in front of me is an understatement. But Moyu can feel the hardships of his battle. Shiba Ishin is no ordinary captain, his strength is absolutely top-notch among captains. But even so, he was still no match for the Mano's Grande after Shikai, which made some bad associations sprout in Moyu's heart again. The characteristics of Mano's Grande, do you remember? Moyu asked solemnly. Well, a black armor, a hideous bull head mask, and sharp blades growing on both arms. Oh, by the way, the body inside the armor is pale white. Shiba Ishin tried to recall the details of the battle. Hearing this here, I can be sure. The enemy Shiba Ishin encountered was still a blank white. This made him doubtful, but also somewhat vigilant. When will the existence of this level of Zubai be able to be created at will? You know, this thing is a vasto lord level Orankar Mano's Grande, even if it is placed in Hueco Mundo, it is extremely rare. But now, Sa, don't worry Mr. Moyu. Just as he was struggling, the voice of Urahara Kazuki came from the research institute. If nothing else happens, this should be the last void. Moyu followed the sound and looked. Urahara Kazuki, who was wearing a white coat, looked a little heavy. You guys have known each other for a long time. Shiba Ishin looked at the two people who were familiar with each other, unable to understand. I have been stationed in Karakura town for so long, so I am naturally aware of the existence of Urahara. Moyu explained, also, you haven't answered my question just now. Why are you here? Shiba Ishin was about to answer, but was interrupted by Urahara Kazuki. Come with me, let me answer your question. In this regard, Moyu already has some guesses. In the underground research institute, the dense instruments are neatly placed, giving people a solemn atmosphere. The position of the heart, on the bed, a strange woman was lying on it with a painful expression. The frequency of Reiatsu fluctuations seems a bit abnormal. Moyu immediately noticed the woman. Her name is Zhang Mu Yushang, the Quincy Master. Exist. In the previous battle between Ishin and Mano's Grande, he was saved, but he was also attacked by Mano's Grande. Urahara Kazuki looked dignified, and said seriously, the power of Mano's Grande has invaded Miss Yushang's body. Mr. Moyu, you should be very clear about this concept. Listening to his narration, Moyu had trouble thinking about too many things. Everything that happened in front of him made him suspect that the spirit kings who had been made into sticks still had will. If it wasn't for Kurosaki Masaki's fate intertwined with him. I'm afraid the one lying here will be her. However, even so, this thing happened after all. It's just replaced by Zhang Muyushang. Same Quincy, same Mano's Grande, same Shiba Ishin. Mr. Urahara, can Faxiang help her? There was a hint of anxiety in Shiba Ishin's eyebrows. Help, Urahara Kazuki answered in the affirmative. Shiba Ishin beamed with relief. It's good to be saved. However, Miss Yushang cannot recover after all. Urahara Kazuki's next words sent him directly into hell. She was impregnated with the power of Mano's Grande, and the phenomenon of hollow occurred. The so-called hollow is to inject the empty soul into an existing soul, so as to destroy the boundary between the two souls. It is a way to destroy the original object and sublimate it into a more. A trial of a higher level of soul. Quote, it was originally a technique to strengthen Shinigami's soul, but it was beyond our control. This is the result of using this uncontrollable technology on Quincy divisions other than the original target. Shiba Ishin looked serious, said solemnly. Then what is the way to recover? Urahara Kazuki raised his eyes, looked directly at Shiba Ishin, and said word by word. Direct injection of the opposite soul to hollow. Shiba Ishin folded his arms and listened very carefully, nodding his head from time to time in response. Well, that's how it is. However, Moyu squinted his eyes and stared at the guy in front of him. The opposite of hollow soul, the destruction of boundaries can be suppressed and prevented. Urahara Kazuki didn't care about Shiba Ishin's reaction, but looked at Moyu and continued. For example, I use Quincy's light arrows and human souls to make vaccines. 
injecting it into the souls of several Shinigami behind Hollow can restrain the progress of Hollow. So, I want to take Miss Yushang's life and not let her Hollow. He shifted his gaze, put it back on Shiba Ishin, and said seriously. If you want to continue to survive as a human being, you need a stronger power. Until she dies, can't Li Gai for a moment, keep suppressing her hollow, and inject the opposite powerful force. Shiba Ishin nodded thoughtfully, until Moyu approached him and asked in a low voice. By the way, do you know what to do? Shiba Ishin shook his head as a matter of course, and said. Not understand. As soon as these words came out, even the voice of Urahara Kazuki, who was about to explain the execution method, stopped abruptly. Ah, I really don't understand the specific process very well. Shiba Ishin scratched his head, smiled and said seriously. But as long as I can do it, order it as much as possible. After all, the real man is a man who knows how to repay his kindness. Urahara Kazuki was slightly startled, then immediately lowered his gaze, and said in a deep voice. Is that so? All in all, if you want to save Miss Yushang, you need all your strength. And in the future, I will not be able to leave her side. Before he finished speaking, he heard Shiba Ishin's decisive voice. Understood. No problem. Urahara Kazuki looked at Shiba Ishin with unexpected eyes, unable to understand what was in his mind. I said yes. Hurry up and get started. Seeing that Urahara Kazuki was still in a daze, Shiba Ishin urged. Your explanation time is too long. Pretending to talk so much nonsense, it's okay to be a Shinigami and protect her for the rest of my life. You don't need to think about this kind of thing, of course you have to do it. Urahara Kazuki asked in a low voice. No nostalgia. How is this possible? Shiba Ishin retorted, there are too many to tell. But so what? Being held back by nostalgia, playing dead to your benefactor. My future self will definitely be ashamed of this. Urahara Kazuki turned around and said. I see, come with me. The next thing has nothing to do with Moyu. He quietly watched Urahara Kazuki's operation. Integrate Shiba Ishin's soul into the special skeleton, and let him join with Imyuka's soul. As expected of a member of the Shiba family. Moyu sighed, know your kindness and repay it, and don't expect anything in return. Urahara Kazuki stared earnestly at the screen in front of him, on which the dots of light symbolizing their souls had gathered together. If there are no accidents, this test will eventually succeed. Hearing this, Moyu gave him a surprised look. From the beginning to the end, you have no guarantee of the success rate. Urahara Kazuki nodded without hesitation, and said without looking back. I still have a little experience in fusing Shinigami and Hollow, as well as human souls. But if we add the soul of the Quincy Master, the difficulty of the experiment will increase by several levels. If I hadn't considered the strength of Ishin's soul, I wouldn't have used this treatment. After speaking, Moyu once again had a new understanding of Urahara Kazuki's black heart. From the beginning to the end, this guy was not fully sure. And his words are just to make Shiba Ishin believe him. The fusion of souls was successfully completed, and Shiba Ishin woke up from the skeleton. On the contrary, Zhang Mu Yushang, who was lying on the bed, was still in a comatose state. The soul fusion was very successful, and Hollow has been completely suppressed. Urahara Kazuki's words, let him feel at ease. Yes. That is really good. Shiba Ishin breathed a sigh of relief and settled down. Since there is nothing else to do. Moyu said calmly, then it's time for me to return to soul society. The disappearance of Ishin Captain Reiatsu has caused a great stir in Seraite. I'm bound to go back and perform certain tasks. However, at this moment, Shiba Ishin hesitated. Moyu, can you take care of the 10th squad for me? You are one of the few people in the Soul Society that I can trust. After cooperating with Urahara Kazuki, the captain of the 10th division, he has become a criminal of the Soul Society especially when it comes to the connection between one's own soul and the soul of the Quincy Master. Sa, if it were possible, I would. Moyu did not refuse the other party's request. It is obviously not a troublesome thing for him to do it with a little effort. And those juniors of the Shiba family, please leave it to you. Shiba Ishin clasped his hands together with a very sincere attitude. The Shiba family. Moyu seemed to remember something, your disappearance may remove the Shiba family from the nobility. 
Hearing this, Shiba Ishin's expression was also somewhat gloomy. Still, he smiled and replied, Ha ha, if Kayan and the others know what I'm doing, they will definitely agree with me. Every kindness must be repaid, this is the Shiba family's house rule. Soul Society Muyu walked out through the boundary gate of Kuchiki's house, with a complicated look on his face. As for Shiba Ishin's decision, he can't do anything to interfere. But also admiration for his actions. Even if that Zhang Muyusheng had only met him once. He is still willing to give up his power as a Shinigami in order to repay his favor, and is willing to live an unknown life in this world. Perhaps, this is the difference between people. As time went by, the impact of Shiba Ishin Hospital became more severe. In the end, it even developed that the entire Seraite was known. The captain of the 10th division disappeared in this world. Where did you get the news? The whole Seraite has been spread, and you don't know it. I heard that the captain of the 10th division encountered a powerful enemy in this world, and because he was defeated, there is no news until now. Although Shiba Ishin is classified as missing, but according to the Reiatsu fluctuations that occurred before his disappearance in the present world, the Technology Development Bureau has been able to confirm that he died completely and disappeared into the world as his wife. After this news was sent to the 10th team, the whole team fell into silence. A sad atmosphere lingers in the 10th team's team building. No matter how you look at it, Shiba Ishin is a very good captain. Apart from the frequent skipping of shifts, there was very little fault to be found. A team house, captain's chamber, Yamamoto Motoyanagi sat upright at the front, looked at the captains who were still not assembled below, and said in a deep voice. What's the result of the investigation? After the words fell, Kuritsuchi Mayuri stepped forward and said in a strange tone. Three days ago, at 4.32 p.m., at 22 to 33 southwest of No. 6628, the present world location, a Reiatsu conflict of more than 100 levels occurred. After investigation, it is tentatively identified as Reiatsu of Shiba Ishin, captain of the 10th division, and Reiatsu of unknown Maino's Grande. Three hours later, another Quincy Reiatsu joined. Speaking of the word Quincy, Kuritsuchi Mayuri scanned the chamber with a scrutinizing gaze. Before he became captain, he was among maggots. The reason is also related to the Quincy. Because his research methods were too cruel, but he couldn't convict him of the crime, he was finally placed in the nest of maggots. If Urahara Kazuki hadn't appeared, his detention would have been extended indefinitely. The people detained in the nest of maggots are generally designated as dangerous persons by the Seraite, but they do not necessarily have the facts of crimes. Apparently, Kuritsuchi Mayuri's control over his own methods is in place. Seeing that everyone didn't respond to the word Quincy, Kuritsuchi Mayuri felt bored, and his voice became a lot more formulaic. Subsequently, Shiba Ishin, Maino's Grande, and Reiatsu of the Quincy disappeared one after another. Kuritsuchi Mayuri tapped his temple with his fingers, with a crazy and ferocious smile, and analyzed. According to the deduction of the Technology Development Bureau, the three parties died together. Shiba Ishin, the captain of our 10th division, contributed his last mirage to the maintenance of world peace. Let us pay her our highest respect. Kuritsuchi Mayuri opened his arms, and his expression became wilder. However, after realizing that no one took care of him, he put his arm down angrily. It's so boring. Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri, before seeing the body, directly classified it as dead. Hiraku Shunsui, wearing a pink captain's haori, interrupted Kuritsuchi Mayuri's spirits. Isn't that a little too much? Oh. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's pupils contracted, and she approached Kiraku Shunsui slightly, making a strange sound. As the leader of the Beijing Orchestra objecting to my research. It's not that simple. Another gentle voice sounded in the captain's meeting room. When he noticed the speaker, Kuritsuchi Mayuri had a look of obvious fear on his face. Captain Shiba Ishin's strength is very strong. You know Hana Retsu smiled and said, it's not an easy thing to kill him. As soon as these words came out, many captains felt chills in their hearts. How did you arrive at this result? Definitely tried this dangerous idea. People who knew Yunohana Retsu quietly moved away from her location. Among the 13 captains in Yunohana Retsu's degree of danger can definitely rank among the top three. Still classified as missing, an old but majestic voice resounded in the captain's meeting hall. 
Yamamoto Motoyanagi inspected the captains with strict eyes, and said, Right now, there are more important things to be resolved. The ten divisions are the patrolling guards in the Seraite, with heavy responsibilities, and the captain needs to be elected as soon as possible. Everyone, do you have any suitable candidates to recommend? As soon as these words came out, the field fell into silence again. The position of the captain of the 10th division is of great importance, not casually. It can be decided, you know, because the alert document jointly signed by the Bante and the first team is the highest level alert of Seraite. And if you want to become the captain, you still need to pass the actual combat assessment of the other three captains. In this way, it is also a great test for the personnel participating in the assessment. The quiet atmosphere lasted a long time. Intel. I have recommendations for suitable candidates. Bukuya Kuchiki, with a cool face, made his voice among the captains. The moment they saw him speak, almost all the captains thought of someone. The third chief of the 4th Division, Kuchiki Moyu. Although his qualifications are still young, his strength is enough to destroy Vasto Lord level disgust. Even if you can't perform Bankai, you can still be the captain. The voice fell. Yunohana Retsu smiled softly and said softly. Mr. Moyu is indeed a good candidate. If he continues to serve as the third seat, it will be a kind of burying him. The recommendation of two consecutive captains did not exceed the expectations of others. After all, in the Seraite, any Shinigami knows that the two captains have an unusual relationship with Moyu. Recommended by the two captains. A gentle voice resounded among the captains. Aizen lowered his eyes slightly, and said with a smile in the attitude of a good old man. It seems that Mr. Moyu's responsibilities will be increased a lot. Boom, the dull sound of the crutches hitting the ground attracted everyone's attention. Yamamoto Motoyanagisai stared deeply at Bukuya Kuchiki and said, Are you sure you want to recommend Kuchiki Moyu? Bukuya Kuchiki nodded and said calmly, Sure. I understand. Yamamoto Genryanagi's voice became deeper and deeper, and he stood up, but his not tall body was majestic like a mountain. The captain assessment, Tian will start tomorrow. Kuchiki home. Moyu looked at Bukuya Kuchiki expressionlessly, and was about to take out his Zanpakudo and stab him to death at home. What Bukuya Kuchiki said just now perfectly explained to him. What is misfortune from the sky? What is flying unexpected misfortune? What does it mean when a person sits at home and the pot comes from the sky? That's the way it is. Bukuya Kuchiki maintained a high cold personality, and said in a deep voice. Because of Shiba Ishin's disappearance, I recommended you to the captain. Considering the special nature of the 10th squad, the captain's assessment will be held tomorrow. Moyu sighed and said helplessly. You self-assertive fellow. Why didn't you ask for my opinion in advance? He played well in the third seat of the fourth team, caught fish from time to time, and lived a perfect life. What kind of evil did this do, what kind of captain do you want to be? After becoming the captain, you will have more say in Seraite. Bukuya Kuchiki didn't change his face, picked up the teacup on the table, sipped the tea and said. In this way, Nilu's existence may not need to be hidden any longer. Hearing this, Moyu froze. At this time, he finally realized what Bukuya Kuchiki was thinking. After a long silence, there was another sound in the room. Thank you. Next morning, Moyu and Bukuya Kuchiki came to the vicinity of the Spiritual Art Academy with the breeze and the warm sunshine. Nilu lay on his shoulder, looking curiously at the surrounding scenery. This is the first time she has come to the Spirit Art Academy. So many people, Nilu exclaimed. If it wasn't for the fact that Noble Street was not safe, Moyu wouldn't have brought it with him. The depth of the water on the nobleman's side is far more terrifying than it appears on the surface. Sometimes, it is better to avoid some incidents. The only thing that can be assured is the third-generation camouflage watch researched by Urahara Kazuki. Not to mention Yamamoto Yuanliatsu, even Moyu himself can't detect Nilu's Reiatsu that belongs to Shu when Nilu hides her own Reiatsu. Ultimate Reiatsu's perception is already superior to Seraite's 99% Shinigami. This is where I used to study. Moyu looked at the familiar figures in the front, with a touch of emotion in his eyes. It didn't seem like too long had passed. But between each other, earth-shaking changes have taken place. Mo, brother Moyu. Rukia's cheeks were slightly red, 
and she asked excitedly, is it you who is being assessed by the captain? Her eyes were filled with anticipation. Rukia would love to see Moyu as the new captain. Um, Moyu stretched out his palm, rubbed Rukia's short hair a few times, and said, as long as I pass the assessment of the three captains, that's enough to become the captain. Hearing this, the excitement on Rukia's face became more and more obvious. It seems that Moyu is more happy to be the captain than she is to be the captain. Several people in the same class looked at Moyu with complicated expressions. In their impression, Moyu just graduated not long ago. But in the blink of an eye, just as they were about to graduate, the king was already a big shot who was about to become the captain. This made them, who were still classmates, very complicated for a while. Among them, the only thing that was different was a certain red-haired guy. He looked at Moyu, as if burning hot flames. When Moyu noticed him, Abarai Renji suddenly said with fighting spirit, Moyu, I will definitely surpass you. In this regard, Moyu smiled slightly and said, I'm waiting for that day to come. Abarai Renji, his potential is also extremely strong in Saraite. It is a pity that it still needs time and the tempering of fighting. Right now, he is a little too immature. In the distance, the discussion became more lively. Kuchiki Moyu from the Kuchiki family became the third officer of the fourth team when he just graduated, and now he is about to become the captain. This is too outrageous. Are all the people in the Kuchiki family exaggerating? A family with two captains is too strong. Moyu didn't take this seriously, and after saying goodbye to Rukia and the others, he went straight to the number one training ground. The original captain's assessment was conducted at the training ground of the first team's team building. But considering too many things happened in the Saraite recently, even these students of the Spirit Art Academy have doubts about the power of the Saraite. So, with a wave of Yamamoto Genryonagi's hand, he directly assigned the captain's assessment to the Academy of Spiritual Arts. It is still very necessary to establish some prestige. On the training ground number 1. Dozens of Kido soldiers carefully arranged layers of Kido barriers to prevent the aftermath of the captain's battle from hurting the students of the Spiritual Art Academy. Go, Bukuya Kuchiki said coldly without changing his expression. In front of outsiders, especially in front of many people, he will continue to maintain his iceberg personality. Moyu was already used to his gesture, so he didn't take it to heart. Walking into the arena, the eyes of several captains immediately fell on Moyu. There are not a few captains who come to watch the battle. Except for Yamamoto Motoyanagi, who is still guarding the first team's team building, Sui Feng, who is performing missions, and Jashiro Yukitaki, who is sick in bed, the other captains all appear here. It was the first time for the students of Spirit Art Academy to see so many captains, and they were very excited. Kuchiki Moyu, the captains who are in charge of assessing you are. In the absence of Yamamoto Yuanlianagi, the team leader who presided over the assessment was the person he trusted the most. Captain of the 8th Division, Kiraku Shunsui. Yeah, it seems that old man Sean's idea is very firm. Kiraku Shunsui said softly, You know Hana Retsu, Captain of the 4th Division, Yukuya Kuchiki, the Captain of the 6th Division, and Captain of Division 12, Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Hiraku Shunsui immediately guessed what Yamamoto was thinking after learning about the captain who was in charge of the assessment. Obviously, he approves of Moyu being the captain of the 10th squad. So much so that when arranging the assessment team leader, they found two people who had the closest relationship with Moyu. On the stage, there was a rare look of surprise on Bukuya Kuchiki's fair face. Moyu also looked a little weird. The intention to let yourself be the captain, don't be so urgent, okay. This will make those guys from the Spiritual Art Institute think that I became the captain only after leaving Shaman. Moyu walked through the barrier and went straight to Bukuya Kuchiki. I didn't expect you to be my examiner. Bukuya Kuchiki returned to the high cold image and said slowly. Don't think that I'll put water on you. Even if you are my family. Moyu waved his hand indifferently and said easily. Sarah, I understand I understand. Use all your strength to fight for it. The voice fell, and the battle began. As Bukuya Kuchiki said, he did not choose to let the water go. The moment Shunpo started, he disappeared in place. Okay, so fast. The captain level Shunpo is so fast that he can't even see clearly. Two, too outrageous. 
fighting against this kind of person, I'm afraid I have already been defeated before seeing the shadow of the other party. As the battle started Satsuna, exclamations continued to ring out from around. It was the first time for the students of the Spirit Art Academy to see a captain-level battle. Boom, in the handover of fists, the initial trial begins with white hits. Yukuya Kuchiki's pupils shrank slightly, and he felt the powerful momentum from his arm. Moyu's strength was somewhat beyond his expectation. But soon, a sense of relief emerged in his heart. The stupid Odudo who used to be under the wings has finally grown up. When fighting, don't be distracted. Moyu's voice rang in his ears. Before Bukuya Kuchiki could react, he felt a dull sound coming from his chest. Immediately, the whole person flew out directly. Such a change caused another exclamation from the field. Captain Bukuya was knocked into the air. It can't be water, isn't Captain Bukuya not as good as his younger brother? Regarding the changes in the battle, these guys obviously belong to the kind of layman who watched the excitement and didn't understand the essence at all. Only the other captains looked serious when they saw this scene. Bukuya Kuchiki didn't hold back much in his first attempt. But even so, he was still directly hit by Moyu. It can be seen that Moyu is not considered weak among the captains. I lost. Bukuya Kuchiki stopped and admitted defeat. Hey, how so? Even if Zanpakudo wasn't pulled out. Hiraku Shunsui appeared on the edge of the barrier and laughed. Aren't you going to continue the assessment? Yukuya Kuchiki shook his head, took a deep look in the direction of Moyu, and said. The people of the Kuchiki family don't know how to face each other with swords. Quote. After knowing the approximate strength of Moyu, he has achieved his goal. As for the next assessment, let Moyu himself. Captain Yunohana, it's your turn to play next. Hiraku Shunsui pointed his eyes at Yunohana Retsu, who was watching from the sidelines. No need. Yunohana Retsu smiled softly and said calmly, When I was in the fourth team, I had many fights with Mr. Moyu. I am not his opponent. As soon as these words came out, there was an uproar in the field. Captain Yunohana said he is no match for Kuchiki Moyu, how is that possible? Maybe it's because the fourth team is the logistics team. It makes sense, I've never heard of how strong Captain Yunohana is. Being able to become the captain of the fourth team must be because I am not very good at fighting. Listening to the reasoning and discussion from around, Le Chunshui showed a dumbfounding expression. You rookies, know a hammer. There are not many who dare to say that they are sure to beat the logistics captain. How can you guys understand the prestige of Kenpachi from first generation? Yeah, two captains abstained in a row, it's really hard for me. Hiraku Shunsui scratched the stubble on his chin, looking distressed. Immediately, he set his sights on Kuritsuchi Mayuri, who was at the very edge, and said. Captain Ni, I will trouble you next time. Hearing this, Kuritsuchi Mayuri let out a strange laugh and said. No problem, I will definitely let. You have seen a wonderful battle like never before. As soon as these words came out, Hiraku Shunsui stared suspiciously at the strange guy in front of him. In his impression, Kuritsuchi Mayuri has always been not interested in fighting or anything. What can make him interested is nothing more than some scientific research or something. However, today's Kuritsuchi Mayuri is uncharacteristically. Li Lahao. This gave Kiraku Shunsui a bad feeling in Yishi's heart. He wanted to remind him, but he found that Kuritsuchi Mayuri had already entered the Kido barrier. Sa, Mr. Moyu. Kuritsuchi Mayuri talked familiarly, we meet again. Remember my proposal from earlier. Moyu frowned, and Tianfen looked at the guy in front of him unhappily. Few people can make Moyu feel disgusted. But Kuritsuchi Mayuri in front of him is obviously one of them. It doesn't exist, it's impossible. Moyu didn't even think about it, and directly refused, you are thinking about fart. Hearing this, Kuritsuchi Mayuri froze for a moment. Since he became the captain, few people have talked to him like this. Ha, it doesn't matter. Kuritsuchi Mayuri smiled strangely, since Mr. Moyu you don't want to cooperate. Then I can only pick it up by myself. As he spoke, he pulled out his Zanpakudo in front of him, tilted his head, and looked at Moyu with a very sick self-glow. Open your paws, killing Jizo class, Reiatsu burst out, and purple light emerged, enveloping Zanpakudo in his hand. 
When the light dissipated, the killing Cytogarba was also displayed in front of everyone. The three scattered golden blades are in a distorted shape, and the tail of the blade is like a baby's face, with ominous features. Hey, do you think I'll fight you personally? Kuritsuchi Mayuri tilted his head and said with a strange expression. Try my method, Mr. Moyu. As soon as the voice fell, the face at the end of the Cytogarba knife opened its mouth directly, and a large amount of purple poisonous mist spread from it. In an instant, the entire enchantment was directly shrouded. Moyu frowned slightly, looking at the poisonous mist that kept spreading. Kuritsuchi Mayuri, you should know this thing is useless to me. In the present world, Kuritsuchi Mayuri used various means to get Moyu's Reiatsu. Among them is the conspiracy of poisonous fog. However, after being noticed by Moyu, he directly removed Kuritsuchi Mayuri's limbs and beat him to a serious degree with his backhand. If he hadn't considered his captain status, he even wanted to keep this guy in this world forever. It is really an indescribable experience to be thought of by a lunatic all the time. Hey, I am naturally aware of this. Kuritsuchi Mayuri held Kizo Jizo and waved it lightly. The poisonous mist rushed towards Moyu at a faster speed. A black materialized Reiatsu emerged, guarding Moyu's side. However, something unexpected happened to him. Reiatsu, corrupted. Moyu widened his eyes slightly, looking at Reiatsu beside him who seemed to be eaten by ants, a little surprised. This is exactly my method. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's smile became more and more sinister, does Mr. Moyu really think that I have been to this world so many times? No gain at all, you are in charge of dealing with those tricky situations, and you have shot many times. Although the traces of Reiatsu are erased every time, there are always negligence. He pressed Jizo Jizo close to his face, pressing out deep marks. A little harvest is enough for me to research a special potion for you. Saying that, Kuritsuchi Mayuri opened his arms and laughed maniacally. Feel, come from the crushing of wisdom, Mr. Moyu. I will let you know that only, here, in this world is eternal. He tapped his temples with pale nails, looking more and more like a lunatic. As the poisonous mist penetrated, Moyu also felt a little worried. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's scientific research level, he is clear. In this respect, it is second only to Urahara Kazuki. If it is really researched by it to find out things that are aimed at oneself, then one of the biggest disadvantages and shortcomings will be placed in front of the world without any defense. But Moyu's powerful strength has become a joke instead. However, what happened next made Moyu realize the power of ultimate Reiatsu at this moment. The poisonous mist corroded, like countless ants gnawing on it. Blockbuster black materialization Reiatsu after being assimilated. Your Reiatsu was provoked by unknown things, and his self-esteem was damaged, forced to evolve, and various resistances were improved. As the system prompt sounded, Moyu could clearly perceive a more solid change in Reiatsu itself. Immediately afterwards, the poison that had eroded down was directly isolated as if it had encountered an iron plate. Um. Kuritsuchi Mayuri sensed that something was wrong, and his frenzied expression froze suddenly. The erosion rate of the specialty drug slowed down. No, completely isolated, his eyes narrowed to the size of a pinprick, he stared fixedly at the direction of Moyu, with an expression of disbelief on his face. How can that be? What happened in front of him was beyond his comprehension. The nature of Reiatsu is to exist in a fixed form. Even if the individual's Reiatsu becomes stronger, its essence does not change. Dre, Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes widened, full of Arashi madness and tyranny. Sometimes, things just happen to be so coincidental. Moyu slowly pulled out Lan Yin, and the breeze came slowly, swirling in the enchantment. As a result, the poisonous mist collapsed towards the edge of the barrier, and could no longer pose any threat to Moyu. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's method is nothing more than a bad information. The targeting on Reiatsu may temporarily reduce Jade's combat effectiveness a little. However, it is difficult to change the final outcome after all. The bluish-white wind lingers around the blade, making it complete Shikai silently. Pushing my boundaries time and time again. There was a hint of cold killing intent in Moyu's voice. Kuritsuchi Mayuri, since you want to die so much, then I will fulfill you. After the voice fell, his figure had disappeared in place. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's pupils dilated, subconsciously placed Kisaro Jizo horizontally in front of her. Puff 1, 
The sound of sharp blades piercing into the flesh rang in my ears. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's expression was full of bewilderment. Just now, what happened? The broken arm flew horizontally into the air, and blood spilled all over the ground. The sharp pain from the shoulder deeply stimulated Kuritsuchi Mayuri's nerves, making him recover from his days. Into the eyes. The cold killing intent has completely enveloped him. Moyu raised his arms slightly, and Lan Yin, who was surrounded by the bluish white wind, was less than a foot away from him. The madness in Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes was even worse, and he roared in his heart. Move, block it for me, block it. Under the background of Moyu, Kuritsuchi Mayuri felt as if his movements were slowed down countless times. The breath of death has already shrouded it. Scoff. Jingle. Another arm flew up in the air, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri's resisting movement was a beat slow after all. But fortunately, Moyu didn't cut the key point. Potential stimulation. Moyu looked at Kuritsuchi Mayuri indifferently, and said. Never mind, since you have the courage to do this, you should have the thought of taking it on. Let's stop here. When the poisonous mist was blown away, the battle in the barrier had already exceeded everyone's expectations. They never expected that Moyu, who has not yet served as the captain, would be so powerful in terms of strength. Even though Kuritsuchi Mayuri, the captain of the 12th Division, is already Shikai, he still has no strength to fight back in front of him. Undetectable Shunpo, strong to ultimate power. It's just a simple slash Kuritsuchi Mayuri is all room showing a state of being slaughtered. Yeah, what Moyu did is a little too much. Hiraku Shunsui leaned slightly, and already had the idea of joining the fight. As the person in charge of the captain's assessment, he must not allow Kuritsuchi Mayuri to die in front of him. Kuritsuchi Mayuri is more over the top, isn't it? However, just as he stood up, Sakura flowers floated from the sky and scattered in front of Hiraku Shunsui. Hiraku Shunsui looked slightly startled, and looked in the direction of Bukuya Kuchiki. Sakura flowers are flying around. Before the captain's assessment, the ban on liberation near the spiritual academy has been lifted. Liberation in battle contests the true strength of the examiners. However, such behavior has become the reason why Kiraku Shunsui is restrained right now. The damage caused by the battle between the captains was enough to easily destroy the entire spiritual academy. Create special medicine for members of the Kuchiki family. This one charge alone is enough to drive him into the world. Bukuya Kuchiki maintained a cold attitude and an indifferent tone. At the beginning of the battle, he had been very worried about Moya. Fortunately, Moyu did not live up to his expectations, and the backhand easily suppressed Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Right now, Hiraku Shunsui wants to stop this fight. Bukuya Kuchiki won't make it easy. Not everyone in the Kuchiki family can miss it. Kuritsuchi Mayuri dodged Moyu's slash in a very embarrassed posture. Immediately launched Shunpo, fled to the edge of the enchantment. Kuchiki Moyu. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's expression became more and more frenzied, with a needle hanging in his mouth CDDB, and it pierced into his body without hesitation. Immediately, his physical body was repaired at an extremely fast speed. Flesh Tonic, a potion that can instantly heal damaged flesh, is one of Kuritsuchi Mayuri's inventions. The wailing of a defeated dog is always so hoarse. Moyu looked at Kuritsuchi Mayuri in the distance indifferently, and waved Lanyan lightly in his hand. Only those who are innocent can sleep peacefully. Wind slash. The hurricane swept out above Lanyan, and made a tearing sound against the ground in the direction of Kuritsuchi Mayuri. The ground cracked, and the barrier collapsed layer by layer. During the march, the wind became more and more fierce and violent. The aura of destruction filled the enchantment, making it even more crumbling. Several Kido congregations are struggling to maintain the Kido ward, preventing it from being torn apart by the hurricane. Kuritsuchi Mayuri looked crazy, and stretched out his hand to summon Jizo. I'm not going to die here. There is an insurmountable gap between you and the captain. While speaking, Kuritsuchi Mayuri hung the Jizo Jizo in his hand upside down in front of his body, and let out a low moan like a devil. Bankai. Golden Zodiac kills Jizo. A mass of poisonous mist rose around it, engulfing Kuritsuchi Mayuri itself. Smelly brat, don't underestimate people. Kuritsuchi Mayuri let out a frenzied roar in it. The violent Reiatsu soared into the sky, forming a huge beam of light, shining on the spiritual masters. 
You activated Bankai. What a mess. Hiraku Shunsui looked at the beam of light piercing the sky, and murmured. It looks like Moyu put a lot of pressure on Captain Ni. In Seraite, the vice captain and Shikai above the captain are banned. If it wasn't for the captain's assessment, this ban would not be lifted temporarily. However, Bankai is absolutely not allowed. In particular, Zanpakudo, which is destructive on a large scale, is not allowed. Once its ability is used, it is very likely that all the students watching the battle here will die tragically. Hiraku Shunsui is ready to step into the two-man fight again. However, Yukuya Kuchiki's unyielding attitude really made it difficult for him. Whenever he makes any changes, the flying soccer of flowers in the air will speed up. The meaning of the threat is already very clear. Boom! The violent roar resounded through the training ground. A monster with a huge baby head, terrifying gray eyeballs, and a steel circle monster resembling an angel's halo suspended above its head appeared here. Under its neck, there are countless blades, and the columnar worm body like a centipede's limbs is constantly wriggling. Golden Killer Jizo. Kuritsuchi Mayuri stood under him, the dilapidated decoration could not conceal the madness in his heart. How is it, Kuchiki Moyu? Bankai's power is beyond your imagination, right? Victory, after all, belongs to me. The ferocious golden Zanpakudo belongs to the Zanpakudo of the biological department and the poisonous department, and can continuously increase its power through transformation. Its signature skill, poisonous fog. Under the transformation of Kuritsuchi Mayuri, it's poison. It is enough to instantly destroy an entire city. Even after being eroded by the poisonous mist, even Reiatsu couldn't be mobilized. At this time, the hurricane formed by Gale Slash was already approaching before the golden killing Jizo. Rip this disgusting wind, Kuritsuchi Mayuri waved the handle of the knife in his hand and gave an order. An existence like you must become my research object. Woo. The golden killing Jizo let out a disturbing roar, and immediately rushed towards the hurricane. The huge worm's limbs and feet on the ground sent out a bang. Countless sharp blades protruded from under his neck, roaring and rushing towards the sweeping hurricane. Boom! Not surprisingly, Moyu's attack was crushed by it. But what Kuritsuchi Mayuri didn't expect was that the poisonous knives of the golden killing Jizo were also shattered several times. The poisonous blade that shone with cold light fell in the air, turned into poisonous mist and dispersed again. Ha! Is this the only thing you can do? Kuchiki Moyu, you are dead. Kuritsuchi Mayuri saw that the Golden Slayer Jizo had won the first battle, and suddenly showed a crazy smile. There is no cure for fools. Moyu's expression was flat, and he looked at Kuritsuchi Mayuri as if he was looking at a dead person. Such eyes completely ignited the anger in Kuritsuchi Mayuri's heart. Your disgusting eyes, I will make you a specimen. Golden Zodiac kills Jizo. Following his roar, the golden killing Jizo roared to the sky, and poisonous mist gushed out of his mouth like a tsunami, engulfing the entire venue in an instant. As a result, the Kido barrier completely collapsed under the erosion of the poisonous mist, rushing towards all directions. The students ran and screamed, and the scene was chaotic for a while. What an exaggeration, Hiraku Shunsui could no longer care about Bukuya Kuchiki's obstruction. As the person in charge, he must stop the chaos. Once a large number of Spirit Art Academy students die here, it will be a huge loss for Seraite. However, just as it was preparing to launch Shunpo, in the venue below, a terrifying oppression like Tianshuo suddenly appeared. The movements of countless people were frozen in the moment, and their eyes were full of horror. All voices were erased, leaving only the indifferent tone. Remember, the wind moves. As the voice fell, the bluish-white wind swept up, turning into a gale that devoured everything and descended on the Spiritual Art Academy. Chapter 91 The frantic wind covered the entire training ground. The range of several kilometers was completely enveloped by the bluish-white wind. Wherever the breath of the wind goes, everything is completely cut off. The body of the golden Disha Jizo who raised his head to the sky and howled, suddenly stiffened, and his insolent movements also froze in place, unable to move any more. Numerous wind breaths blew over his body, turning it into countless lumps in an instant, shattered and scattered in the training field. There is no such thing as resistance. The golden killer Jizo, Bankai of Kuritsuchi Mayuri, was completely cut off. Moyu stepped on the wind, like a god who controls the wind. 
The sleeves are fluttering, the hair is moving lightly, and every move affects the power of the world. The remaining Kido enchantment completely dissipated under the sweeping wind. But the violent wind still condensed on the training ground, without a trace of leakage. The poisonous mist surging like a tsunami was torn and swallowed by the wind. The breath of wind directly annihilated it from the spiritual sub-level, making it completely disappear on the training ground. Looking at Moyu who is like a real god, there is no sound on the court. Almost everyone looked at Moyu with shocked and incomprehensible eyes. Is this Moyu's strength? Hiraku Shunsui murmured with a look of shock. Is this the true strength of Kuchiki Moyu? The power that completely crushes Kuritsuchi Mayuri, even among the captains, can be regarded as a very strong existence. However, what surprised him more was not this. You know, until now, Moyu has only performed Shikai. This also means that he still has a deeper potential to be tapped. Zanpakudo, with such a degree of wind, reminded him of his teacher. Yamamoto Genryu Sai, the strongest Shinigami since the millennium, has mastered the strongest hotline Zanpakudo in the Soul Society. Perhaps, the Zanpakudo in Moyu's hand will be the strongest Zanpakudo in the wind system. Outside the training ground, the students of the Spirit Art Academy watching the battle were even more dumbfounded one by one. At first, the battle between Moyu and Bukuya Kuchiki made them feel that Moyu got the position of chief executive by going to Shaman. And the captain's assessment battle was achieved with the help of the identity of the Kuchiki family. Bukuya Kuchiki's release and Yunohana Retsu's abstention made everyone even more disappointed. But this last battle completely broke their concept of Moyu. This, is this a battle at the captain level? Madam is strong. Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri's Bankai has been cut off, Moyu-sama's strength is too outrageous. It seems that what Captain Yunohana said before is correct. It is inevitable that the logistics captain is not the opponent of Lord Moyu. As the danger was lifted, the sound of chaotic discussions rang out again. Countless people looked at Moyu in the training ground with various eyes. Admiration, envy, envy, infatuation, yearning. The raging wind continued, and Moyu walked slowly towards the center of the wind. One step, two steps, like stepping on the heart of Kuritsuchi Mayuri, bringing unimaginable pressure to him. The shattering of the golden killing Jizo has already caused him a lot of damage and the raging wind around him made him even more injured, and his decline reappeared. Even so, Kuritsuchi Mayuri looked at Moyu with no regrets. Greed, jealousy, tyranny, madness. It's really a bad existence. Moyu commented, his thoughts moved slightly, and the wind became stronger by a few minutes. Wherever the wind is, it is his territory. Dust rose and engulfed Kuritsuchi Mayuri. The sound of the violent wind raged in it, and the sound of tearing flesh and blood continued to resound. When the wind subsided and the dust scattered, the remains of Kuritsuchi Mayuri appear in it. The body cut by countless wind blades became tattered, with blood and flesh hanging down, and even the internal organs and bones could be seen. However, even in this case, Kuritsuchi Mayuri still did not die. The completely remodeled body is even comparable to Rankar Meno's Grande in terms of vitality. Although there is no such ability as high-speed regeneration, but with those weird inventions of Kuritsuchi Mayuri, it will definitely not be weaker than high-speed regeneration and steel skin. Tough guy. Moyu looked at each other calmly, raised Lan Yin in his hand, and the wind picked up again. Captain Ni, I'm a person who is content with the status quo, and I don't want to fight against others. It would be the best if we can maintain this kind of life all the time but your repeated provocations have already touched my bottom line. Threat, nip it in the bud, or it will spring up like mushrooms and grow to the point where it feels thorny. So, farewell. Without the slightest hesitation, Lanyin went straight to the ground. When, the sound of gold and iron interlacing sounded, and a large number of sparks burst out. The wind changed slightly, and he suddenly focused his gaze on the person. Moyu, it's ready. Hiraku Shunsui forcibly broke through the blockade of Bukuya Kuchiki, came to the center of the battle, and said earnestly. The next thing, let's leave it to the first team in the 46 room to solve it. Kuritsuchi Mayuri will definitely pay for his actions. If you kill him, it will cause things to deteriorate beyond repair. At that time, even the Kuchiki family will suffer because of this. Facing his persuasion, Moyu glanced at him lightly, and said calmly. 
Unfortunately, I hate threats. Da Lan. After the voice fell, Feng Shi, who had calmed down, became restless again. The frantic sound of the wind roared above the sky. On Lanyan, in the bluish-white imprint, the ink color is rendered, climbing on the blade. Moyu slashed down with his sword. Having seen its previous performance, Kiraku Shunsui naturally would not relax, and subconsciously raised Zanpakuto to prepare to resist. However, the collision he expected did not happen. The wind is impermanent. Hiraku Shunsui froze at Moyu's explanation, and subconsciously looked behind him. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's already dilapidated body was turned into a tattered cloth bag by the wind gushing out of his body, with many air leaks. His pupils dilated and he staggered down. Blood stained the ground red. Reiatsu faded, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri completely lost his life. Moyu, you. Hiraku Shunsui's expression froze, and he shook his head in confusion. However, Seeing this scene, Moyu sighed helplessly. If you want to find the one with the most life-saving means among the captains, it must be Kuritsuchi Mayuri of the tens of teams. This weird guy has average strength. But to some extent, very similar to Orochimaru in the ninja village next door, there are endless ways to save life. In the eyes of others, Kuritsuchi Mayuri has already dissipated Reiatsu and died completely. But with Moyu's Reiatsu perception that has reached the ultimate level, there is still a trace of undetectable Reiatsu fluctuations hidden in the depths of the opponent's soul. This guy is definitely not dead. However, Kiraku Shunsui has already moved the corpse of Kuritsuchi Mayuri aside. If he makes another move, he will definitely be blocked by him with all his strength. What a tricky guy. Countless thoughts surged in Moyu's mind, thinking of killing Kuritsuchi Mayuri completely through another means. It is really unacceptable to be missed by this kind of existence. Ended. Hiraku Shunsui looked helplessly at Kuchiki Moyu in front of him, and said. Your behavior has already violated the rules of the Soul Society. The captain's assessment or something is useless. Get ready to be surveyed by the Soul Society. Quote. The voice fell, and a cold voice came from the side. Sorry, the Kuchiki family will not be investigated by the Soul Society. I will report this matter directly to Captain Yamamoto. Sakura flowers fluttered, Yukuya Kuchiki looked at Kiraku Shunsui with cold eyes, and stood in front of Moyu in a nonchalant figure. His attitude is very obvious. Today, I have secured this person. No one can come. Kiraku Shunsui looked complicated, looking at Yukuya Kuchiki quite unexpectedly. Based on his understanding of Yukuya Kuchiki, he would never have imagined that this man, who has always held family honor as the highest, would actually violate the rules of the Kuchiki family for his younger brother. Sarah, what a fierce battle. The lightly picked Kyoto accent has already explained the identity of the visitor. Ichimaru Jin looked at them with a smile like a smirking fox. The death of Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri is truly regrettable. Following the fluctuation of Reiatsu, the captains who were originally watching the battle also came here. And Kiraku Shunsui felt even more headache when he saw this scene. This group of unruly guys wished things would get worse. From the very beginning, they went to watch this battle with the intention of watching the excitement. Unfortunately, the old man's fighting style is not suitable for blocking this battle. Komamura Sajin, who was wearing a barrel mask, had a hint of regret in his tone. Otherwise, this tragedy will definitely not happen. So, no matter what, I will never tolerate people like Kuchiki Moyu who break the system. Hiraku Shunsui glanced at the big dog and shook his head again. Komamura Sajin stood firmly on old man Sean's side, but the current situation was complicated and couldn't be solved by just one captain. Ha ha. There was wild laughter, and the atmosphere in the near field was a little restless. He actually killed Kuritsuchi Mayuri, the trash. An opponent worth looking forward to. Zaraki Kenpachi who is full of hideous scars, has also rushed here. In his one eye, there was a fierce fighting spirit burning. Well, here comes another jing. When Kiraku Shunsui saw Zaraki Kenpachi, he felt even more headache. Chaotic scenes, noisy voices. The students of the Academy of Spiritual Art met a captain who had a completely different image from what they had in mind. Hey, I don't think Mr. Moyu did anything wrong. A gentle voice appeared in Moyu's ear. You know Hana Retsu, with her arms crossed in front of her, stood next to Moyu as expected. 
Everything is just for self-protection. Hearing this, Hiraku Shunsui's eyes widened. Is it too much for you to say? From the beginning to the end, Kuchiki Moyu hammered that Kuritsuchi Mayuri to the ground. Who the hell is protecting themselves? Co-author Kuritsuchi Mayuri did such a big crime, no one wants to see such a bad thing. In other words, don't rush to convict me. Moyu's flat voice sounded, attracting everyone's attention. He pointed in the direction of Kuritsuchi Mayuri's body. Said lightly, that guy isn't dead yet. Hiraku Shunsui looked suspiciously back and forth between Kuritsuchi Mayuri and Moyu. Reiatsu completely dissipated, judging by normal logic, this guy is absolutely dead. But Moyu looked so swearing, it didn't look like he was lying at all. Leave it to the fourth team. The corners of Yunohana Retsu's mouth raised, but there was an indescribable sense of danger in her gentle voice. If Captain Ni is not dead, he will definitely be able to rescue him. Hiraku Shunsui's intervention prevented Moyu from achieving his goal. But his battle with Kuritsuchi Mayuri also made him directly invited to the first team. Office of the Commander-in-Chief. In front of the Vermilion table, two figures, one old and one young, sat cross-legged. On the table, two cups of hot tea rose with a faint tea fragrance. Yamamoto Genryanagi closed his eyes slightly, like a group of dying old men, without the slightest bit of majesty. Moyu was bored counting the number of tea leaves in the cup, waiting for the other party to speak. A long time, Yamamoto Motoyanagi opened his eyes, and the majesty of the captain of Gote 13 immediately overwhelmed the room. Moyu even had the illusion that the air in the room froze for a moment. It is indeed the strongest Shinigami in the millennium, so terrifying. Kuchiki Moyu, do you have any explanation for the incident during the captain's assessment? Yamamoto Yuanlianagi said in a deep voice. Moyu knew that he didn't kill Kuritsuchi Mayuri, so he was a little more confident. Sa, it's not my fault. This guy, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, has been coveting my Reiatsu since I was in this world. Moyu sighed, and said helplessly. He once put forward various conditions, even threatened, trying to get me to hand over a copy of Reiatsu to cooperate with him in the experiment. But for a dangerous guy like Kuritsuchi Mayuri, it's hard to predict what terrible things will happen if Reiatsu is handed over to him. Hear the remarks. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi was silent for a while. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's character behavior, not to mention Yamamoto Motoyanagi, even ordinary team members have heard of it. No matter from which aspect, this guy is a complete lunatic. If you cooperate with it, if you are not careful, you may fall into the endless abyss and never turn over. Moyu didn't have the slightest psychological burden to expose this guy's background. By thinking of my own safety, I think it's better to nip the danger in the bud first. As for the captain's assessment this time, you, the chief captain, should have already understood it. He developed a special medicine specifically for it through the Reiatsu leftover from my previous battles. What he said was all the truth, so naturally he was not afraid of confrontation. I still want to stir up three points without reason, let alone standing on the side of reason now. Don't ask, just ask for your own safety. Moyu promises not to let Kuritsuchi Mayuri live if it happens again. Of the thirteen captains of the Hutting fan team, he is no less than one. Yamamoto Genryanagi's eyes were slightly closed, and the teacup in front of the table was steaming with steam, which further brought out his majestic aura. For a long time, Kuritsuchi Mayuri has a big problem. After that, if he really didn't die, he would be sentenced by the 46th chamber and imprisoned in the infernal hell. Strike against the direct line of the Kuchiki family, completely liberate Zanpakuto in the Seraite, and nearly cause a major accident. If it wasn't for his status as the captain, any one of the charges would be enough for him to be completely imprisoned. Moyu's eyes were slightly cold, and he was surprised by Kuritsuchi Mayuri's judgment. He doesn't know much about the infernal hell. But those who can be imprisoned are almost all ruthless characters. There was the 8th generation Kenpachi Mole City Shuangya, who attempted to control the residents of Rukongai to launch an attack on Hueko Mundo. Then there was Aizen Sosuke, the king of the virtual circle, who led the Hueko Mundo Espada and nearly destroyed Seraite. As for whether there are other prisoners among them, this is beyond Moyu's knowledge. Of course. Moyu is quite satisfied with this arrangement. As long as he doesn't let Kuritsuchi Mayuri appear in front of him, everything is fine. 
As for the 12th squad, there should be someone else in charge of being the captain. Don't be too happy, Kuchiki Moyu. Yamamoto Yuan Leonagi said in a deep voice, you have big problems too. After Kuritsuchi Mayuri lost the ability to resist, hit him again. The leader of the Beijing band once stopped you, but still failed to stop you. Although you are a victim, you still have to be ruled by the rules. Hearing this, Moyu frowned slightly. For such a thing, it is obvious that the group of old men in the 46th room is in the tank. From beginning to end, he didn't think there was anything wrong with him. Yamamoto Yuan Lusai did not stop talking, but paused slightly, and continued. The verdict they handed down on you was. Go to the nest of maggots, conduct a week-long inspection and audit, and return to the team after it is confirmed that it is not dangerous. After the words fell, Black Jade's eyes shone slightly. He still knows something about this place. Compared with the infernal hell, this place is simply too kind. Apart from a bunch of ferocious guys inside, there is almost no other danger. Don't be careless, Kuchiki Moyu. Yamamoto Yuan Lusai picked up the hot tea on the table and drank it down in one gulp. Enter it, but you cannot wear Zanpakudo. So, after Shinigami's biggest reliance is banned, the danger will be greatly increased. Moyu nodded, but didn't take it seriously. Even Urahara Kazuki can suppress the entire nest of maggots with the white hits technique alone. With his strength, how could he be threatened by the prisoners in it? At this time, he also had a simple understanding of the so-called ruling of the 46 rooms. The imprisonment of the nest of maggots is just to maintain the face of those rotten guys. Tomorrow morning, your imprisonment will officially begin. Yamamoto Yuan Leonagi lowered his eyes and said, After the end, I will wait for you in the first team's team building. Hearing this, Moyu was slightly taken aback. After the prison sentence is over, is there any follow-up ruling? As if seeing the doubts in Moyu's heart, Yamamoto Motoyanagi said in a deep voice. Do not forget, you have already passed the captain's assessment. As soon as this remark came out, Jin Moyu suddenly remembered the reason for this incident. Captain of the 10th Division. Hopefully we can find some players who are willing to give. Looking at Moyu who left from the team building, Yamamoto Motoyanagi had deep eyes, with a hint of expectation in his eyes. The newborn force of the Soul Society. I hope you won't disappoint the old man. In the early morning of the next day, Moyu finished washing and was preparing to go to the second division team building. Um, this Reiatsu, he stopped in his tracks and said helplessly. Although you are the commander-in-chief of the secret mobile force, you can't just break into Kuchiki's house at will, right? If something like this is discovered, it will be sent to the underground meeting hall. The petite body jumped off the roof. Sui Feng walked up to Moyu with a blank face, and said. I didn't come to chat with you. The ruling order about you was sent to the second team last night. Some things, I must tell you in advance. Hearing this, Moyu stared at Sui Feng with extremely strange eyes, until his earlobe was red, and then asked. Well, can I understand that you care about me? As soon as these words came out, Sui Feng blushed instantly, and said in embarrassment. Ha! Huh, what are you talking about? I, I'm just, just going through normal detention procedures. After the words fell, Moyu's eyes became more suspicious. A fool would believe this. Sui Feng turned his head to one side, and said stubbornly, it's time to go. Moyu followed behind him, heading towards the direction of the second team's team building. The maggot's nest is located in the northwest corner of the second team's team building, inside the huge moat with an area of 30 houses. Its original name was the Underground Special Threshold. On the way, Sui Feng seemed to have forgotten the embarrassment just now, and continued to maintain a deadpan state, explaining to him about the maggot nest. There are some special groups among the Shinigami who are judged to be dangerous because of Seraite's rules. Because they did not commit a crime, they cannot be sanctioned. But if you leave it alone, something may happen, and the nest of maggots is responsible for imprisoning it. Because you can't wear Zanpakudo, it's much more dangerous. Speaking of this, they had already arrived at the nest of maggots. Sui Feng lowered his gaze, and his voice became much softer. Kuchiki Moyu, watch out. Before Moyu could react, the petite figure in front of him had already disappeared in place. Seeing this, he chuckled and shook his head, turned around and walked into the nest of maggots. 
Dangerous guys, I hope you won't let me down. The cave-like environment has a winding staircase in the middle. On the overlapping stalactites, there are water droplets falling from time to time, and in the open environment, there are extremely distant echoes, which highlights the more gloomy atmosphere here. In the darkness, the path ahead could only be discerned vaguely. After walking down for an unknown distance, I finally saw a different building. The Vermilion Gate engraved with countless Kido mantras sealed off the Reiatsu that wandered around. The guards didn't say a word, and when they saw Moyu, they directly opened the closed door. Some dazzling light dispelled the surrounding darkness. Everything that appeared in front of Moyu was no different from the inside of an ordinary building, except that the surrounding walls were still made of rocks. At the top, there is a part of the ceiling made of special materials. Come in. A slightly dull voice came from under the mask. Moyu nodded slightly and walked straight into it. In an instant, countless eyes focused on him. Cruel, mad, ferocious, greedy. A variety of negative emotions seemed to swallow Moyu here. Ha, there's actually a newcomer here. It looks so thin and tender, it's really exciting. Asshole, don't you see that's a man? The weak will like women, and real men should like men. Goosebumps filled Moyu's ears. He suddenly realized that the danger of these guys seemed to be far beyond his expectations. Of course, it is not a threat of strength, but a pollution of character. Crash, clatter. In the depths of the nest of maggots, the iron bars of the prison are constantly shaking, making a huge sound, which echoes in it. Come and talk, this handsome little brother. A creature of unknown and race, crouched on the iron railing, with saliva dripping from the side of its bloody mouth, looking very oozing. Such a movement caused the prisoners in other prisons to poke their heads out to look at Moyu. Looking at the movement in front of him, Moyu gradually calmed down. Compared with Kuritsuchi Mayuri who almost died tragically at his hands, these prisoners who are also a nest of maggots are just a group of noisy bedbugs. Hey, brat, a tall, burly guy walked straight in front of Moyu, his arms as thick as tree trunks stretched out, and grabbed Moyu. Why did you come here? Before his hand touched Moyu's clothes, he heard a click. Immediately, a shrill scream sounded from the nest of maggots, overwhelming other noisy voices. All eyes were on Moyu. Standing across from him was a burly man whose head was a few meters tall, his arms were already in irregular twisted shapes. I don't like strangers touching me. Moyu looked calm, as if he had just done a trivial thing. The burly man didn't seem to choose to shrink back because of the injury. His ferocious face was still full of ferocity. I am going to kill you. As he said that, like a wild beast, he came to kill Moyu again. But before he took a step, a white palm was already pressed on his face. White hits skill tiger blow. The indifferent voice resounded in each other's ears like thunder. Next moment, its body like a stone pillar was directly pressed to the ground by Moyu. Rumble. The deafening sound resounded in the nest of maggots. A huge pothole, centered on Moyu's palm, spreads towards the surroundings. Open. The force of the explosion flooded the solid ground, causing it to collapse on a large scale. If it wasn't for the fact that this was a nest of maggots, Moyu would have destroyed it completely. The flying dust dissipated, and Moyu walked out slowly from the pothole. Behind his body, the burly and strong man lay down in it unconsciously, not knowing whether he was alive or dead. Almost everyone looked at Moyu with a trace of awe. The strong, no matter where they are, are worthy of respect from others. The power Moyu showed just now is enough to surpass most dangerous elements in the maggot's nest. He stood on the edge of the pothole, looking around indifferently. For a moment, no one dared to look at him. Dangerous people, not fools. The young Shinigami in front of him has already shown such terrifying power, if he still wants to provoke him, it is purely courting death. Boring. Moyu shook his head in disappointment, and walked towards the depths of the maggot nest. Seven days later, the gate of the maggots opened again. Sui Feng, wearing a large white captain's haori, appeared in front of Moyu immediately. It's time, come with me. The corners of Moyu's mouth raised slightly, but he didn't speak. He obviously also saw some small thoughts of Sui Feng, it seems that in the constant contact with him, the captain of the second team has undergone some unknown emotional changes. Perhaps, even she herself didn't realize it. Where are you going? 
When Moyu realized that Sui Feng was not walking in the direction of Noble Street, he asked subconsciously. Hearing this, Sui Feng turned around and looked at him with inexplicable eyes. After a long time, she turned her eyes and said softly. First team team building, the captain handover ceremony is about to begin. A team house, captains and vice captains walked back and forth in the atrium one by one. Different from the usual captain's meeting, their expressions were different, either looking forward to or pleased with what was about to happen. In the past, they might still be a little curious about the identity of the new captain. But this time was different. The previous captain assessment had already engraved the name Kuchiki Moyu deeply in their minds. During the captain's assessment, cut off other captains Bankai, and even almost killed him. It's been a long time, and it hasn't appeared. Yin Yinjiro followed Bukuya Kuchiki, looked at the other captains excitedly, and said. Captain, I really can't contain the joy in my heart. I didn't expect Master Moyu to become a captain-level figure so quickly, and the honor of the Kuchiki family has begun to continue. Originally, I thought he would take your place. The noisy voice made Bukuya Kuchiki frown, but he had nothing to do with his vice-captain. It has been said more than once about reprimand or something. But on this guy, it doesn't work at all. Be quiet, Jin Ginjiro. Bukuya Kuchiki said coldly, you represent the face of the 6th division. Ha, Captain, don't be so serious. Yin Yinjiro smiled and comforted, today is a very happy day. A thing like two captains is very worthy of celebration. If possible, I would even like to hold a vice-captain meeting and hold a banquet to celebrate. Bukuya Kuchiki shook his head helplessly and walked forward. Hey, Captain, don't go so fast. Yin Yinjiro was thinking about the details of the banquet, but found that Bukuya Kuchiki had gone away is really unexpected. Hiraku Shunsui stroked the stubble on his chin, and looked sideways at Jashiro Yukitaki beside him. Moyu was not punished by the 46 chambers. Even in such a short period of time, he successfully took over the position of captain. Ahem. Jashiro Yukitaki covered his face and coughed, his face was a little pale. When he was still physically able to move, he also came to participate in the captain's inauguration ceremony at the right time. If I remember correctly, among the six judges in the 46 chambers, there are the elders of the Kuchiki family. Jashiro Yukitaki is obviously clear about some secrets. Oh, it seems to be justifiable in this way. A look of surprise flashed in Kiraku Shunsui's eyes, obviously he did not think of this possibility. The 46th room was originally an integrated council of nobles and elders, and it was not uncommon for members of the Kuchiki family to be among them. In the atrium, the captains all cut together one by one. Except for the 12th squad, everyone else basically came here. Yamamoto Motoyanagi stood at the forefront, looking calmly at the captains in front of him. Since everyone is here, then, let's officially carry out the captain's inauguration ceremony. The atmosphere is getting more and more solemn, and no factory can be heard in the field. Even Kusajishi Yakiru, who was the most escaping, carefully lay on Zaraki Kenpachi's shoulders and looked at others. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi looked up slightly, and an old and not majestic voice sounded. A few days ago, Shiba Ishin, the captain of the 10th division, encountered Maino's Grande in the real world. He was defeated in a fierce battle and unfortunately died in the line of duty. Here, the position of captain of the 10th division is vacant. Then, after the recommendations of the captains of the 4th Division Unohana and the 6th Division Kuchiki, and a strict captain assessment. Finally, Kuchiki Moyu successfully passed the captain's assessment. Therefore, officially appointed, Kuchiki Moyu will be the captain of the 10th Division. The voice fell, and the white door behind him opened accordingly. Moyu, dressed in a white captain's haori, ambles the king of the court. For a moment, almost all eyes were on him. It has to be said that the appearance of the Kuchiki family is definitely not to be picked. Bukuya Kuchiki is already the handsomest man among the captains, and Moyu is even better. The star pliers, which symbolize the identity of the Kuchiki family, are different from the side hair, and the silver and white floral yarn hangs down around the neck. The large white captain's feather weave moves slightly with the wind, adding a bit of dusty temperament to it. There is a gentle and humble smile on Moyu's face, which makes people not feel the slightest bit of disgust. Everyone, please take care of me in the future.
The inauguration ceremony of the captain of the 10th squad was not as sensational as expected. But it also caused quite a stir in Serite. Among them, the place with the strongest natural response in the Tianfen team. Of course, they didn't have any ill feeling towards Moyu who took office, but were more curious and surprised. Especially after learning that the new team leader of his family is just a graduate who has just graduated from the Academy of Spiritual Art. They are even more curious about this. But after knowing some of Moyu's achievements, these curious guys fell silent. Liar, kill two vasto lord level Mano's grande in this world. During the captain's assessment, cut off Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri's bankai, and nearly killed him in it. Don't forget, Captain Moyu is not some very experienced Shinigami, he just graduated a few years ago. On that day, there was silence in the 10th team's team building. Moyu didn't go directly to the 10th division team building, but returned to Kuchiki's house, which is a noble family. When he participated in the inauguration ceremony of the captain in the team building of the first team, he heard from Bukuya Kuchiki that someone came to send him a greeting card. Moyu was very curious about this. Although he knew a lot of people in Seraite, they often had shallow acquaintances. People who are acquainted with each other will never send out such a thing as a greeting card. So much so that he was very curious about this visitor. Noble Street, artist, waiting in the living room. A feminine man with dark green hair, dressed in aristocratic attire, lined with a domineering suit, sat in it, waiting for the master to return. This, Moyu went straight into the waiting room, and when he saw the person sitting there, he frowned. It's not that he doesn't know this visitor, it's mainly because the identity of the other party is really special. Sunayashiro Tokunada, an extremely sinister and cunning person. The Sunayashiro family, one of the four great nobles of the Soul Society, is in charge of managing the Great Spirit Book Corridor. As a family that knows all the history and information of the Soul Society, its degree of mystery can be imagined. However, with the appointment of the current head of the family, Sunayashiro Tokunada, the family members also withered instantly. Sunayashiro Tokunada, who was originally the last seat in the family, was not qualified to inherit the position of head of the family. However, after he designed and assassinated many successors, he obtained the current position in sequence and became a pivotal existence in the Soul Society. It's a pity that Moyu doesn't like to see this guy. After all, this is a world that pays attention to personal strength, and some simple conspiracies and tricks cannot go on forever. Only strength can have the right to speak. Moyu respects the strong, such as Yamamoto Uenyanagi, such as Aizen. They have the power to surpass others, and they can even destroy the world. But the guy in front of him has nothing. What Sunayashiro Tokunata relied on was nothing but his own insidiousness. Mr. Moyu, you are finally back. When Sunayashiro Tokunata saw Moyu, he smiled and greeted him. However, the smile that was supposed to give people joy seemed to be like a snake letter spit out by Lion Majesty in the darkness. Infiltrating, cruel, patriarch Sunayashiro, I wonder if there is any important matter for you to come here this time. For this kind of people, Moyu doesn't have the temper to be patient and talk to them slowly. Seeing this, Gang Hu Daishi couldn't help being startled. He thought about the beginning of the meeting many times, but he never expected that Kuchiki Moyu in front of him would be so shameless. Everyone is a member of the four great nobles, and I am still the head of the family, shouldn't you give me some respect? He suppressed the nameless anger that was rising in his heart, without changing his smile, he said. I'm here, of course I have something important to do. The two stood in the middle of the living room, it seemed that Sunayashiro Tokunata had nowhere to put his hands and feet, and was very embarrassed. But seeing that Moyu didn't intend to invite him to sit down at all, he could only keep talking in this state. Moyu nodded, motioning for him to continue. The indifferent attitude intensified the anger in Sunayashiro Tokunata's heart even more. But for my own plan, I can only continue to talk. This time, Sunayashiro Tokunata's smile became a little fishy. I heard that Mr. Moyu has become the captain of the 10th division. Congratulations. The strength of the Kuchiki family has grown a lot again. Moyu frowned slightly, and said perfunctorily. Thank you for your kindness. So, Sunayashiro, what is your business? If he hadn't been clear about the nature of this guy in front of him, Moyu wouldn't be so hostile to others. Normally, he treats people very peacefully. 
But this person's way of doing things is really a bit disgusting. The anger in Sunayashiro Tokunata's eyes flashed, his smile remained unchanged, and he continued. Ha, since Mr. Moyu is so eager, I have no choice but to cut to the chase. The disappearance of Shiba Ishin from the Shiba family has made the already declining family even more miserable. Speaking of this, he paused for a moment, and immediately said. Among them, the most outstanding member of the Shiba family is just a member of the 13th squad named Shiba Kayan. According to some information, the Shiba family obviously exists in name only. In fact, at this point, Du already somewhat understood what Sunashiro Tokunata meant. After Shiba Ishin disappeared, he set his sights on Shiba's property. As one of the four great nobles, although the Shiba family has completely declined, the treasures left behind are not inferior to the other three families. However, due to the reduction of family members, the Shiba family at this time could not even sustain the title of nobleman. The disappearance of branch house owner Shiba Ishin became the last straw that broke the camel's back. Sunayashiro Tokunata's smile became darker, the current Shiba family is a piece of fat. Many nobles are staring at their seats and want to replace them. However, rather than letting those despicable existences occupy the names of the four great nobles, it would be better. He didn't go on, but the meaning was very clear. The two cooperated and annexed the Shiba family together. After thoroughly figuring out what this guy was thinking, Black Jade looked even more indifferent. Patriarch Sunayashiro, did you make a mistake? As soon as these words came out, the smile on Sunayashiro Tokunata's face was startled. What's the meaning? Is it necessary for the Kuchiki family and the Sunayashiro family to cooperate? Moyu's expression remained unchanged, and he said slowly. As the four great nobles, what can your Sunayashiro family offer? Our Kuchiki family now has two captains. Hearing this, Sunayashiro Tokunata's eyes widened. He had calculated thousands of times, but he did not expect that Fuyu would give such an answer. Facing the miscalculated Sunayashiro Tokunata, Moyu continued unhurriedly. In terms of high level, the Sunayashiro family is not as good as the Kuchiki family. In terms of status and influence, we are a few blocks away from you. So, why do you come to ask for cooperation? Sunayashiro Tokunata's breathing became a little short. As the captain of the 10th squad, could it be? Didn't you question your qualifications? As the voice fell, Moyu's Reiatsu rose up, immediately oppressing the opponent. It was like a mountain peak collapsed, firmly pressing on Sunayashiro Tokunata's heart. His expression was also under pressure and became particularly distorted. Kuchiki Moyu, don't you? Sunayashiro Takina hadn't finished speaking, and a stronger oppressive effect was on him, causing him to swallow the second half of the words. In terms of strength, Compared with Moyu, he is not in the same dimension at all. The bones of the whole body made abnormal noises, and the pale face turned blood red in an instant, looking a bit oozing. Moyu looked calmly at the somewhat embarrassed Sunayashiro Tokunata in front of him, unmoved in his heart. It is precisely because of knowing its nature that it acts like this. A guy like Lion Majesty, who only bites his companions in the back. Cooperation will only dig its own grave. Facing Sunayashiro Tokunata, who was getting more and more grim, Moyu calmly said. Why do I have to explain to you what I do? Sunayashiro Tokunata left in extreme embarrassment. Before leaving, he did not forget to look at Moyu more, as if he wanted to engrave his appearance in his memory. However, Moyu didn't take him to heart. Sunayashiro Tokunata is nothing more than a clown. Its greatest wish is to replace the spirit king and become the master of this world. However, he who doesn't know the essence of the world at all, this wish is more or less overwhelmed. Such a thing, as long as it is a person with a slightly normal mind, will not think about it. At the beginning of the creation of the world, the spirit king was used as a wedge to stabilize the state of each world. But now, although he is immortal, he is also permanently sealed in the spirit king palace. This kind of existence, there are still people who want to replace him. For a moment, Kuritama didn't even know how to evaluate Sunayashiro Tokunata. You can say that he has lofty ideals, but he doesn't understand the nature of the world at all. If you say that he is meticulous in thinking, this is already wrong from the starting point. If so, can there be any good results? What's more, Moyu doesn't look down on such a guy at all. 
killing his own family and killing his own wife. And relying on his status as a nobleman, he severely injured and mocked Tusan Konami who came to seek justice. From the beginning to the end, it was a complete scumbag. Now, they are putting their thoughts on the declining Sheba family. Unfortunately, the ideal is beautiful, but the reality is cruel. After promising Sheba Ishin to help him take care of the Sheba family, he will not let the Sheba family be annexed by the Nardai family. This involves the principle of being a human being. Moyu looked in the direction where he was leaving, his gaze was slightly cold. B. The 10th Division Team Building. Moyu took Nailu and walked on the street of the team building. The soldiers greeted their new captain with extremely respectful eyes. They originally had a little doubt about Moyu's appointment. But after learning about his terrifying record, he immediately put away his thoughts that he shouldn't have. What are you kidding? Almost hacked to death a captain before taking office, such a sturdy existence, can their level be questioned? Kuchiki Moyu. The high-pitched voice immediately attracted everyone's attention. All the soldiers collectively turned their gazes to the direction where the voice came from. I saw a lady with orange hair walking towards Moyu with strides. Seeing the anger on his face, everyone subconsciously turned their eyes away. The vice captain of the 10th squad, Matsumoto Rengaku, a figure at the head of the big sister, is the top player in the team, no matter how you look at it. Matsumoto Rengaku walked up to Moyu angrily. Moyu. You must know something about the captain's disappearance. Moyu felt the pressure coming to his face, but he could only spread his hands, with a helpless look on his face. As for Shiba Ishin's situation, he can't casually disclose it. Shiba Ishin without the power of Shinigami is not even comparable to a figure of the official level. If too many people know its situation, danger will follow. Sorry, Chrysanthemum. Moyu sighed softly, I understand how you feel. But the situation of Captain Ishin, I don't know. According to the information provided by the Technical Development Bureau, the Mainos Grande he encountered was even stronger than the Vasto Lord you encountered in this world. Hearing this, Matsumoto Rangaku lowered his eyes, and a look of disappointment flashed in his eyes. Although Shiba Ishin is not very reliable most of the time, it is undeniable that he is still a very competent captain. His disappearance made Matsumoto Rengaku feel the same as after the soul burial practice. It was covered with a thick layer of haze. Scatter, Rengaku. Moyu persuaded, actually, you don't have to be too disappointed. The Technology Development Bureau characterized it as a disappearance, not a death. That means Ishin still has a chance of surviving. He turned around and walked towards the captain's team building. Maybe it is to recuperate the injury in a safe place in this world. After the words fell, Matsumoto Rengaku raised his eyes, and there seemed to be light in his eyes again. She looked at Moyu's back and was about to say thank you. Instead, he saw a small head lying on Moyu's shoulder, grinning and waving at him. For a moment, Matsumoto Rengaku's eyes widened. Wait, wait. And Moyu's figure has already gone away. Matsumoto Rengaku ignored the shock in his heart, and hurriedly chased him in the direction he was going away. The courage of this pervert is too outrageous. Bringing that kind of existence to the soul society. Because he has been in this world for a while, he also has a certain understanding of Nailu who is beside Moyu. But Matsumoto Rengaku, who has always been straightforward, didn't take it to heart. After all, Nailu is absolutely harmless to humans and animals from the outside. Captain's Quarters Moyu looked at his own room, feeling very satisfied in his heart. The European-style architectural style is completely different from Kuchiki's house, which seems a bit new. Just as he walked out of the room, he was about to visit other rooms. Crash, boom, there was a dull collision sound, and Moyu's eyes went dark, Moyu only felt that he had fallen into a soft place. At the same time, it is accompanied by a strong, but somewhat fresh and elegant fragrance. Just like the team flower of the Jubin team, the taste of Narcissus is average. Well, the call came to his ears, making Moyu raise his head subconsciously. The four eyes are facing each other. The scene became very quiet for a while. Moyu was stunned, thinking it was an attack from a stranger. But what I didn't expect was that it was actually the benefit of the familiar. He lowered his eyes and subconsciously looked at the mountain in front of him. Majestic and majestic, 
Matsumoto Rangaku also recovered from his trance, saw the scene in front of him, and immediately gritted his teeth and said. Brat, have you seen enough yet? Quote exclamation mark quote. Moyu hurriedly got up and coughed twice to cover up the awkward atmosphere. Rangaku, what do you want from Captain Ben? When Matsumoto Rangaku was about to speak, he discovered that due to the movement just now, soldiers gradually gathered around him. She gritted her silver teeth, stood up, grabbed Moyu's hand, and walked straight into the room. Go in and talk, and this scene happened to be seen by some soldiers. Their eyes widened, their faces filled with expressions of disbelief and grief. Big, big sister head actually. I heard that the vice captain has known Captain Moyu for a long time, and they won't. All kinds of weird and outrageous speculations gradually spread across the board. In the room, Matsumoto Rangaku and Moyu sat at both ends of the purple-black tea table, staring at each other. A long time, Matsumoto Rangaku finally couldn't help breaking the silence. Take her to the Soul Society, don't you? Hearing this, Moyu understood why she looked so nervous. Did you say Nailu? When she heard her name, Nailu leaned on Moyu's shoulder, showing her head and smiling happily. Soul Society is so much better than Hueco Mundo. I can see the people I care about every day, without worrying about danger or disputes outside. Nailu leaned on Moyu's shoulder, and sniffed the smell greedily. Nailu likes this place very much. Moyu spread his hands and explained. Although Nailu is a rancar, she is not dangerous. Well, if you're not in danger, there's no way to bring her to the Soul Society. Matsumoto Rangaku sighed and said helplessly, if someone else finds out. Moyu shook his head and said, can you feel Nailu's Reiatsu? Or, can you determine her identity? Hearing this, Matsumoto Rangaku looked slightly startled, and immediately released Reiatsu perception. Immediately, she widened her eyes again and murmured. How can that be? The corners of Moyu's mouth raised slightly, and he said with a light smile. All right, don't worry so much. Even if it is discovered, I still have countermeasures. In this regard, although Matsumoto Rangaku is somewhat helpless, he can only let him do what he wants. After all, she is the vice captain and Moyu is the captain. Oh, right, Moyu seemed to suddenly remember something, thinking. It just so happens that you are here, so let's deal with the documents. I have more pressing matters to deal with. Without waiting for his refusal, Moyu launched Shunpo directly and disappeared into the captain's team building. Matsumoto Rangaku sat at the tea table with a dazed look. Big sister asked me to take care of this kid, and then he sold me. By the way, you must have performed this proficient operation more than once, right? And when she saw the papers piled up on the desk. Kuchiki Moyu. Matsumoto Rangaku's voice echoed in the 10th team's team building, and it came from a long, long distance. Since then, the Japanese team has been spreading the news that their captain is a scumbag. Abandoned from beginning to end, abandoning wives and sons, the scum of scum. Unaware that he had been misunderstood by the team members, Moyu quietly went to West Rukongai after leaving the 10th squad. West 3rd District, North Section. Here, is the residence of the Shiba family. In fact, a long time ago, the Shiba family was rejected by other families because of the family concept. Then with the decline of the family power, they were constantly oppressed. If it weren't for the appearance of Shiba Ishin, I'm afraid the Shiba family would have been annexed by other nobles long ago. But even so, the Shiba family moved out of Noble Street, where the nobility gathered, and came to the 3rd West District. This is done to protect the family property. At this moment, Shiba's home already has a feeling of going up and down. Obviously, the disappearance of Shiba Ishin has brought unimaginable blows to them. Although old friends from the past came to condolences, everyone in Shiba's family still felt sad about this. After all, they are family members who have been together for many years. Kong, don't be too sad. Quote, in the courtyard, a handsome young man dressed in a black Shiba suit comforted him. Uncle just disappeared. Lord, he is currently recovering somewhere in this world, and he will return to the Soul Society when he recovers. He is Shiba Kayan, a direct member of the Shiba family. After Shiba Ishin disappeared, he became the current head of the Shiba family. Really, really, the girl in front of him raised her eyes somewhat disappointed. Asked with a faint hope. Shiba Kuzuru, also a direct member, but not a Shinigami. 
Definitely, Shiba Kayan's voice is also somewhat heavy. Even though he said so, he knew it better than anyone else. Nuo Qian Zhao, this is just an excuse to comfort myself. Until now, Saraite has not given specific information, and many things have been explained. Shiba Yizhen, most likely died in battle. At this moment, there was a knock on the door outside. Shiba Kayan went to answer the door. However, the person who appeared in front of him made him startled. The familiar star leading pliers and silver and white floral gauze like decoration are particularly eye catching. The black hair is bound in the star drawing box, the silver and white floral yarn is hanging down, and the handsome appearance is set off by the decoration, making it even more dusty and elegant. Kuchiki Moyu. Shiba Kayan obviously recognized the person in front of him. But he quickly realized his gaffe, bowed his head and said respectfully. Captain Moyu. Seeing this, Moyu waved his hand, indicating that it doesn't need to be like this. Shiba Kayan, you don't have to be so polite. He passed out towards the courtyard. Although the scenery is good, it does not match the original identity of Shiba's house. I don't know why Captain Moyu is here. Shiba Kayan is not clear about Moyu's attitude, so he is naturally guarded between words. Sa, it's naturally for Shiba Yishin's business. Moyu rubbed his chin and said seriously, inheriting the will of the Jubin team is naturally equivalent to inheriting some of Shiba Yishin's wishes. What's more, Shiba Yishin talked about you many times while drinking. For helping Shiba's family, he naturally wanted to find a suitable reason. Now that you have promised other people's affairs, you must complete them. Moyu's idea is very simple, you can be unreasonable, but you must have a bottom line. Aiming at the current situation of Shiba's family, Moyu's momentum helped him come up with a variety of ways to get out of the predicament. First, merge into a larger family, such as the Kuchiki family. He spoke righteously, not paying any attention to the stunned expressions of the two brothers and sisters in front of him. Of course, I know that you will definitely not agree, so I have prepared other methods for the follow-up. Second, your own strength. Hearing this, Shiba Kuzuru couldn't help but said. Of course we know this, but strengthening ourselves cannot be achieved overnight. If it can be done, the Shiba family will not be. Her expression sank. Things are far from as simple as imagined. The improvement of Shinigami's strength is not something that can be done casually. If there is no talent, it will be difficult to save it after spending decades or even hundreds of years. Shiba Kayan is already considered a genius in Shinigami. When he joined the Spiritual Art Academy, his spiritual power test had already reached the sixth level, and it took him a year to graduate from the Spiritual Art Academy. After joining the 13th Division, he was promoted to Vice Captain in five years and mastered Shikai. However, in the next hundred years, he did not make any progress in his understanding of Bankai. Sarah, since I said, with a confident smile on Moyu's face, he said, then there must be a way. If it is someone else, it may be quite difficult. But I have a unique secret method here. To help this guy, he hid a lot of wool from Urahara Kazuki. Looking at the things piled up in front of him, the corner of Shiba Kayan's mouth twitched slightly. No matter how much he thought about it, he still couldn't understand, where did Moyu get these things out with his empty hands? Is there something wrong with his clothes? This is a recovery medicine, which can be used to recover from injuries. Moyu picked up a small bottle and introduced. However, you can only take one bottle per hour. If there is too much, it will cause a great burden on the body and Reiatsu. Reiatsu condensate can allow you to condense and compress your own Reiatsu in a short period of time, so that you can burst out with stronger combat power. It's a pity that after using it, it will cause soreness all over the body and it will not recover within three days. Looking at Moyu's introduction, for some reason, Shiba Kayan felt an ominous feeling in his heart. The danger seems to have come to his side. If I remember correctly, you have mastered Shikai by now, right? Moyu raised his head suddenly and looked at Shiba Kayan. Shiba Kayan was stunned, and nodded immediately. That's right, Moyu exchanged fists and palms, and immediately pointed to a white unknown humanoid prop. This is the god body, a prop developed by Urahara Kazuki, the former captain of the 12th division. Can help Shinigami copy Bankai and bring it to life. As long as you defeat the materialized Bankai, you can master Bankai in the shortest time. L. 
After listening to his previous introduction, Shiba Kayan didn't feel too happy. He carefully looked at the Zhuan Shen body in front of him, and Tian Yu asked sincerely. Captain Moyu, this thing should have side effects too. Hearing this, Moyu grinned and said. Kayan, I didn't expect you to be so smart. The materialized Zanpakudo is not inferior to you in strength, even stronger. Fighting with it is in danger of death. Shinigami's Bankai is actually very simple. After proficiency in Sword Zen, you can enter the Zanpakudo space and continuously deepen your communication with it. With the improvement of the tacit understanding between each other, the power will be further liberated. When the time comes, Bankai will naturally be mastered. The Zhuan Shen body adopted an extremely violent method, forcibly bringing the waste Zanpakudo body into reality. As long as you can defeat it, you can master your own Bankai. Of course, for this Moyu has used the trance body in the present Urahara shop. It's a pity, let alone the materialized Zanpakudo. After he pierced it with Lanyan, not even a single hair was summoned. This also made Urahara Kazuki suspect that there was a problem with his own invention, and then made him immerse himself in the research about the god-turning body again. After many tests, it was determined that it was Moyu Zanpakudo's problem. The answer given by Urahara Kazuki is that the power of Lan Yin is too great, so that the Zhuan Shen body can't materialize it at all. Even a leak of its power is enough to lead to the collapse of Zhuan Shen's body. Therefore, this stuff has nothing to do with Moyu. In this regard, Jade can only accept the reality. After listening to Moyu's words, Shiba Kayan lowered his head and looked a little dignified. He is not afraid of death. In fact, as early as becoming a Shinigami, death has been ignored. But now, he is the only pillar of Shiba's family. If he encounters misfortune in his practice, Shiba's family will also collapse completely. However, if one does not choose to cultivate, then waiting for the fate of Shiba's family is also miserable. The choice is yours, Moyu seemed to see Shiba Kayan's concern, and said, I'm just a person who provides solutions. Upon hearing his voice, Shiba Kayan suddenly raised his head and exhaled softly. I understand, Captain Yu. Instead of dying while being eaten away, it is better to choose to give it a go. If you want to protect the things you care about, you can only make yourself stronger. Hearing this, Moyu nodded in satisfaction. Shiba Kayan's thinking is the right thinking. If you don't give it a go now, Fenyan cannot be changed. He remembered very clearly that Shiba Kayan's final fate was also extremely miserable, being swallowed by Shu, his power was also used by him, and finally became the nourishment of Aronilo. Very well, since a decision has been made. The corners of Moyu's mouth raised, revealing an extremely dangerous smile, then, let's start our special training. Shiba Kayan was at a loss, puzzled and said. Special training, what special training? Li Fushan. Shiba Kayan lay down on the ground in a state of embarrassment, staring blankly at the sky. A long time, a tear fell from the corner of his eye. The ominous premonition came true. He never thought that the special training that Moyu said would be so outrageous. Actual combat is the best special training. His vowed words still linger in his ears. The original Shiba Kayan was also full of confidence and full of gratitude for Kuroyu. But after a week of special training, he now only feels that the boy not far away is like a devil in a nightmare. A battle that is not in one dimension at all. No matter how hard Shiba Kayan tried, how desperately, he was greeted with only a fiasco. Even if he couldn't even touch Moyu's clothes Kakuzu, he was thrown to the ground by the whip leg. But if it's just a series of failures, he can still accept it. But if the time of digestion failure is completely erased, it is enough to make people collapse. After taking the recovery medicine for one hour, for three days in a row, it ran out. Shiba Kayan thought it would give him a break. But the emerald green light on Moyu's fingertips made him despair again. The level of Kaido, the third officer of the first four divisions, is far beyond Shiba Kayan's comprehension. Why can this kind of injury that is on the verge of death be healed instantly? Are you the captain of the 10th division or the 4th division? Another few days of torture and Kaido's treatment completely broke Shiba Kayan's psychological defense. He never imagined that practice would be such a devastating thing. Looking at Shiba Kayan lying on the ground with blank eyes, you shook her head in disappointment. I thought that with Shiba Kayan's psychological strength, 
he could last for a while. But he still thinks too highly of this guy. It's only been seven days, and it's completely dead. Kyan, you can grow up. In this case, when will Bankai be able to save Shiba's family? Moyu looked at the nearest system prompt, and couldn't help but feel even more disappointed. Your Kaido is in a good mood because of the success of healing others, the efficiency of practice has improved, and the Kaido is comprehending the meaning. Right now, his Kaido is enough to regenerate broken limbs, and even heal more serious injuries. It's a pity that Shiba Kayan has already stopped, and it is difficult to improve Kaido's practice efficiency by a little bit. Kayan, I've had enough rest. Moyu crouched aside, looked at the imageless Shiba Kayan with empty eyes, and urged. Our practice will end in three days. If you don't hurry up, you really have no chance. Shiba Kayan, who was still like a dead fish, turned over immediately after hearing this, and looked at Moyu. Three days, Captain Moyu, you are. Moyu glanced at him lightly, and said calmly. Could it be, haven't you noticed the changes in yourself? Hearing this, Shiba Kayan subconsciously looked at his hands. The surging power flows in the blood, and the powerful Reiatsu is condensed on the knot. Now he is at least 30% stronger than before. The threat of death is the most effective means of discovering potential. Moyu explained, during these seven days, you experienced 303 death crises. If this doesn't improve, then it proves that you are nothing but a mediocrity. Okay, don't waste your time. Three days later, no matter what, the final breakthrough will begin. Shiba Kayan was full of fighting spirit, and there seemed to be flames burning in his eyes. Yes, Captain Moyu. Three days later, on the north side of Laifu Mountain, Moyu squinted his eyes and looked at an unknown creature fighting Shiba Kayan. Under the head of the huge octopus, the tentacles are swaying, but under the neck is the body of a human being. Every now and then, endless waves are set off to attack Shiba Kayan. The honor of Zanpakudo after materialization really makes people's San value go crazy. Moyu rubbed his chin and shivered, as if he remembered something bad. The battle was once very difficult, but this kind of thing can only rely on oneself. Even Moyu can only watch from the sidelines. Shiba Kong clenched his hands tightly, his expression extremely anxious. She watched the battle with worry on her face, wishing she could join in and help her brother fight. Captain Moyu, brother, he must be able to win, right? Now, all she can ask is, like only Moyu, well, it's hard to say. Moyu told the truth, although Kayan has become a lot stronger, his Zanpakudo is also very strong. Right now, we are at a disadvantage. The materialized Nejibana, like Mr. K, has shown absolute power in controlling water. However, the amount of water released by Shiba Kayan has instead become the opponent's means of attack. So much so that he is now completely at a disadvantage. Fortunately, his combat awareness has been raised to a very good level during these 10 days, and Kido was assisted in time to barely stabilize the combat situation. The fighting lasted for two days and two nights. Finally, with Shiba Kayan's unremitting efforts, he stabbed into Nejibana's chest. The battle was won. There was an extremely ugly smile on the face of Nejibana who looked like Mr. K, as if he recognized the existence of Shiba Kayan. Immediately, it turned into light and directly merged into his body. Reiatsu, on started the climb. As if facing the vast sea. The vastness, Shiba Kayan, Serite, an underground prison. The eighth floor, the great infernal hell. The darkness, like an abyss, continued to extend downwards. A figure walked slowly among them. Strangely, there was no sound of footsteps. There seems to be some kind of special power shrouded in his body, so that he cannot be discovered by the people guarding the great hell. After walking for an unknown amount of time, it finally stopped. In front of the prison made of murderous stones, a figure approached. And the faint light on it also makes its face appear. Among them, the dark green hair is particularly prominent. Sunayashiro Tokunata looked at the quiet figure among them, the corners of his mouth raised, a smile like a lion majesty emerged, and he said softly. It's been a long time, Captain Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Clatter. In the prison, the sound of the chains colliding is particularly loud, and it can be heard for a long distance in the open environment. Kuritsuchi Mayuri raised his head and looked out of the prison calmly. Ha! It's actually you. Sunayashiro Tokunata approached the prison, 
his originally feminine voice became somewhat dull. Captain Ni, I came here with the help of the authority of the nobles and some special permissions and abilities. He didn't reveal all his secrets. Obviously, there are certain fears and reservations about Kuritsuchi Mayuri in prison. I don't know if you are interested in leaving the infinite hell. There was a hint of, bewitching, in his voice, which touched people's hearts. Hearing this, Kuritsuchi Mayuri did not show an ecstatic expression as Sunayashiro Tokunata expected. His expression became more and more calm, like a calm lake with no waves. It must have cost you a lot to find this here, right? Kuritsuchi Mayuri's voice became extremely hoarse, as if sand and stone were sharpening each other. Let me think, come here to find me, it must be because I am useful to you, and based on your understanding of me, you will definitely not let me do something against my personal wishes. It seems that it should be related to what happened recently. The yellow pupils contracted, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri suddenly approached the prison railing, pressing his face against it. Is it related to Kuchiki Moyu? Sunayashiro Tokunata's pupils dilated, never expecting that Kuritsuchi Mayuri would directly guess the purpose of his trip. Hey, it looks good. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's laughter is particularly weird, and her eyes seem to be able to see through people's hearts. The strength of the Sunayashiro family is not enough for you to bring down that guy. So, you used your authority to come to the infernal hell. Sunayashiro Tokunata gradually calmed down, he realized that his thoughts were being led away by the other party. Kuritsuchi Mayuri used to be the prisoner of the maggot nest, so the danger can be imagined. He thought he was sinister enough, but compared with the guy in front of him, there seemed to be a certain gap. A trace of uncontrollable madness flashed in the seemingly calm yellow eyes. So, would you like to work with me? Sunayashiro Tokunata interrupted the other party's narration and spoke directly. Cooperation. Kuritsuchi Mayuri pressed her slender nails against her temples, making a scratching sound. Well, it seems possible. If you are well prepared, maybe you can try to understand that dangerous creature. Hearing this, the corners of Sunayashiro Tokunata's mouth raised, revealing a signature lion majesty-like smile. Happy cooperation. In the great infernal hell, the light of Kido lit up. Sunayashiro Tokunata imprinted his prepared Kido mantra on the prison. Immediately, Kido's light, like a light curtain, flickered on the railing. A wide passage appeared in front of Kuritsuchi Mayuri. When he was about it, he didn't seal it up considering how dangerous it was. Kuritsuchi Mayuri slowly walked out of the light curtain, the smile on his pale face became more and more crazy. Ha 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 ha, it's ironic, Sunayashiro Tokunata did not respond to his words, but urged. Hurry up and leave, the prison is open but it will arouse the vigilance of the guards. With arms hanging down, Kuritsuchi Mayuri took a deep look towards the darkness of the infernal hell behind him. In the fundus of the eye, is full of jealous meaning. Let's go. After the two left, the great infernal hell once again fell into endless silence. Rukongai, the northern section of West 3rd District. Shiba Home Station. You mean you haven't fully mastered Bankai? Moyu looked suspiciously at Shiba Kayan who was covered in bandages in front of him. In the previous battle with Zanpakuto, the materialized Zanpakuto like Mr. K, in addition to gaining the ability of Bankai, he also has a whole body of injuries. Weirdly, Moyu used Kaido on it. But the recovery speed is extremely slow. It made him suspect that it had something to do with Shiba Kayan's Bankai. Well, Nejibana's potential is strong. Shiba Kayan couldn't hide the excitement on his face, although because of his injuries, he frequently bared his teeth and looked a little ferocious. My current Reiatsu is not enough to support its long-term Bankai. This time, I really want to thank Captain Moyu. As he spoke, he bent down deeply regardless of his injuries. Sa, it's just a matter of raising your hands. Although this trip was entirely due to agreeing to Shiba Ishin's request, Kuroyu didn't mind that Shiba Ishin remembered his kindness. The people of the Shiba family value kindness. If it were someone else, Moyu might not be so kind. You can't spend all your time trying to help a white-eyed wolf, right? If Captain Moyu is useful in the future. Shiba Kayan stood up straight and said very seriously, through fire or water, I will do whatever I can. Well, me too. Seeing this, Shiba Kong also raised his head and chest, expressing his heart. There is no need to say more about these words. 
Moyu waved his hand and pointed to the outside of the courtyard. Although Sheba's family has already moved to Rukongai. But some gluttonous hyenas will not give up this opportunity now. Sensing the messy Reiatsu outside, Shiba Kayan clenched his fist subconsciously, blood red oozing from the bandages. We've all regressed to the point where. Moyu looked calm, and said indifferently, one's own strength is the real strength. Blindly giving in will lead to more greed. Such a simple truth, don't you understand? Shiba Kayan was a little silent. After a long time, he raised his face, and his firm eyes emerged. I understand. After the words fell, he walked towards the outside of the courtyard, his steps were slow but firm. Brother, a worried expression appeared on Shiba Konghei's face. But she didn't stop the other party, because she was very clear in her heart. If the Shiba family can't stand up this time, they will live in the shadows forever, and they will never be able to restore their lost dignity. Outside the courtyard, all kinds of aristocratic costumes make this place colorful. Shiba Kayan, how about our previous proposal? Merging the Shiba family into our family will protect the safety of your people. Hand over the authority of the four great nobles, come on, only in this way can unnecessary conflicts be avoided. The declining Shiba family cannot protect these things. Although these nobles looked greedy, they still kept quite calm. For the Shibas, these guys are determined to win. The authority of the four great nobles is enough to drive them crazy. But considering the other party's previous status, these people still maintain a little reason. Everyone, I regret to tell you. Prior to this, Shiba Kayan had also considered handing over the authority of the four major nobles to ensure the safety of his family. But now the situation has changed drastically. He has enough power to guard the honor of the Shiba family. Everything in Shiba's house will not be handed over. Please leave here now, you are not welcome here. Hearing this, several noble Shinigami's eyes widened, it was hard to believe that it was the words that came from Shiba Kayan's mouth. Haven't you figured out the situation by now? Our visit is just a respect to the former Shiba family. If you don't accept our kindness, then don't worry about us being merciless. Hand over the authority of the four great nobles, this is not something you can grasp. Obviously, everyone is not willing to give up. As an aristocrat, as long as he can obtain the authority of the four great aristocrats, it is enough to ascend to the sky in one step and become the most powerful existence in the soul society. It's a pity that these guys don't know the history of the four great nobles. The so-called authority is actually the most useless thing in Sheba's family. If that's the case, then I don't have to worry about any sympathy. As the voice fell, Reiatsu, the aqua blue materialization, galloped out of Sheba High. Boom, like a tsunami, the wild Reiatsu swept across the sky in an instant, covering the entire sky of Sheba's house. The appalling oppression rushed down, crushing everyone present. The power of despair is displayed in front of the nobles. They suddenly widened their eyes, their eyeballs protruded, their faces were flushed, and their expressions looked extremely ferocious. Despair shrouded the hearts of everyone. After learning Bankai, Shiba Kayan's Reiatsu strength will be at least ten times stronger. The tide surged and completely overwhelmed these guys. A powerful force acts on their bodies, making their bones creak. Seeing that under the oppression of Reiatsu with all his strength, these guys have already entered a state of near death. Shiba Kayan took back his Reiatsu. Whoa, whoa. Everyone breathed heavily, opening and closing their mouths like dehydrated fish. They fell to their knees, looking hopelessly at the calm Shiba Kayan. Hey, he has already reached such a strength. How is it possible, how did the Shiba family of the two captains choose to retreat from the Seraite? Such a scary Reiatsu. Fear sprouted in many people's eyes, and they didn't have the guts to calculate the existence of the captain. There is an insurmountable gap between them. Everyone, can I leave Shiba's house now? Even at this point, Shiba Kayan still didn't speak ill of these guys. But what he thinks in his heart is unknown. After all, the Shiba family has come to such a level, and these nobles are indispensable behind the scenes. Under the coercion of Shiba Kayan, a group of guys left Shiba's house. Seraite, in Setsuna, where Shiba Kayan Reiatsu charged, almost all captains had their sights set in the direction of Nishi Rukongai. Sixth Division Team Building Yukuya Kuchiki stood in front of the window, with a hint of worry in his eyes. 
Moyu just went to Rukongai not long ago, nothing will happen again. Dubai, who seems cold and unkind, has a different look when it comes to family affection. Fifth team team building, Aizen Sosuke, who was sitting in front of the table and writing, felt the wave of Reiatsu of Rukongai and moved his hand. As one of the bands, he looked up to the sky with a calm expression. Special Reiatsu, as the new chess piece entering the game. Aizen lowered his eyes and looked at the work in his hand. A simple word, testy, vividly appears on the paper. The 8th Division Team Building. Hiraku Shunsui put down the wine glass in his hand, showing a helpless expression. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get busy again. It took me a while to rest, I just finished dealing with that guy Kuritsuchi Mayuri. After the voice fell, the person had already disappeared in the room king. The 10th Division Team Building. Moyu sat upright on the seat in the captain's team building, staring at the person in front of him very seriously. Nailu lay on his shoulder, carefully aiming at him. Anger was burning in Tien's room. Kuchiki Moyu. Saying the name almost word for word, Matsumoto Rengaku put his hands on the table and stared at Kuchiki Moyu who didn't care. 14 days. Half a month. I helped you handle the official business for half a month. She opened her eyelids pointed at the bloodshot eyes, and said sadly. Do you know how terrifying it is for a woman to not be able to sleep for more than 10 consecutive days? Because of this, I had dark circles under my eyes, bloodshot eyes, and my skin was no longer fair. Considering that he can't beat the pervert in front of him, Matsumoto Rengaku is going to take a softer way to make him realize his mistake. Unfortunately, the calm Moyu obviously didn't listen to her words. Furious, Matsumoto Rengaku straightened his upper body, approached Moyu, and pressed his hands on his shoulders. Haven't waited for him to speak yet. Report Captain, yes, yes. A female Shinigami soldier stood at the door, her eyes were dull, and she looked towards the team building with a flushed face. The vice captain is pressing on the captain's body, his face is close, his rosy cheeks. What did I see? Will it be silenced? Ahem. Matsumoto Rangaku stood up from Moyu and coughed twice to hide his embarrassment. What's matter? Although his voice was steady and his expression was calm, Moyu, who was sitting beside him, could still clearly see his reddish neck. Obviously, this exaggerated Yuji is not as calm as she appears on the surface. The other party replied a little dazedly. Technology, Technology, Development Bureau got Seraite's related Reiatsu response. You need to go to cooperate and confirm. Obviously, the opponent still hasn't recovered from the explosion-like scene just now. I see, Moyu said calmly, you go down first. The Shinigami team member who received his order directly launched Shunpo and disappeared at the door. Its speed was so fast that Matsumoto Rengaku even suspected that he might not be able to catch up with her. Rengaku, do you want to go and have a look together? Moyu looked calm, as if he didn't take what happened just now to his heart. Realizing this, Matsumoto Rengaku's eyes flickered with disappointment, but he quickly returned to normal. Who, who wants to be with you, a pervert? I'm going to catch up on sleep while I'm done with my official duties, catch up on sleep. Moyu nodded. I understand. As he said that, he put his hand on Matsumoto Rengaku's drooping waves, rubbed it gently, and said with a smile. Have a good rest. Matsumoto Rengaku was stunned by the gentle voice, unable to react for a while. When he came to his senses, Moyu had already taken Nailu towards the outside of the team building. Looking at his receding figure, Matsumoto Rangaku looked complicated for a moment. Do you care, Technology Development Agency? Because considering the invention of some dangerous props and the conduct of experimental research, it may cause a certain degree of damage to the outside world. Its location is in the most remote area of Seraite. Moyu entered the scope of the Technology Development Bureau, and immediately felt a completely different atmosphere from Seraite. All kinds of modern building facilities, seemingly high-end scientific instruments, and various research members in a hurry. That's right, all kinds. Moyu suddenly found that there seemed to be few normal members of the Technology Development Bureau. Generally speaking, the members are all members of the 12th Division. Maybe it was the influence of Kuritsuchi Mayuri, so that none of these guys looked normal. Some have toad heads, some have protruding eyes on their faces, and some have extra arms, with strange shapes. Looking around, 
Moyu couldn't find a few normal guys. Ah, Captain Moyu. A sound like a duck squawking came from one side. You are finally here. What appeared in front of Moyu was a guy with an extremely strange appearance. A round head, almost protruding eyes, undistinguished nostrils, and a ridiculously large mouth. The neat arrangement of the teeth is even more weird. In terms of appearance alone, this guy has surpassed the human form, and his green skin is even more conspicuous. However, it was precisely because of the strange appearance of the other party that Moyu actually knew this guy. Bulbulus, a member of the 12th Division, the person in charge of the Communication Technology Research Section and the Lingbo Measurement Section of the Technology Development Bureau. The scientific researchers who are serious and honest have extremely high standards in all aspects of technology. There is an abnormal Reiatsu fluctuation from the north of Serite, which has a certain impact on the space. The specific location is within the range of 6,940 meters north of the Technology Development Bureau. Bulbulus looked hastily and said, Originally these things shouldn't bother you, but Captain Nee. Before he finished speaking, his eyes widened suddenly, and he covered his mouth with his narrow palm. Because Bulbulus suddenly remembered that the reason why the 12th squad does not have a captain now has something to do with this one in front of him. Although as a scientific researcher, I don't pay much attention to those battles. But they knew something about the near killing of Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Of course, he wouldn't be so stupid as to say such a thing. It does not matter. Moyu didn't take this to heart, and said. Can the cause of the abnormal Reiatsu fluctuations be identified? Bulbulus was taken aback, and immediately said loudly. Please come with me. Following behind them, after passing through several corridors, they came to a bright room. An electronic screen tens of meters wide is inlaid on the wall, and complex patterns flicker constantly on it. This is what the Reiatsu survey of the Serite area shows. Bulbulus pointed to the spot of light on it, and said, the abnormal Reiatsu fluctuation is here. We tried 30 observations and solutions, but we still couldn't get rid of it. Even the three team members in charge of the battle went to investigate, and lost contact because of this. Moyu stared at the constantly flickering dots of light on the screen. After a long time, he finally gave up this meaningless behavior. Industry specializing in surgery. It's okay to let him kill people, but for research or something, it's better to avoid it. The Jubin team is responsible for the internal security of Serite, responding to emergencies and issuing emergency information. Moyu is the captain of the 10th squad, and such things are just within his duties. I understand, he nodded slightly, indicating that he understood the general situation. If this is the case, then I will go to the scene to investigate. After finishing the words, he saw Bulbul fiddled with the instrument in front of him. Please be sure to bring this. I saw him holding a ring-shaped thing in both hands and handing it to Moyu. This is, Link C real-time monitoring device. Bulbulus said excitedly, as long as a small amount of spirit seeds are poured in, the nearby images can be monitored and transmitted to the Technology Development Bureau. This thing is convenient for us to observe the real-time picture, so that we can make reasonable responses in time when we encounter corresponding situations in the future. Moyu took the special shaped ring and put it on his left index finger. The next moment, the picture in the room appeared on the huge screen in front of him. Well, it seems to be a very practical object. Moyu looked sideways and said, in that case, I'll go first. Bulbulus bowed his waist and said respectfully, trouble Captain Moyu. The responsibility lies. Moyu threw down a sentence, and the person disappeared in the Technology Development Bureau. As a captain, some necessary things are not to be done. However, he was somewhat surprised by the emergence of this special situation. At this point in time, it was a bit too coincidental. When Moyu arrived at the location mentioned by Bulbulus, he found that it was an extremely empty field. And he was also the first to notice the abnormal fluctuation of the nearby spirit particles. Keto interference, spirit sub-technology interference, enchantment interference. He frowned slightly, and Reiatsu's perception was released. But at this moment, violent Reiatsu fluctuations radiated from the boulder not far in front, covering the entire field in an instant. This is, Moyu realized that something seemed wrong, but he wasn't too worried. Among the current Serite, few can withstand his chopping. The majestic Reiatsu formed a materialized light curtain, 
which swept over the position of Moyu between Setsuna, covering a farther direction. Nilu, who was lying on Moyu's shoulder, twitched her little nose lightly, saying. Nilu smells nasty. It seems to be that strange guy's. Hearing this, Moyu's heart moved. Nilu can describe it as strange, only that guy. Mr. Moyu, oh no, you should call Captain Moyu. A strange sound resounded in the open space ahead. The air fluctuated violently like a lake that was thrown into stones. Immediately, a familiar figure appeared in front of Moyu. Large white feathers, black and white two-color mask, special golden decorations inlaid around the face, and golden teeth neatly arranged in the mouth. The demeanor is crazy, just like a lunatic. Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Moyu was a little surprised by this person's appearance. Aren't you imprisoned in the great infernal hell? Hearing this, Kuritsuchi Mayuri spread out his hands, showing a smug smile, and said. How can a place like that trap me? But at this time, in another direction, there was the same air fluctuation, and a figure slowly walked out of it. Dark green hair, classic aristocratic decorations, and a gloomy face. Sunayashiro Tokunata. The appearance of another acquaintance made the atmosphere in the field gradually anxious. Hum, so it's the aristocratic power of the Sunayashiro family. When Moyu saw Sunayashiro Tokunata, he understood why. Some of the special powers of the four great nobles are enough to allow them to go to the infernal lord. It is not difficult to release a Kuritsuchi Mayuri who is not strictly imprisoned with some special means. And these two are obviously here to seek revenge. Seeking revenge, Kuritsuchi Mayuri tapped his temples hard with his fingers, making a thumping sound. You underestimate my will too much, Captain Yu. What grudge can compare to your Reiatsu and soul? You are the most special existence I have ever seen. I swear, I must get you. In the end, his expression became extremely crazy and ferocious. Like an irrational lunatic. After hearing these words, Moyu shuddered even more. What kind of tiger wolf word is this? I'm not interested in you, you'd better stay away from me. By the way, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, didn't you get cut enough last time? Moyu looked calm and didn't take the two of them seriously. At their level, it is as difficult as reaching the sky if they want to defeat themselves. Since the trap has been set, it proves that we have enough confidence. Kuritsuchi Mayuri grinned, don't you feel the weakening of your own Reiatsu? Abnormal Reiatsu fluctuations, but I prepared a special gift for you. Hearing this, Moyu's heart spirit moved, and he noticed the abnormality of the spirit particles in the surrounding air. Similar to the spirit particle structure of the special drug used by Kuritsuchi Mayuri in the last captain's assessment. However, in terms of toxicity, it may be even worse. It's a pity that after Moyu's Reiatsu evolved, this thing has no effect on him at all. If it wasn't for Kuritsuchi Mayuri's reminder, he didn't even notice the abnormality around him. If that's the only preparation, then we're going to say goodbye. Moyu slowly draws out the knife at his waist. Soul sword, blue and white wind breaths from the bottom of its feet and circles up, hovering between the blades. The wind scattered around, and the slender lanyon appeared in Moyu's hands. No, it should be farewell. Now that you have had the opportunity and didn't grasp it well, you should pay the corresponding price for your actions. Bankai, Golden Zodiac kills Jizo, Kuritsuchi Mayuri exclaimed, pulling out a somewhat damaged Zanpakuto from his waist. The mighty Reiatsu surged on. Boom, the violent roar echoed over the wilderness. The figure of the golden killing Jizo also appeared in front of Heiya again. Unlike the last time we met, this time the big guy seemed to have undergone some strange changes. The ferocious sharp claws are scattered on both sides of the body, and the original golden body has also turned into a more metallic gray. When Setsuna appeared, he spat out a large amount of poisonous mist, covering Moyu. However, it has not yet approached, and the hurricane rising from the ground will blow it farther away. While repairing and transforming his own Bankai, Moyu looked at everything in front of him indifferently, and commented, the attack-attack method is still the same as before. It looks like we're really saying goodbye. And at this moment, Sunayashiro Tokunata who was standing next to Kuritsuchi Mayuri showed a sinister smile. Kuchiki Moyu, I actually want to thank you now. If it wasn't for your fight with Kuritsuchi Mayuri, I wouldn't have known your Zanpakuto was so powerful. However, it's mine now. As he spoke, 
Sunayashiro Tokunata pulled out the Zanpakuto from his waist. Shikai, drinking from all over the world, entrenched in Tianya, everything is there, overriding and cutting, gorgeous mirrors. His Reiatsu was growing at a frightening speed, and Sunayashiro Tokunata's pale face became even more pervasive. However, his smile is even more crazy crazy. The next moment, the dark green Reiatsu turned into a beam of light and soared into the sky. Immediately afterwards, the violent wind howls over the wilderness. Reiatsu's rays faded. Sunayashiro Tokunata was holding a Zanpakudo entwined with the bluish-white wind breath in his hand, and the gust of wind burst out at every turn, tearing the earth apart. The wind howled, the color of the sky and the earth changed, and over the wilderness, dark clouds weighed heavily. Darkness has become the main color of this area. Among the roaring dark clouds, thunder moved and flashed in the sky. Underneath, the ferocious golden Saitagarba showed its ferocious nature, raging under the sky. Wu Wan, Kuchiki Moyu, is this the power of your Zanpakuto? Sunayashiro Tokunata's eyes widened, feeling the abundant power in his body, and a look of ecstasy appeared on his face. It's really fascinating to have such a level of power. If I had such power sooner. The greed in his expression has already expressed all the remaining words in his heart. However, Moyu looked at the scene in front of him, and his expression didn't change much. Sunayashiro Tokunata had fooled everyone, but not him. He once said to the outside world that his Zanpakuto is called Nine Heavens Mirror Valley, after which Shikai can form a mirror-like ability to bounce back all the enemy's attacks. However, this is not the case. Nine Heavens Mirror Valley is nothing more than its incomplete Shikai form, just like Ayasagawa Yumachika's Zanpakuto Vine Peacock of Team 11. When Zanpakuto's real name is not told, only incomplete liberation can be performed, and the ability will change to varying degrees. And Zanpakuto of Sunayashiro Tokunata's real name is Yanluo Jingdian. Its ability is that it can imitate the abilities of any Zanpakuto. Although it has restrictions on Reiatsu, its power is not as good as the original version, and the effect may be slightly worse. And every time this ability is used, the team emblem reduces the soul of Sunayashiro Tokunata, weakening its strength and lifespan. However, as long as the ultimate goal can be achieved, everything is worth it. Sunayashiro Tokunata was immersed in the power of Zan El Pakuto in his hand, and his expression became more and more obsessed. The power in it was completely beyond his imagination. Even a light wave is enough to cause amazing damage. In the wilderness, the wind howled, and Sunayashiro Tokunata opened his arms, feeling the power of his control over the wind breath. Wherever the mind moves, what the wind breathes. I seem to be the god who controls the wind, and I can destroy everything in front of me at will. So, is this the root of your strength? Sunayashiro Tokunata opened his eyes, his expression was calm, as if he had returned to normal. Enough talking nonsense. The weird voice interrupted Sunayashiro Tokunata's self-fantasy. Kuritsuchi Mayuri looked at the guy beside him disdainfully, and said. The anomalous Reiatsu device only lasts for two hours. If during this time, we cannot keep Kuchiki alive. When the time comes, it's time to face the Shinigami of the entire Saraite. His words also made Sunayashiro Tokunata completely awake. In that case, looking at Moyu with disdain, Sunayashiro Tokunata seems to be a little out of balance after having more strength. Meet your destiny, Kuchiki Yu. Sunayashiro Tokunata waved the Zanpakudo in his hand, chopping it down. In an instant, the wind howled and the clouds swept across, creating a scene of doomsday. The violent wind breath condensed into a hurricane that tore the sky, the ground made an overwhelmed sound, and hideous cracks spread, and large swaths of mud and stones were blown away, and there was no one intact within a kilometer distance. And this was just a casual blow by Sunayashiro Tokunata. Looking at the scene in front of him, he looked at his hands in disbelief. Too strong, with such power, I will definitely be able to. However, before he could finish his words, the hurricane was approaching Moyu, and it seemed that it might tear him apart at any moment. However, what happened next made Sunayashiro Tokunata completely plunged into doubts about his life. Boom, the wind blows away, and everything returns to nothingness. And what Moyu did was just waved his palm lightly. Wind, that's not how it's used. Moyu's indifferent gaze pierced Sunayashiro Tokunata's heart like a sharp arrow. His eyes were dull, 
his expression was dull, and his mouth opened and closed without even closing it in time. The strength Moyu saw completely exceeded Sunayashiro Tokunata's expectations. He originally thought that after he obtained such a powerful force, he would be able to successfully stand on the pinnacle of the world and complete his final plan. However, reality hit him hard. Idiot, Kuritsuchi Mayuri responded quickly, there is a problem with Zanpakuto of Kuchiki Kuroyu. Copy the golden killing Jizo. Hearing this, Sunayashiro Tokunata glanced at Zanpakuto in his hand rather unwillingly, and a look of reluctance flashed in his eyes. Lanyin's power made him intoxicated. But right now, the victory of the battle is more important. Eat him. Kuritsuchi Mayuri stopped talking nonsense with Moyu, waved the handle of the knife in his hand, and manipulated the golden killing ground to fly in the air. Woo! The disturbing roar sounded again, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri seemed to strengthen it. Just this roar shattered the clouds in the sky. The huge body is particularly flexible in the air, and Sifu is not at all sluggish. Next moment, the golden killing Jizo rushed to Moyu, and a large amount of poisonous mist spewed out from his mouth, completely covering his sight in an instant. Before Moyu could react, ferocious sharp claws came out of the poisonous mist and went straight to where Moyu was. Shunpo. Bang. The ground collapsed directly, forming a huge deep pit nearly 100 meters long. The golden Jizo raised his baby-like head, his gray eyes searched for Moyu's direction. The poisonous fog raged and spread. Idiot, he's behind you. Kuritsuchi Mayuri cursed frantically, and directly took over the body of the golden Shosha Jizo with his own power. Moyu stepped in the air, looked at the golden Jizo who twisted his body in front of him, and raised the Zanpakuto in his hand. Next moment, Wu, the appearance of another golden Jizo disrupted Moyu's attacking rhythm. The exact same body and ferocious appearance perfectly interpret the aesthetics of Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Frantic and terrifying, it's one against two now. Sunayashiro Tokunata's face was pale, as if he had been dead for many days. Duplicating Zanpakuto again in a short period of time obviously put an extremely heavy load on his soul. If you don't hurry up and end the battle, I'm afraid that without Moyu's hands, this guy will die under the side effects of his own Zanpakuto. The poisonous mist penetrated, and the monster roared. Moyu stood on the ground, looking up at the two golden Jizo. Nilu, come down here and wait for me first. Um. Nilu never questioned what Moyu said. She obediently stayed away from the fighting area, watching Moyu's back quietly. Nilu never had any doubts about her strength. No matter what kind of enemy it is, it will never be Moyu's opponent. The purple poisonous mist gradually merged and intensified, developing towards the black direction. There was a sound of corrosion in the air, and drops of viscous black liquid dripped into the thunder garden. Pat, scoff. The moment the black liquid touched the ground, it penetrated directly, making a tooth-piercing sound. Seeing this scene, Moyu immediately made up his mind. Absolutely don't let this thing touch yourself a little bit, not at all. Under the manipulation of Kuritsuchi Mayuri and Sunayashiro Tokunata, two golden skunks rushed towards Moyu ferociously. The ferocious sharp claws waved in the air, making the sound of tearing the air. The black poisonous mist spread and eroded everything, and the abnormal smell in the air made people feel dizzy. Apparently, Kuritsuchi Mayuri had already fully modified his Benkai before the plan went ahead. Tokunata Sunayashiro, Moyu said slowly, just to take advantage of this, let me tell you. The correct use of wind. Blast wind, there is also a way back. The voice fell, and the wind above the field stopped suddenly. As if the pause button had been pressed, everything had stopped. The clouds in the sky, the flying dust, and even the ever-spreading black poisonous mist. Shadows hang over the hearts of Kuritsuchi Mayuri and Sunayashiro Tokunata. Everything in front of me is absolutely abnormal. Lanyan pointed upwards, and the wind came up again. And this trend cannot be stopped. The wind swayed and turned into a hurricane that swept across the sky, soaring up to the sky. As if the scene of annihilation is common, everything is dimmed. The absolute gap in power almost completely collapsed Sunayashiro Tokunata. He couldn't imagine that the same Zanpakuto could be so different from each other. The sky and the earth are separated, and the cloud and mud are different. In the ears, all sounds are completely erased. All that was left was the whistling wind. Mie Zan Lai Lan. Call, 
dozens of kilometer high hurricanes swept away, tearing apart the damaged world under the sky. Facing this scene of annihilation, the hundreds of meters long golden jizo appeared weak and weak, like a fragile insect. Kuritsuchi Mayuri gritted his teeth, full of resignation. At this moment, he finally realized the gap between him and Moyu again. However, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, who was fully prepared, was unwilling to accept such an end. There must be a chance for change. Kuritsuchi Mayuri looked crazy, thinking of all useful ways in his mind. Suddenly, he noticed the petite figure in the distance. Nailu staring at Moyu silently. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes sparkled, and he murmured. Perhaps, the way to break the game is here. In the wilderness, the hurricane cut through the sky and swept across, directly devouring the golden Saitagarba. Countless wind blades appeared in it, and the sound of the flesh being torn was especially small in the strong wind. Instantly, the golden Jizo who fell into the strong wind completely turned into countless tiny spirit particles and dissipated in Kong Chen. Sunayashiro Tokunata had a desperate expression, and a large amount of blood spewed out of his mouth. The destruction of Zanpakuto dealt an unimaginable blow to it. The already fragile soul is heading towards the end of extinction. When Moyu was about to give him the final blow, Kuritsuchi Mayuri's strange voice suddenly sounded from behind. Kuchiki Moyu, stop what you're doing. If, you want this little guy to die here. His words successfully attracted Moyu's attention. Not far behind, Kuritsuchi Mayuri does not know where. He took out the sickle from inside and placed it on top of Nilu's head, showing a sinister smile. Good plan. Moyu's calm expression made Kuritsuchi Mayuri's heart head cast a layer of haze. Stop pretending there. He roared crazily. You guys care about the people around you the most. I order you with this little guy's life, disarm Shikai, give up. Before Kuritsuchi Mayuri finished speaking, he heard a childish voice coming from under the sickle. Nailu hates this kind of feeling. Being regarded as Moyu's weakness by others, using Nailu to blackmail Moyu. Nailu's expression was flat, as if she was telling something that couldn't be simpler. However, the oppressive atmosphere around made Kuritsuchi Mayuri's breath a little short. Green Reiatsu burst out from under the scythe. Under Kuritsuchi Mayuri's unbelievable gaze, it instantly turned into a beam of dazzling light, heading straight to the end of the sky. In just a split second, Nailu's Reiatsu climbed to an incomprehensible level. As if, in another dimension, a tall figure emerged from the green beam of light. After Reiatsu's light dissipated, a sister Yu who vaguely resembled Nailu walked out of it. Green waist-length hair, a slim and plump figure, and a broken double-horned skull mask on his forehead. With the sound of the wind, the number, three, emerged from under the turquoise coat. The power of Vasto Lord Class Arankar finally appeared in the world again. This Reiatsu, Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes widened, his pupils constricted, and it was hard to believe what was happening before his eyes. The situation where the chances of victory were at hand was completely reversed. Vasto Lord Class Arankar Menos Grande. The dry voice echoed in the wilderness. Full of despair, the voice of despair echoed in the open field. I thought Moyu's strength was terrifying enough. But it never occurred to him that he was actually accompanied by a Vasto Lord class Arankar Menos Grande. In terms of strength, the normal Vasto Lord level Menos Grande is already comparable to the captain, or even slightly surpassed. As for its Arankar, its strength is even more unimaginable. Even Kuritsuchi Mayuri, who is in good condition, is not an opponent like Nailu in the front. Not to mention that Kuritsuchi Mayuri is seriously injured right now. After Bankai was cut off again, he suffered a certain degree of trauma both in body and soul. So, why do you think I brought Nailu with me? Moyu's indifferent voice gave Kuritsuchi Mayuri another stab. After completely devouring Noitra's Reiatsu, Nailu was not able to recover completely. But then, Moyu took him to hunt Menos Grande from time to time to recover from his injuries. In addition, he even tried to feed his own Reiatsu to Nailu after compression. In a way, ultimate Reiatsu is much better than Menos Grande's Reiatsu. And Nailu also regained her own power after devouring Moyu's Reiatsu many times. The current Nailu is actually a Vasto Lord Arankar at the true peak level. The kind that doesn't add a little water. Kuritsuchi Mayuri, do you know the biggest difference between yourself and your Ahara Kazuki? 
Moyu lowered his eyes slightly and said calmly. Hearing the name Urahara Kazuki, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, who was already in despair, raised his head again and stared at Moyu. The difference is that Urahara Kazuki has sufficient means to deal with any unexpected situation. But you are different. You are good at creating more impossible things with limited information. Moyu's words made Kuritsuchi Mayuri completely quiet. But, it is this limited information that put you in a desperate situation. Moyu's eyes were like sharp knives, piercing into Kuritsuchi Mayuri's heart. When the reality is beyond your ability, the impossible really becomes impossible. Just accept it. After the words fell, Nailu opened her mouth, and Reiatsu poured out, and the ground centered on it sank more than 10 meters immediately. Reddish Reiatsu condensed in its mouth. Next moment. A berserk light red beam burst out in front of him, tore the broken ground apart again, and swirled towards Kuritsuchi Mayuri to devour him. Wang Shu's flash. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes were gloomy, as if he had become the mad mad scientist again. Death is definitely not my destination. He didn't even have the idea of dodging, waiting for the arrival of Nailu Sero. Kuritsuchi Mayuri is very clear that at this moment, he seems to have no means of resistance. The light red light completely enveloped Kuritsuchi Mayuri. The powerful force is breaking down his body and even his soul. Just a Satsuna effort, Kuritsuchi Mayuri completely turned into a spirit child and disappeared in place, leaving only a canyon-like ravine that spread far away. In Moyu's Reiatsu perception, the breath of Kuritsuchi Mayuri completely disappeared. Including the soul, it failed to leave any traces. As for whether he died, Moyu couldn't guarantee it either. In case this guy learns from Orochimaru from the ninja village next door, or Voldemort from the magic school. There is still a high probability of surviving in this world. But what Moyu can be sure of is that even if Kuritsuchi Mayuri is still alive, it will probably take dozens or even hundreds of years to come out to be a demon again. The obliteration of the soul cannot be restored simply. At this moment, the abnormal Reiatsu fluctuations hanging over the sky gradually dissipated. Among them, the Reiatsu caused by the battle also radiates toward the outside world. The next moment, in Seraite, burst out out several powerful Reiatsu. In the distance, Sunayashiro Tokunata was stunned for a moment, and then let out a maniacal laugh. Ha 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 ha, Kuchiki Moyu, it's over. Although I lost this time, you can't kill me anymore. The aftermath of their battle seemed to be noticed by the other captains. From Sunayashiro Tokunata's point of view, Moyu could no longer continue to attack him. What awaits him is nothing more than a trial in the 46 chambers. Can't kill you. Moyu stretched out his finger, and the lightning danced on it. Sorry, when you appeared in front of me, your luck was already doomed. Hado no 63 Fiery Lightning Howl After Setsuna's voice fell, the golden thunder light poured out, and the terrifying current shuttled through the air, turning into a ferocious beam of light. Bang! A huge beam of light pierced through Sunayashiro Tokunata's body in an instant, and the terrifying high temperature directly burned his Reiatsu to death. When the captains came here, what they saw was nothing but a touch of anxiety scattered on the ground. Everyone looked at everything in front of them in a daze, and didn't know what to say for a while. Under the ravages of the strong wind, there was not a piece of intact land in the wilderness that was nearly a hundred miles away. The remaining poisonous mist made the field even more riddled with holes. Has Hawako Mundo attacked Seraite yet? Hiraku Shunsui, dressed in pink flamboyant Hauri, stood beside Moyu, holding a dog's tail grass in his mouth, staring blankly at everything in front of him, and murmured. Ahem, it might have something to do with her. Jashiro Yukitaki stood beside Nailu, looking at her warily. When he came here and sensed Nailu's Reiatsu, he was always on guard against Nailu. Vasto Lord Class Arankar Menos Grande. In terms of danger, it has far surpassed some captains. No matter what happens, the old man thinks that this Menos Grande should be brought under control first. A muffled voice came from under the barrel-like mask. Komamura Sajin already placed his thick palm on the Zanpakudo at his waist. The 7th Division was the closest to here, but he was the last one to arrive. Power players, in terms of Shunpo's accomplishments, are obviously not as good as other captains. This, there should be the answer you want, in it. Moyu took off the ring-shaped spiritual real-time monitoring device on his hand, and said calmly. 
Technology Development Agency. Due to the keto barrier, the Link C real-time monitoring device was not able to broadcast the screen to the Technology Development Bureau in real time. But it has a certain storage capacity, which saves all the previous battle scenes from Moyu's perspective. Looking at the picture on the screen, the atmosphere in the room became more and more depressing. The auras of several captains were rising in it, so that a researcher like Bulbulus even developed symptoms such as dyspnea. Especially after Bulbulus learned that the abnormal Reiatsu fluctuation area was a trap set by Kuritsuchi Mayuri. His green skin immediately turned pale. If it weren't for being oppressed by the momentum, Bulbul State might have started to kneel down and beg for mercy by now. As for Kuritsuchi Mayuri's plans, he is completely unaware. It's all just doing your job. Fortunately, Moyu didn't bother with him, but let this guy pick up a community. Yeah, yeah. After the screen was played, Kiraku Shunsui scratched his head and said helplessly. It seems that Sunayashiro Tokunata violated the rules of the Soul Society. First secretly released Kuritsuchi Mayuri in the Great Hell, and then worked with Kuritsuchi Mayuri to design our Captain Moyu. As for these guys, he suddenly lowered his body and looked at the trembling Bulbulus with a gloomy expression. Bulbulus, who was stared at by him, trembled even more frequently, as if some kind of electric toy turned on to the maximum power. He who does not know is not guilty. You just did what you were supposed to do. Hiraku Shunsui suddenly smiled and said, Don't worry, old man Sean won't convict you. As soon as these words came out, Bulbulus finally stopped trembling, his body went limp, and he hit the ground with his ass. A lot, thank you, the leader of the Beijing band. Although he knew that the guy in front of him was uneasy and kind, but Yujo still said gratefully. The problem of fighting in the field is solved. Jashiro Yukitaki made a cough cough sound, cough cough, what should I do with this little guy? Nilu, who had turned into a child again, was held by Moyu. Suddenly being watched by all the captains, she became a little nervous. Don't worry, Moyu gently rubbed her hair, comforting, leave it to me. For the arrival of this day, he has actually been mentally prepared for a long time. It's just that they didn't expect that the current situation would come so soon. Regarding Nilu's existence, the captains present were also unable to say anything. Because until now, their understanding of Nilu still exists above the power that killed Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Few of the captains present dared to say that they could beat Nilu steadily. That flash of Wang Shu alone was enough to make them fearful. At this moment, there was a sudden fluctuation on the screen in front of the room. After a flash of snowflakes, a majestic face appeared on it. Old Man Sean, Captain, Master Captain. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi closed his eyes slightly, scanning everything in the room. I already know what happened. Although separated by the screen, everyone could still feel a trace of suppressed anger from his voice. It's been a long time since something like this happened in Seraite. Yamamoto Yuanlianagi held a cane in his hand, and his momentum became a little more vigorous, emergency captain meeting, here. Boom, as his crutches hit the ground heavily, snowflakes lit up on the screen again, and the picture completely disappeared. The convening of the emergency captain meeting did not exceed their expectations. After all, the situation this time is a bit too serious. The head of the Sunayashiro family, one of the four nobles, joined forces with the former captain of the 12th division and the current prisoner of infernal hell, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, to assassinate the captain of the division, Kakashikai. It may also involve some final plans regarding the Sunayashiro family. Things are getting bigger and bigger. A team house. Captain's chamber. Yamamoto Motoyanagi sat upright at the front, holding a cane, his eyes no longer closed slightly, but staring at the captain standing in front of him with majesty. The process of the matter, I think you are already very clear. But for the cause, Captain Moyu, please explain. Why Sunayashiro Tokunata and Kuritsuchi Mayuri shot at you, I need an explanation. Even though the anger was already burning in his heart, Yamamoto Genryanagi still kept. Hold a calm posture. The present him is no longer the sword ghost of thousands of years ago. Moyu's expression remained unchanged, his eyes swept across the meeting hall, and he said slowly, Good Jiao. It originated from a certain visit to Kuchiki's house by Sunayashiro Tokunata. Regarding the disappearance of Shiba Ishin, the Shiba family suddenly became weak. 
Tokunata Sunayashi wants to unite the strength of the Kuchiki family and thoroughly digest the aristocratic power of the Shiba family. Speaking of this, Moyu paused slightly and changed the subject. Shiba Kayan learned Bankai, which changed the situation of Shiba's family. And this should be the original intention of Sunayashiro Tokunata's action. In addition, there is also a certain relationship with Kuritsuchi Mayuri. As for the deeper reasons, I didn't think about it anymore. In fact, when it comes to this here, other things are not important. Sunayashiro Tokunata tried to annex Shiba's house, released the sinners in hell without authorization, and shot Moyu, which is already a serious crime. Even if he is the head of the Sunayashiro family, he cannot avoid his crimes. Even the infernal hell can no longer hold him. Even if Moyu didn't kill him, what awaits Sunayashiro Tokunata will be torture. Of course, the premise is that this guy has no follow-up means. But considering his careful thinking, Moyu decided to solve it on the spot to avoid future troubles. After Moyu finished speaking, the chamber fell into a long-lost silence. Even Kiraku Shunsui, who was the most outrageous, chose to keep his mouth shut. This time is definitely not the time to speak. For Yamamoto Genryanagi, he still has an instinctive fear. A long time, Yamamoto Yuanlianagi said slowly. The old man understands. However, for that vast O Lord class Arankar, do you have a suitable reason? Compared to the dead Sunayashiro Tokunata and Kurosaki Mayuri, the existence of Nilu is obviously more touching. Vasto Lord level Arankar Menos Grande, even if placed among the captains, is still a very strong existence. Quote dot 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 quote. Moyu thought about this word for a while, then raised the corners of his mouth, and said. A short time ago, there was chaos in the world, and I was worried that the human soul could not bear it, so I went to Hueco Mundo to find out the reason. In the forest of Menos Grande, I encountered the existence of Nilu. At that time, she was just a harmless Ajuka's Arankar. Moyu didn't hide much about Nilu, but directly skipped about her original life experience and Urahara Kazuki's help. He's not the type to sell out his teammates at will. The current Urahara Kazuki is still a wanted criminal of the Soul Society. If his whereabouts are revealed, at least three captains will go to the present world to arrest him. And this is only the superficial danger. Behind the scenes, Aizen Sosuke is always watching. Everyone listened carefully, nodding thoughtfully from time to time. That's the way it is. Moyu is neither humble nor overbearing, and there is not even the slightest ups and downs in his mood. Nilu is my family, I will use my strength to protect her, that's all. Compared to the concept of the Sunayashiro family, I am more willing to accept the concept of the Shiba family. Hearing this, many captains fell into deep thought. Do you even have a heart? Hiraku Shunsui murmured. As a drinking buddy of Shiba Ishin, he still has some understanding of the philosophy of the Shiba family. It is not a secret among the nobles that the Shiba family believes that the concept of modesty also has a heart. And precisely because of the existence of this concept, they are often rejected to varying degrees. Strictly speaking, the philosophy of the Shiba family should be to respect the living area. In fact, one or two can be seen from their names. Shiba Kayan, Ganju and Kuzuru of the main family have explained the concept of respecting life. But as a member of Branch House, all that is left is Shin, Hu, and Yang. Moyu is also aware of this point, so when explaining the reasons, he specifically clarified the existence of Shiba's family at points. After his voice fell, there was only silence in the chamber. Most of the captains kept their eyes downcast, waiting for Yamamoto Motoyanagi to speak. The old man understands. The old and energetic voice broke the silent atmosphere in the room. Yamamoto Motoyanagi sat with a cane in his hand and looked at Moyu majestically. Although things happen for a reason, the reason is divided into cups. But, his voice suddenly increased a few points, and the temperature in the room seemed to rise a few degrees because of this, and the air was filled with a burning smell. Bringing Shu into Seraite is a violation of the rules of the Soul Society. Yamamoto Genryanagi's eyes were like the scorching sun, shocking people's hearts, and stared in the direction of Moyu. In this regard, even if you are a direct descendant of the Kuchiki family, you still cannot. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Moyu. Captain Yamamoto, I need to exercise a right. 
Hiroaku Shunsui and Jashiro Yukitaki stared at Moyu with wide-eyed expressions. How many years have no one dared to interrupt the teacher, is Captain Moyu crazy? This kid Moyu is really strong enough, he dares to interrupt old man Sean's words at will. However, something even more unexpected happened to the two of them. Yamamoto Yuanliusai did not get angry, but waited for Moyu's next words. On that day, I returned to the Soul Society in this world. In view of the merits of eradicating Mano's Grande in this world, Captain Yamamoto promised me a reward. This reward, I want to cash in now. Moyu looked calm, as if he was just talking about a very ordinary thing. Speaking of which, almost everyone already understood what Moyu was thinking. Use this reward to let Nilu stay in Saraite, or avoid her crimes. Have you considered? Yamamoto Genryanagi's eyes were burning, and the air seemed to be scorched by it. Well, this is the reward I want most. Moyu stared at him, showing no intention of giving in at all. Even if you can't do it in a dry fight, you must not be weak in momentum. Be in a fighting state all the time, only then will others be in awe of you. For details, please refer to Zaraki Kenpachi who is about to fall asleep. Until now, everything that happened in the chamber was not enough to interest him. In his opinion, instead of listening to such nonsense here, it would be more enjoyable to find a captain to fight. Shout, boring. Zaraki Kenpachi gave them a disdainful glance and continued to fall into a semi-comatose state. At this point in time, he should have taken a nap in the team. This matter is subject to discussion. Yamamoto Genryanagi's aura gradually diminished, and he turned back into that low, harmless old man. In view of Kuchiki Moyu's status, he and the Vasto Lord Mano's Grande are temporarily detained in the prison at Kuchiki's home. After the old man discusses with other decision makers, we will make a decision. Although this is what he said, as long as he is not a fool, he has already seen the attitude of Yamamoto Motoyanagi. Kuchiki's house is Moyu's place. Could it be that with Bukuya Kuchiki's Brokon character, he would put his own brother in prison? This kind of thing can be understood by the blind. Secondly, the existence of Moyu is extremely important to the whole Saraite. An early graduate of the Spiritual Arts Academy, the existence of Arankar Mano's Grande, the Shinigami member who was promoted to the captain the fastest, and a member of the direct line of the Mortal Arts Academy. This time, the head of the Sunayashiro family and Kuritsuchi Mayuri were completely wiped out. His series of achievements have already explained his value. Everyone is very clear that Yamamoto won't let such an existence go easily. As for the Sunayashiro family, and the follow-up of the previous events. The first team will set up an exclusive team to investigate the Sunayashiro family. After Yamamoto Yuanlianagi made a round of inspections, he fixed his gaze on a certain captain wearing a pink Howry bag. Captain of the Beijing Band, you are in charge of this matter. These words do not mean any discussion at all, they are directly informing the order. Hiroaku Shunsui replied weakly with an old face. Hi, I see. As a disciple of Yamamoto Motoyanagi, he is very clear that in certain matters, he must not go against his ideas. Of course, because of this identity, Kiraku Shunsui is also one of Yamamoto's most trusted people. Above, do you captains have any objections? Yamamoto Yuanlianagi said the last sentence. If no one answers, it means the end of the meeting. In this case, hurry up and solve the trouble. He stood up, and the crutches hit the ground, making a dull sound. The meeting is over. Sixth Division Team Building. Sitting cross-legged on the tatami, Moyu and Bukuya Kuchiki stared at each other. Nailu knelt down beside Moyu obediently, and at the same time stared at Bukuya Kuchiki with wide eyes, as if she wanted to overwhelm him with her aura. It's a pity that her appearance doesn't have any lethality at all. A long time. Call. Bukuya Kuchiki let out a long sigh, with a hint of helplessness in his brows and eyes. Are Moyu, Sunayashiro Tokunada and Kuritsuchi Mayuri really dead? He didn't blame Moyu. On the contrary, what cares more is the situation of Sunayashiro Tokunada and Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Well, from the perspective of a single soul, there is no possibility of survival at all. Moyu affirmed, as for whether there are other means to revive myself, I can't predict it. However, with the level of these two people, even if they are resurrected a hundred times, they will still be cut off. 
The gap in hard power made Moyu not take them seriously. The Kuchiki family intervened in the investigation of the Sunayashiro family. Bukuya Kuchiki had a cold face, as if he was just talking about a trivial matter. There are some places in Sunayashiro's house that the first team members cannot set foot in. But members of the Kuchiki family, who are also members of the four great nobles, can. Hearing this, Moyu was slightly taken aback, as if meeting his elder brother for the first time. Looking at him with extremely strange eyes. You seem to. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by Bukuya Kuchiki. The majesty of the Kuchiki family cannot be violated, even if the opponent is the head of the Sunayashiro family. Death cannot offset the sins he committed. As a Kuchiki who maintains and enforces the rules of the Soul Society, it is natural to respond. Facing this duplicity elder brother, you decided not to demolish him this time. Although this guy looks cold, like an iceberg. But under its appearance, there is a heart that attaches great importance to family affection. The reason why he practiced so hard was to safeguard the existence of family honor and kinship. Moyu was attacked, which obviously angered Bukuya Kuchiki. The execution of the chief culprit could not reduce the anger in his heart. Therefore, he took the Sunayashiro family as the target of venting. Since you have this behavior, you have to pay the price for your behavior. Thinking of this, Moyu couldn't help but mourn in silence for the Sunayashiro family. With the professionalism of the members of the Kuchiki family, no matter how deep you hide, they can dig it out for you. As for what Sunayashiro Tokunata did, no one knew better than him. Study the corpses and even souls of Shinigami, Quincy, and Shu, in an attempt to create a soul king to replace the current soul king. So that he can grasp the authority of the spirit king and become the supreme in the world. It is a pity that such a great plan has not yet been launched, and it has been completely aborted. At that time, Saraite will definitely deal with what the Sunayashiro family has done when they find out. It is unknown whether he can keep the title of nobility. However, these are secondary. Bukuya Kuchiki's voice is no longer as cold as before. Next, the captain may see you alone, and the sentence will be pronounced on. He took a deep look at Nilu, and continued. You brought her back to the Soul Society for punishment. Hearing this, the corners of Moyu's mouth raised slightly, and a confident smile appeared on his face. You don't have to worry about this matter. The captain will not punish me. Bukuya Kuchiki was surprised and a little puzzled. Bringing fakes into the Soul Society has violated the regulations. With the personality of the captain, how could he let you go so easily? Moyu tapped on the table, making a rhythmic sound, with a more confident expression. If you still judge the captain with the eyes of thousands of years ago, maybe I have been put on Sokyoku by this time. But time changes everything about a person. The sword ghost is long gone, and Captain Yamamoto's personality has also changed. After the words fell, Yukuya Kuchiki had a thoughtful look in his eyes. Rewards will be honored, and punishments will be imposed. As for whether the two will cancel out, I don't know. Moyu's understanding of Yamamoto Yuanlianagi is limited to this. If Yamamoto Yuanlianagi hadn't asked the reason, he couldn't guarantee that he would be fine this time. But even if something goes wrong, Moyu can guarantee his own safety. Unless Yamamoto Genryanagi and Aizen Sosuke are fully fired, otherwise, few people can leave him if he wants to leave. After Reiatsu's breakthrough, Moyu has great confidence in his own strength. What's more, the Zongquan Zugi who are fighting for their spirits are still constantly practicing. One day, Moyu will stand on the zenith. A team house. Familiar scenes, monotonous characters, simple plot. It seems that the scene in front of me has been seen before. Moyu picked up the teacup on the table and took a sip. Well, much better than the tea at the Urahara store. The situation of Sunayashiro's family has been investigated come out. Yamamoto Yuanliusai looked calm, eyes slightly closed, and said in a low voice. A large number of corpses were found in it. In addition to Shinigami and Shu, there were also Quincy divisions. Moyu put down the teacup in his hand, his expression remained calm. The findings did not surprise him. Seeing this, Yamamoto Yuanlianagi took a deep look at him and said. Kuchiki Moyu, you seem to know a lot of things. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.